smoke it up. I wanna stimulate my mind. So I took it up. Can I get a hit? Can I get a hoo? Give me that fat bag of weed in the proof. So I can get faded, elevated. Smoke the joint, damn people broke. guys, what's up? I'm Dredge and I'm here with Overseer. We're gonna be orchestras for tonight and I don't know about you but I'm very excited. It's Concy Arena Season 1 Finals, finally. I mean it's not finals yet, it's Final 4 event but... Yeah, hello guys, I'm Overseer. Yeah, like you said, this is the Final 4 of the Connecting Slovenia Arena Season 1 and we're all excited. I'm excited. I hope you're excited, Rich. Yep, um, I am, I, man. I hope our viewers are excited. Um, I mean, it's been a great uh, two months uh, uh, journey w with this tournament. Been quite super, I think. Quite good. Yeah, I have to say. So, right now, let's get a little bit into the game itself. Um, we are currently in the lobby. Uh, first match will be Starbuck versus Cheese King, our Slovenian Zerg player Starbuck, who is actually the best Slovenian, most likely, versus Cheese King, uh, the Croatian Protoss, quite good as well, actually Grandmaster, so they're both uh, really, really good. <laughs> yep. I'm just linking the bracket for those that want to see, otherwise... Um it was an exciting tournament, like Sierra said already, so we have four rem remaining players battling out for money, all are in the prize pool already, but um, the amount is different, and well, at the moment we're waiting for Hungarian casters to set up. Yeah, um, so how, how are you, Toma? I haven't heard from you for like a couple of days now, are you okay? <laughs> Yeah. Just just to blow the time, I yeah, guess. Yeah, that's like too much Diablo. But yeah. meanwhile, we can just say that the Starbuck is not yet defeated. He lost one map in this tournament. Um, this tournament had two group stages. Um, and he lost against Luminian Zerg in his first map, um, first yeah. group stage. Ianus, who was actually an uh, inactive Zerg for quite some time, at yeah, least but it's for so a better easy. part of a so year. Yeah, what that I is wanted true. to say is that uh, Cheese King and Starbuck already played in this tournament they also play each other quite a lot and I see uh, I think this is going to be a really exciting game both players uh, know each other and they're excited I mean getting I better all the time of course I agree um, to completely with you um, and it's hard to say who's gonna win I mean both players have shown like, incredible skill both players have shown that they are capable of beating um, the race they will play against, so uh, uh, it's gonna be super, I think, really yeah. great. I wonder how they will um, match against each other. I heard that they played uh, um, quite a li little bit of practice matches as well, so we'll see how this turns out. Um, it's best of five, so yeah, uh, in the nothing. First, in the first uh, semi-finals, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no problem. But I did uh, fail to say that it is uh, Ohana, WCS Ohana, the first map um, will be Ohana. So it's a little bit of a Protoss favorite map, everyone uh, try, uh, like to say that. Uh, I some somewhat agree with the Immortal push being really, really, um, really powerful all the time. But uh, nonetheless, 
in the game we are and yep. ah, Starbucks some is problems. Yeah, Starbucks seems to be lagging a little bit. Um, but oh, map, the map uh, remake. <laughs> yeah, the map is a fail. <laughs> I remember this map. <laughs> oh God, this map should be removed from the pool, or not the pool, but from <laughs> from uh, um, wow. from option. Yeah, um, you chose. Yeah, you chose the wrong map. No problem. Unfortunately, have to remake. Interesting. Yeah, this new interface makes me. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a bit confused, confused as well. Yeah. I it agree. Was like, it was like WCS Ohana um, GSL. Yeah, exactly. So I can't choose that one again. Can uh, I go with MLG? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, as long as it's a um, tournament map, it's okay. Yep, the one before was also a tournament map. But yeah, but it was like a special edition. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we're going to enter the MLG map now, uh, MLG version of the map. Hopefully, there will be no high tempers this time around. So, the players are in the game, or in the lobby, sorry. Uh, the players, or the casters, the Hungarian casters, are getting ready. Yep, um, we're waiting for one more caster to join. Yes, uh, then we'll restart uh, and don't forget about overlay. Uh, okay, so Ohana, yeah, I've just uh, said it's like a little bit of a Protoss favorite map with the Immortal Push, but Immortal Push has uh, basically lost their popularity um, lately, at least in HOTS, definitely. Yeah, now, I would agree. In Wings of Liberty, it's a bit different now. The the Colossus timing pushes are uh, beginning to get back to ac back in action or back uh, in uh, play and all stuff like that. So it's gonna be interesting what to see. Of course, the uh, Immortal push is still uh, viable and quite strong, but uh, a lot of Zergs uh, have uh, figured it out how to defend it, and it's just you have to sack your third, uh, pull all the drones, and just spine your main and just build Sinfesters as quick as possible. Yep. So, we're waiting for... Uh, okay, so... A uh, few okay. more moments, I guess, yeah. and we'll be live. Cheese King uh, still requires a couple of moments. His keyboard is a bit going off the charts, he says. So, so it seems, yeah. if uh, nobody knows, this tournament is hosted by the Connecting Slovenia. Connecting Slovenia, I apologize. Um, it's a 110 euro prize pool tournament. Um, and I think it's quite get, uh, good since this is the only tournament on the Balkan uh, region. Um, well, not only, and, but... Uh, uh, one of the, uh, let's say, the biggest... It's not only just the Balkan as Balkan, it's also... Yeah, uh, like yeah a it doesn't... A, a little, uh, bigger region like also Bulgaria and Hungary, which are not like... Not Balkan but exactly, yes. Bulgaria is, but I don't know about Hungary, how they um, think about themselves, if they are from there or not. But anyways, <laughs> the yeah. game started. I have some problems with starboard, so I won't use it this time. But here it is, guys. First map. Yeah. Uh, first semifinals of a first Conce Season 1 Arena. Um, Everything's for the first time, I but guess. The <laughs> last in uh, Wing of Liberty. So this is it, guys. Um, I'll yes. present the Protoss. Um, it's Please do. Uh, bottom right side in a red color. It's Cheese King from Croatia. Oh yeah. Okay, so um, and in the bot in the top left corner in the blue colors we have our Slovenian Zerg, which is dominating um, the Slovenian scene and being quite good in the European standard as well. It is Starbuck. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Um, players are doing all the ordinary things at the moment. I just want to say that um, Cheese King lost against two Zergs. One was Starbuck, the second one was Giant. Um, but otherwise, one against Patek. So his DVZ is um, unpredictable, I guess. Yeah, it's hard to say that exactly. uh, it's, it, we can't say it, he's not, uh, that he's not bad, but I mean, 
it's hard to say that it's his best matchup, but it's definitely not his worst. I mean, Pratak is one of the top Croatian Zergs, uh, and defeating him isn't an easy task. He is probably the best Croatian Zerg. Yeah. Or the best, Pratik exactly. Not, I'm not saying he's the best player. He's just the player's best Zerg. That's the okay, thing. so what we see from Cheese King is a Forge fast expand, actually Forge first. Yeah, he saw a pretty fast pool that uh, we were showing before. Um, and I guess he went for a Forge first because of it. Yeah, his call on Forge first is uh, smart. Now um, it will be a Nexus after this. It has to be his minerals all su are summed up. So do you it's remember, going to be. Do you remember what happened the last time they, those two guys played, played on this same map? Um, it was the drone stack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they just Starbucks uh, drone stack. Yeah, so Starbucks <laughs> started on the top right side, but anyways. exactly. Okay, yeah, so. Starbuck is trying to put down his own hatchery. The game is progressing normally as it would in any other uh, time of the game or any time later or whatever. Uh, pretty standard right now. Cannon is halfway complete, so the Lynx most likely won't be able to get in the base. Um, gateway on the way, and just classically everything is going as planned for both players, most likely. Now, Starbuck is going to put his third down. Um, it's a, a normal reaction, it's the best reaction against a Forge Fast Expand. You have to be a little bit wary about the cannon rush, but he has his Overlord already in position to scout any possible probes or pylons or cannons. So, right now, it's basically just uh, cooling down a little bit. Uh, yes, <laughs> here goes Cheese King, <laughs> he remembers it as well as you and I, and he knows it. I think everybody that watched or followed this tournament knows about it. But exactly. it's a fun moment. Both players ended up in um, being in the semi-finals. So yes, both players managed to advance, so it's okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. hard to say that for Starbuck, I think the scouting is the most most important thing. I agree, um, definitely. Because they know each other, so if he, and even Cheese King said not like. Uh, um, but I think he said something like that. Uh, he knows that Starbuck is a bit better in a better form at the moment, and well, maybe being Zerk and or not, that doesn't really matter. And he knows that he may not may not be able to beat him in best of five straight up. So yeah, that means that he might want to go some special tactics. Exactly. Um, I did want to. Scout. Yeah, I did want to know that Starbuck did went gasless, uh, so um, he doesn't expect or he is pretty safe with opening without speed and we see taking double gas on his expansion right now yep, and poking um, uh, up the ramp seeing the what's go forge. what's happening exactly uh, almost lost the zergling there uh, yep. quickly pulling back now the probe is going to go to scout that third base cheese king probably knows there's a third base but he just wants to confirm it yeah, he wants to be um, sure. yeah That's exactly he has to do as well i would say for him his game plan would be try something um that try something that really works, strong that maybe because I know that he won against Starbuck at least once I guess so I heard I mean at least yeah. one map so um, everything is open we have a robo yeah already and we warping. see a warp warp uh, warp prism first yep. from that robo We're which is see a full, full gate warp gate uh, I warp prism <laughs> War prism, yeah. Four gate, four prison pressure. Exactly. Exactly, and uh, this can be quite strong since Starbuck only has three queens and roaches are not even uh, being. Uh, actually, roach warren roach isn't warren even is finishing yet, so this might do some damage but here. Four prison will need some time, and until it comes here. Yeah, he will have the roach warren complete. Now it only depends how Starbuck will put his units to use. I mean, if he has those units on the half where um, half around the map, they won't be really useless if you if you have five six six zealots in your main. Yeah, and at um, the moment Starbuck is just droning. Yeah, uh, we see an immortal coming out. So this is showing to be an immortal push, although there are no additional gates to this. Um, no, not yet. But Cheese King did take all four gases, which does indicate that he wants to do um, a little bit more techy build, and we see four zealots uh, with the War Prism going to the main of uh, Starbuck, and Starbuck has no overlord in this position, exactly. so he won't scout this until the last moment, and 
That might be too late. A queen or a couple of drones might fall here. I think and he might. Uh, Chis King might expand behind this, and he's trapping the queen. Nice great trap drop, on the queen. Great drop. Exactly. And right now the uh, whoa, the lair is actually in yeah. a bit of a danger here. This There's he, no unit out for Starbucks. To snipe the lair. Wow. I see him do with that with uh, with different tactics with different units. Interesting yeah. enough. And right now Hydras are in production. I totally did not see that Hydra then, but yeah, this neither. is not going to be fast enough. I mean, yeah, the lair, the lair has down, fallen yeah. and this is not good for Starbuck. I mean, losing lair tech, although yeah, he has the Hydra screen though. Yeah, uh, the Hydra risk and the Roach Warren tech is out. Now the pool shouldn't fall, of course. Uh, but this means basically Starbuck is on two base, exactly like Cheese King, and Cheese King does show to expand on his third. Also, we see a follow-up with the Robotics Bay, so Colossus production will begin quite uh, shortly here. Additional yeah. gates. I would say that this was a uh, good, good pressure from uh, Cheese King snapping off that lair. It's really important it was not just an ordinary hatch yeah and also we the missed fort. it yeah we missed a cancel on the fourth of so cheese king is doing an excellent job here but his third will be denied yeah. exactly and this is what cheese king has to be careful about now starbuck has a strong army if you look at it at the bottom left quite a lot of hydralisk and links but if there are sentries on the ramp he will be able uh, cheese king will be able to deal with this cheese king will snipe this uh Spine crawler. Yeah, exactly. Spine crawler. Maybe a spore crawler or he'll go for a drone. Yeah, and yeah. what Cheese King does here is an excellent job with just preventing from Star uh, Starbuck to try to do at least some damage on uh, the main or actually the ramp of Cheese King and just uh, forcing him to pull back and just giving Cheese King as much time as possible to get those colossus up. Now, Interesting enough, he's morphing two layers. Yeah, yeah, he's working. yeah. Okay. Uh, he cancelled. No, he cancelled yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I was uh, just confused. Of yeah. <laughs> um, right now we see extended terminal lands uh, halfway complete. We see Blink also on the way. Now, uh, Blink is not bad, but I think Charge would be a little bit more u useful since, um, I mean, all, although there are a lot of links which Blink, uh, which stalkers are really bad against, and Blink does save you, but. I mean, with charged zealots, you you get a little bit more tanky army, I guess. And I like how, what Cheese King is doing. He he's known for a uh, quite good uh, PVZ, I would say. And nonetheless, yeah, and, and see a push up with yeah, two colossus exactly. and, and three more. And loss is going to finish. Also, blink. Maybe no, not really. Plus two will not. Oh, maybe he'll wait for third colossus or even that um, doesn't seem like it doesn't it's going to be the case. He's He's going to try and push, but the problem with uh, Cheese King's army is he has three mortals which are totally useless against Starbuck's composition. Starbuck only has Hydralisk and Zerglings, and there's just so many Hydras. Of course, there are those uh, Colossus, so... Oh, a uh, little bit laggy. Whoa. Let's... Yeah, uh, we'll just uh, wait for a second and try to resolve the lag. I've got no lag spikes, okay. Um, I guess we can go. Uh, Starbuck has to say. Oh, he, oh shit! We're not, uh, we're not uh, judges. We yeah, can. I guess Starbuck speak. will just. Eh, no, yeah. Okay. okay. They just both players need to confirm like always, and then yes. just start exactly. Now, the upgrades are in favor of Cheese King, um, but Cheese King has a lot of sentries, so that might prove him very useful. He's getting. A run by, but it's getting stopped, and he's attacking the third. And yeah, this now th this uh, run by by his, uh, Starbuck was completely useless. Now a great uh, flank from all sides, and immediately one Colossus falls, another yeah. another one falls, and this is not looking good for Cheese King. With good only engagement from us. Yeah, that good was good force fields though. But yeah, I think saving that as much just as possible. had too much uh, for that exactly. composition and that. Um, Strategical attack, like you said, uh, from two sides. Yeah, flank from all sides. Now, Starbuck did lose all the drones in this procession, so that puts him behind quite a little. Uh, yeah, quite a little bit in uh, economics, uh, but he did manage to kill two colossus, two stock, um, two immortals. He's still up in uh, workers. He's yeah, he's still up. Of course, it's three base. Yeah, he droned yeah. like hell. And exactly. 
managed um, to withstand the loss of one layer and almost the loss of second one. Yeah, so Starbuck is holding holding um, quite nicely here. Um, Cheese, King, Cheese King should take his third. I mean, it's really late. I mean, not late, but he's really a, a little bit behind on economics. Actually, quite a lot yeah. behind if you look at it. Uh, we see Spire and plus one flyer attacks on the way. And infestation pit. Yeah, so and high macro tech. hedge finally. Uh, Starbuck didn't have yeah. time to make a macro hedge. He um, bases got cancelled all the time. Um, also, a, uh, that means that Hive will no. be on the way and most no likely more, Lords. And no more um, War Prism. War Prism, yes. The fort now, is going, uh, it's halfway done. Like we said. Yeah, and the fort for the Starbuck. Cheese King, yeah. If you look at it from this way, fourth of Starbuck is uh, reasonably late, not as late, but um, since he did manage to kill the whole army of Cheese King and Cheese King's third is really delayed, let's say, not really, but uh, quite delayed. Mm -hmm. Nice contamination on that robotics, yeah. see. Um, now that will uh, put pull that Colossus third one quite uh, way back. So it's gonna yeah. take some time. It's going to be the light, and, and if I'm not mistaken, it was also in the middle of a chrono boost. Yes, so I, think I think that's another. You are correct. Do you, do you know if maybe chrono boost makes that creep go faster away? Like I no, don't no, no. Think so. uh, <laughs> doesn't. Okay. We see now Starbuck pushing with Hydras, Roaches, and in uh, Corruptors, and Corruptors will take down those Colossus uh, quite easily, but. He has to be careful. There are yeah, quite some link stalkers. Focus, exactly. Yeah, so Starbuck has to choose his engagement smart because there are quite some sentries with almost full energy here. So a lot of force fields available, and we see basically Cheese King's third is now operational, up and running, f almost fully saturated, and Starbuck's fourth is only mined by four rounds, so it's still gonna take some time. Yeah, Cheese King is on ten gates. Um, he's also finishing plus three, yeah. That's yeah, cool. plus three, and we see a great aspire finish uh, being uh, morphing right now. And Cheese King has to push before that great aspire, or if he ha if he doesn't want to lose the Brood Lords, he has to put down at least two Stargates and start producing wide range. Yeah, he uh, he start with the Stargate. I guess he will go for Fleet Beacon pretty much. Yeah, uh, Starbase. As soon as possible, I guess. Um, Mothership, yeah, okay. or Archons, or he needs High Templar. I didn't see any High Templar attack. No yeah, High. Me neither. So that's a little bit weird. Now, Storms in this case are quite useful against the Hydras. Um, and Cheese King is looking to take. There was a little bit of a weird yeah. engagement. Yeah, it's like. No, well, not the, this one. Yeah, uh, but uh, poking. The roach against uh, Stalker in the middle for the map control. Yeah, now we see the bank of Starbuck is like huge, 2.7k uh, minerals. Pretty much the same <laughs> at the moment. Yes, but and we see far away. No, but we see right now Insta morph in ten Broodlords, yeah. and now ten isn't the critical number, but that's a lot of Broodlords and. Uh, Cheese King will have to be really careful around yeah, but here. He has like what? How many stalkers? He has 37 stalkers. Yes, uh, now there are investors in play, but since the nerf on investor range, um, it's not very useful. Uh, uh, are you becoming s a sad zone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we, are sm uh, we see a fleet beacon uh, completed. We see a mothership immediately being morphed in. A little bit of a supply block from Cheese King's side. Um, now, fourth base for Cheese King is running up, but it will be denied. Starbuck smartly pulls some roaches uh, from the main army and yeah, start. There's gonna be engagement? Or yeah, really? a little bit of an engagement here. Uh, Starbuck just uh, throwing those broodlings away and a couple of infested eggs or uh, infested Terrans. Now, um, Cheese King has to pull back here. There are quite some roaches in his third base, and the cannons are only in range. Oh yeah, okay, so they're no longer in rage in range, sorry. He went for a, a simulator, I yeah. guess, which was not that uh bad of an idea, I guess, since the guess is, is so guess yeah, is guess dependent, expensive. especially yeah. uh when you put pull those uh, uh high templars out. So mothership on the way, but like you said, where is the high templar tech? Yeah, there's a no lot high templar gas is being added, still just one forge for Protoss. 
Yes, and okay, I didn't see the uh, World Prism action again, which his king used quite well at the start of the match. Yes, um, now Chis King has a really big, I mean, he has quite a dead ball here, four Colossus. Uh, there's only one Immortal though, but a lot of Stalkers and Sentries with full energy. And Ground Army from Starbuck will be melted away by this. But the problem is there are just, yeah, uh, there's like 16, 16 Broodlords. Yeah, but he doesn't even have a Ground Army. Oh, nice snipe on those Infestors now. Cheese King just blinked a couple of, him, of Stalkers. Oh, oh, nice blink, Again, pulling all yeah. the Infestors. And this is really good for Starbuck and without I mean, those you mean Cheese King. Oh, sorry, for Cheese King, yeah, I apologize. And without those Fungals, those Stalkers are really, really good against Broodlords, especially with the blink under them. Yep, that's true. They also um, nicely upgraded. 3-2 is uh, pretty good. His opponent has 1-1 one, one air. Yes, and Mothership is now complete, finally. Um, is this already on the way to the army of Cheese King? And this mothership will be really good since uh, Starbuck has no corruptors, only three on the way. Uh, additional infestors, though, which is uh, smart, and I think newer parasite would really prove good in this case. Yeah, Cheese King is in front in workers. And yeah, I think he's a uh, not uh, that he's a great position. I would say. I mean, I. Finally, some. Um, well, it's a DT shine. Yeah. Now, uh, finally, there will be archons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, DTs will prove to be useful if. Very useful, I would say. Yeah, if Starbuck has no detection, but and if we look at the map. He just throwing away those oh, sentries, what? I guess. Oh, now that's not good. I mean, basically, he probably knows their sentries are pretty much useless with so much broodlords, but still, I mean, okay. He uh, now all the sentries. Yeah, he threw yeah, all the sentries. All the way. Now he wants the supply for the archons. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, sentries are really useful, uh, useless in in uh, this. Much, yeah. yeah. So, but the uh, broodlord army <laughs> will go through this. Yeah, there are no corruptors though, so the mothership will be alive That's for quite true. some time. And it has a vortex. Oh, nice new repairs. Uh, nice vortex, uh, but just basically using the vortex to uh, capture all the units of uh, of uh, Cheese King. And this is not good for Cheese King. This is definitely not good for Cheese King. Yep. I mean, without the mothership, he cannot fight this Broodlord army. Uh, just so much I have of to everything. Say, yeah, like you said, that uh, action with. Uh, Ninja Vortex like Yeah, <laughs> Neural a, Parasite. Yeah. Um, um but made uh, this is pretty much in favor of Starbuck, I, I would say. He didn't lose anything. Right now Starbuck cannot lose unless there's a big blink under those uh, under those broodlords and if that happens then he will be able to take those that army down and right now the blink yeah here's the blink but yeah, a little but bit too short oh this might this not, is not good actually not this is really blink, bad yeah. yeah this is really bad I think for this her. is not the best place to blink this one uh, another blink, blink was a yeah bit this is good but there's just so but many broodlords yeah, at this I would case say it was too it's late yeah, exactly. There was this obstacle, you know, this you, you see this yeah, hill, yeah, and the, I think that's the a, not the best place to. GG. Yep. GG called, and GG. I mean, uh, um, Cheese King had a great opportunity with that uh, mothership, um, but he just didn't count on the, that neural, uh, neural parasite, and lo when he lost the mothership, he could have come back if he might be able to. Um, blink under those broodlords, but unfortunately, it's over. It was over by that time. Yeah, so um, a good play. Yeah. I mean, Cheese King was not behind at all. I would say. I mean, no, he was. He did a great job. Yeah, I would say so too. I think he was in good position to win the map, but in the end, Starbuck just neuroparasited his way to victory. Exactly. I mean. Um, he did a great job with that lair snipe. He did a great job with the denial of the fourth base of G of uh, Starbuck. Um, he did quite a good job in all in, uh, in everything. But then that initial mid-game fight where he lost all the Colossus and um, 
and almost all the immortals and basically the whole army. It was really bad for him, and from that point on, he just couldn't stop the Zerg to get he, um, those that brutal attack. But even though the Zerg did get that that uh, that ball army, he managed to pull out a mothership and all that. Um, but unfortunately, with a little bit of Miss Micro, he lost it, and it was over from that point on. Yep. I have to say, I was a bit um, mm -hmm. surprised that he went for, s I mean, pretty fast mothership without Archons, that is. Um, yeah. But he was in great position, it was just like that action. And yeah. And we have to, I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with Cheese King's play. I mean, he, he did lose, of course, but I think that Starbuck was a I favorite mean, if we start yeah. discussing it anyway. But uh, uh, in my opinion, if he wouldn't lose that vertex, and if he would have a different chance to engage the army of broodlords, I think it would be a little bit different, and it might be Cheese King's game. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, it's all to pos uh, down to possibilities, but you know. Exactly. It was a close match. That's something we uh, all agreed. And yeah, we're and let's see what happens in the next map. Which is going to be Cloud Kingdom. Yeah, this is Cheese King's uh, uh, pick, uh, loser picks map. Uh, am I right? Yep. Yeah, okay, so Cloud Kingdom, guys. Everybody knows it, everybody plays it. It's still on ladder, it's still in Hot's ladder, or uh, um, custom games, whatever you want to play. Yep, I hope this uh, map is going to be normal one. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Um, so, Cloud Kingdom, guys. Yep. Quite a quite a one on one map. This is an important thing to notice. Um, so cheeses are often here, <laughs> uh, especially when you know where your opponent is. Um, now there's n the, the rush distance isn't as long as we could say. It's just straight line from your ma uh, from your expansion to the to the expansion of your opponent. So okay, it's just give me one second. Yes, I please. Please do. I'll try to make something. Okay, so um, this is it, guys. Second map. Starboard is working this time, and I'm gonna present the Protoss again. He <laughs> is Cheese King, a red Protoss, like I said, on the left bottom side of this Cloud Kingdom. So big cheers for him, and we'll see if he will use this cliff. I mean, this map. Um, for blinks. Yeah. Okay. Just let me. I'll continue on that. But just let me introduce our blue zerg from Slovenia. It is Starbuck. Currently 1-0 in this best of five series. Okay. So let's get back into what the you said. Case. Yeah. The blink. Uh, this map is really good for blink stalker all in since you have a really open third um, if we look at from Zerg's perspective the third is really open so um, it's really easy to attack it then you directly blink into the main and just blink up and down and up and down yeah. and just and force that's something we saw Cheese King do against Potak on Kuset e Ygre but he made a well a unfortunate but a big big blunder and he lost the game it was that it was his to lose and starbuck now expanding um, yeah starbuck goes for his, his pro uh, cheese king's probe could um block. yeah could block and this is a 15 hatch now um there um no it depends what starbuck will see but he might go for a third hatch before pull since he will see the nexus first here yeah, um cheese king saw the first I mean, pretty. Yeah, fast. the the 15 hat, so he's pretty. Yeah, he has hat without spawning pool, of course, so. Okay, so he decides to go uh, mm. spawning pool before third hatch. Um, no, but he, he, he already started spawning pool, though. Yeah, I mean, he goes spawning pool before third hatch. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's like in school that you want to say. Yeah, I'm okay. right and teacher is not. Yeah. But usually she's right. Okay, so we see a gateway before uh, Forge, which is which does indicate that Cheese King is feeling pretty safe here, uh, knowing um, yeah, the pool will be after the hatchery. Yep. He scattered the pool, 
he knows the timings but I was hoping to see uh, maybe two gate opening to some early pleasure but it didn't happen Anyways, yeah the expansion for Starbucks is down cheese kings is on the way um, and he's also already mining gas like proto should be exactly and this game is normalizing I mean it's a pretty normal standard um, about uh, only the deviation with the Nexus first was the only different thing from the last game so right now we see a third hatch as uh, again it's a common uh, response it's basically the best response against the Nexus first especially so and Cheese King scouts that yeah sees that third hatch and he no guess from uh, Starbuck he's sitting at what two queens only two queens yeah, no additional queens as you can see now. Starbuck goes to scout with his main queen if see if he sees any possible cannon rushes, but there's nothing there, so he feels quite okay with that. Another thing I just wanted to say is that um, the one thing that's pretty much different than before is that this one is more. Um, both players went for more macro builds, but it's not just that. Cheese King went for Forge first. He went from Forge first to. Nexus first to gateway, which means that his warp gate is going to be way, way faster than the game before. Yes, that is and actually he's correct. He's already adding the Twilight Council. What a surprise! Yeah, and with that early Twilight Council, I mean, with such an uh, basically directly into tech, this might be Dark Templar, um, since he has two probes on the map. Both probes are being scouted, so that's unfortunate for the Cheese King. Warren is. Uh, um, going down though. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate for Cheese King, but it's uh, great for uh, Starbuck, I would say. Um, um, that's something he has to do again. Yeah, I mean, he wants to know if there are any pot, but exactly. look at this. Starbuck wasn't paying attention because his uh, Zergling just earlier ran by this probe, and right now he's going to miss it, and he's going to be so angry with him himself. Yep. And he's oh. going to search for it, but. Yeah, unsuccessfully, he won't exactly. find it. Um, and this will give Cheese King the opportunity, and we see a Dark Shrine exactly put going down. Oh, an and Overlord! Takes. Yeah, and we see an Overlord going to try and scout, but there's a Stalker there ready, so he won't the scouting will be denied. Exactly. Yep, he can't see it. Um, the Pylon is also going down, and Starbuck. Well, well it's not like he's uh, he lost but, or something, but no, no, no. Cheese King has a good initiative now. Yeah, Starbuck has no. I mean, his lair is only halfway done. Although Dark Templar will be. Oh no, Starbuck sees the pylon, so he knows there's something fishy going on. Yeah, yeah, he just went there with the zergling and kills the probe. So any kind of Dark Templar harass will be denied and the delayed at least. Delayed at least, yes. Okay, just King going for a third base, which I think it's pretty safe. Larry's uh, well, Larry's morphing, so. Now, Mutalisk could be an option here, but since he has... Oh, no, 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 of course, what am I talking about? There are six roaches on the way. <laughs> okay, six, six roaches. roaches at, um, and but he's making a Vore Prism again, which means that uh, he's going for a Vore Prism DT stuff. Um, yeah, he could uh, be going for it. It's quite powerful if you look at it uh, from one way. I mean with a war prism uh, harass and with DTs and two zealots or one zealot you're really strong now third base from cheese king is really exposed I mean look at how many roaches are on the map they're just marching against the third base and it will have to be cancelled yeah, cheese king look at this war prism scouts the yeah. attack and the attack scouts the war prism yeah and win. Cheese King has to cancel yeah, everything, everything here. Everything is cancelled. Pylon will um, die, but this war prism will be double spotted, I guess. This Zergling will spot it as well. Yeah, and, and there's a spore crawler, wasn't there a one, one spore it's crawler somewhere? A spore crawler is already oh, yeah, ready. Okay, yeah. And Starbuck is uh, ready as well with a couple of links in the main row line. Yeah. And, and he's also going for a fourth base. Yes, and, and Hydralis will be. Um, Insta denied, I guess. Yep, I agree. And we see a Hydra then again being, uh, well, basically already complete and with a plus one range on those Hydras already on the way. So, same play from Starbuck again. 
and we see immortals coming out for cheese king and this i mean immortals are good against those roaches but with against so many hydras oh, okay so he puts down a robotics bay yeah he has to make something um maybe um Storms no. wouldn't be that uh, bad idea. Storms would be... Oh, Starbucks scouts all the four. <laughs> Look at this scout <laughs> from Starbucks. Yeah, this yeah. is just this is just funny how he just scouts everything that is made instantly. Yep, and, and two Archons being morphed. Yeah, I think that's a smart decision. I mean, with DTs you couldn't really do much since Starbucks already scout them that they are complete. Yeah, and he have. also added, like, what? Two now, just he added one um, spoke crawler just for to be sure. Yeah, just to be uh, sure exactly. Uh, and he third might be base. able to yeah he might be able to uh, get this third base at the moment, but I don't know if he can. It's going to be hard if you look at the supply difference, uh, 102 against 166. Now there are archons, but against so many hydrolisk and roaches, it's going to be really hard. Um, I mean, he has only four sentries. They do have almost full energy, so that means four force fields per one sentry. But when those sentries will basically waste their energy or use it up, it's not going to be good. Yeah, we I see. Have to agree. We see a smart wall in from Cheese King, walling his uh, expansion or um, natural uh, ramp or expansion on uh, ramp. <laughs> Um, now, Colossus finally joins this uh, composition. Are on the way, but I don't know if they're the best choice against our. Um, now, Mutalist uh, will I mean, be able to harass and do a hell of a, a wreck, anyways. But I mean, this. the thing with Mutalist is um, when it comes to an engagement, if your opponent has a lot of, I mean, a lot, but if he has a reasonable amount of stalkers. And uh, like we see two Archons, uh, the Mutalisk are pretty much useless in a head-up engagement. So you really have to do some yeah. really I good damage. I think he will use them uh, like a Mutalisk. Yeah, yeah. He'll go like now, here. Like we see right now, we see well, probes just being one killed. Probe. Six probes being killed. Nine, ten probes. Now he's getting quite a nice skill count. And if he continues to do like that, those Mutas will play. Twenty ahead. He's twenty yeah. in workers over the roof and seventeen workers. Eighteen workers being killed. Nineteen and these mutas oh, have already almost paid for them for themselves. How many mutas did he lose, anyways? Uh, Not that much out. He made like around. I, I, I think he went in with like ten or something. I think but so. But he made. He had thirteen in the between, so he was making few. He was, oh no, he's making at the moment. Okay. Yeah, again, additional mutal is on the way. Now, I would have liked Corruptors more since he did this in the previous game with the Corruptors and they proven to be, at least, they, they did scare Cheese King at least a little bit, uh, so he didn't push right ahead with those Colossus, but right now Cheese King uh, isn't Starbucks in a really bad Starbucks position. Uh, finished his uh, fifth base already, um, not opting for this one here the right hand side one but left top side one and yes yeah. he also uh, is adding another spire i don't know where though i guess for upgrades yeah for uh he's just adding uh, exactly at his main now we see a lot of mutalisk right now returning and they're gonna pick the fight with oh, the stalkers okay. uh which is actually he has more mutalisk than stalkers so he can do that but the yeah, stalkers but yeah they have blink and plus three so they're really strong yeah they have plus three um, I just wanted to say that basically Cheese King isn't really behind behind, but he's not in a good spot. I mean, the mothership is warping in, so he does expect those those broodlords, and the mothership will actually be out before any broodlords come out, anyway. So. Yeah, but Tarvak is taking his six at the same time that Cheese King is taking his four. Yeah, that's that's the next thing I wanted to say that Starbuck is just. Macroing up, just getting bases all around this the and map, and he just might no, he won't be able to. Uh, he this shouldn't one. deny this. At least, yeah, of course. There's at least enough colossus and everything else to yeah, kill a couple approaches. Okay, so um, the bank for Starbuck is getting ever bigger. The most important right now for him is the gas. 
So basically he needs all the gas he can from his fourth base and his fifth and possibly his sixth if it remains active. Um, and we see uh yeah, we s finally being added um, in quite a mess, but I think that's for his um Brood yeah, Lord's for the Broodlords, yeah. and with the Broodlords, now, this time around, Cheese King mustn't, mustn't um, lose that mothership, or he will definitely which, which lose. mothership? Um, the oh mothership. Yeah, okay, he's <laughs> yeah. yeah um, the thing is that right now he is behind. He is behind quite a lot, if you look but at economics. At has, uh, yeah. Problems. And at least has the fourth base. That is true. But I mean, he's stable. I, I wouldn't say he's ahead, but he's just yes. he's stable at the he moment. He isn't in a really bad spot. He's but not. He's not overextending. He, uh, like you said, he's not uh, in a bad spot, but he's not. He's very far from being in a bad spot. You know. Yeah, but he's not in a really good spot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like in the middle. And yeah. And again, we see Starbuck tr uh, killing Seven, those. He's like savable, but from in behind. Yeah, and right now 33 of, probes yeah, lost, a lot of probes died. and that is actually a lot. This that is won't do a lot to those mutas. Well, those talkers might again a little and trouble some blink. These mutas okay. are actually I mean, wasteable. Yeah. They are wasteable. They yeah, exactly. at this stage of the game they become pretty much useless. Now, one thing, one thing I wanted to notice, uh, or actually to say, look at that creep spread, man. Look yeah. at that goddamn creep spread. It's at Cheese King's third, at Cheese King's uh, ramp at the ma at expansion, it's yeah, basically it's everywhere. Yeah, on the door, man. Yeah. It's like, hello, who's <laughs> there? Zerk. Yeah, what's up, son? <laughs> yep. We see probes transferring to the sixth place now. Finally um, clearing the creep, I think that's a great thing to yeah. do. Yeah, uh, but if it's a bit else, late. <laughs> yeah, it's really late, but if nothing else, um, Zerk loses that free vision. vision yeah. Um, so there, well, this is this and I mean come down to the vortex. Me, exactly. Yeah, it's the just vortex. About the vortex, and that's something maybe uh, like we see now uh, two good strong players playing uh, PVZ. It yeah. will always come down to vortex, and maybe that's now, something. Uh, I have to notice. Oh, and Cheese King chooses to engage here, which isn't the smart. Ooh. Oh, nice vortex Not defensive. That bad of a vortex, yeah. But he didn't manage to take all the brood lords. Yeah, he only he took a couple, I think. Yeah, but I think they were stacked. Yeah. We'll see how many, though. Yeah, I didn't actually see now, and we see. Oh, there were quite. There were four or five brood yeah. lords. Five, six, something like yeah. that. He's now, saving them with uh, transfuses. He's, he managed to save two. Yeah, nice transfuses, and this is not looking good for Chase King. Yeah, I mean, he lost to go back. a lot. He lost almost all the Archons. The mothership falls, and only four Colossus remain. And he has to pull back and just try to rebuild this. But we see so many Broodlords. Uh, the Hydras uh, <laughs> used to be bad against Colossus, but seems they're not. <laughs> yeah, but and the thing is that. Um, the only thing saving Cheese King not from uh, losing at this moment is uh, movement speed from Blue Roads, I would say. Yeah, the movement speed is slow and yep. it should stay that way if you don't want to see a premature GG. Now, Star Cheese King um, is I mean, right he, now he in a bad spot. Snipe, did he even snipe that base? No, he didn't snipe anything. He did actually nothing. He just killed a couple of broodlords. Uh, I think a couple of infest. Uh, I think only one infester and a couple yeah, of. Yeah, and we, the units loss tap is pretty um, even, but we all know that with this economy, with this, yeah. com this many bases, Starbuck can uh, trade uh, willingly. Exactly. He can trade rate. quite uh, well, uh, not. I mean, he can lose all those hydrolysts, can remake them easily. Um, he can't lose the broodlords though, exactly. because the broodlords give me, give him, uh, give them the cheese king the momentum. But we see the siege on the fourth base of our Protoss starting to begin, and it's going to to be hard to break those broodlord lines. The mothership is only n okay now finishing, which is good for him. But there won't be a vortex for at least another 50 seconds or so. Yeah. That's true, and uh, fourth for Cheese King is down. Cheese King is meanwhile attacking uh, the upper left base from of Tarbuck, but I think yeah, nice fungal, basically putting everyone down. Not that bad of a bling, but I think that there yeah, are too many they're just 
too many broodlords and three or more uh, in behind and high risk and everything is here. And he also has a oh. quite good concave with those broodlords. Yeah, and again we see. Not that oh much. my God! Did you see the new repairs? I yeah. think other ship. Oh, GG call. There is no yeah, GG. There is no vortex, but it. Yeah, it's still. No need for it. The thing with the, I mean the cloak. Just the cloak gives him enough uh, advantage. Yep, GG. Starbuck takes a uh, second map as well. Which exactly. Makes the score 2 against 0 for Slovenian Zerg. Okay, so how do how do you think this will end? I mean, it's 2 0 for the Zerg, like you've said. Um, Cheese King is showing to not uh, that uh, his uh, PVZ isn't bad, but he just can't overcome um, Starbucks. I mean, it's hard to say how it's going to... I mean, it's not that hard to say how it's going to end. Yeah, at the moment, I think that Starbuck in great position, uh, a great way, a uh, great way to finals, at least. Yeah, I mean, with a 2-0 win, and the next map... Uh, Is, uh, which one do you think? I, I think call Entombed Valley. Oh, interesting. But or it's daybreak. Or, or daybreak. Yeah, I just wanted to say daybreak. Got yeah, that. and <laughs> it is daybreak. Yeah. Um, so, interesting okay. map. I think that the most old school tactic of Chase King on this map is proxy double proxy target. We'll see if he goes for it. But anyhow, his uh, PVZ is getting um, more and more dynamic. Yes. Um, but Starbuck just seems to be on top of, of things. Yeah, a level yeah. above his opponent. An important thing to notice, notice about Daybreak, it's a neutral map for races. I mean, it's the most neutral map for the races. Uh, or races, how how um, they um, how they um, how do, how to say how do they uh, balance on a map? So yeah, we'll see. So uh so we're just waiting for ISIS, caster, oh, yeah. for his caster, yeah. Waiting for Hungarian caster. Yes. Um, now, guys, this is the Con SI Arena Season 1 semi-finals. It yeah, is... The first semi-finals. The first semi-finals, of course. It is Starbuck versus Cheese King. It is currently 2-0 for Starbuck uh, in a best of five. So this means this is the last, possibly the last match uh, or the last game in this uh, uh, in this series, and it would mean that Starbuck could possibly take this a 3-0 win uh, and going into the finals with a really really nice score, you could say. Yep. Um, on the other hand, we might see a magical return or a magical comeback from Cheese King, yep. going 3-2 three, three against Starbuck, which would be also awesome if you ask me. It would be really awesome, and I have to say that if someone can do it, it has to be Cheese King. Yes. He has uh, quite a lot of potential, I, I think, I mean, that's my, that's my opinion. Um, he's making some blunders, but I think the time will fix those things. Yes, and I think uh, Hots has already fixed that. Yeah, but I mean, yes. it's <laughs> not like yeah, that it's a blunder in a game, but it's uh, his decision making sometimes, or like misclicks, like it happened again. Patak, but he's showing good games and I'm looking forward to this um, interesting map Daybreak which we'll see how it plans out for both players exactly um, okay yeah. so what do you think I Who's say gonna... that we'll start the game in uh, one minute maybe 30 seconds okay um, okay we're gonna start the lobby and we're gonna see what happens who's who's uh, who's gonna be top who's gonna be bottom <laughs> I say I call I call you know what I call I'll call cheese king being on the bottom uh, yeah on the bottom and Starbuck being on the top that's how I call it okay can I call the player on the left side or right side <laughs> is there no left right <laughs> I mean there technically is you know yeah technically on the left side <laughs> of the map and the right side of the map so left, it's bottom and right upper yeah, Top. I agree. Whatever. Top, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it when you play Dota. Yeah. But this time it's not Dota, it's Conce Arena StarCraft 2 and here it is. Deciding match between Cheese King and Starbuck. Now you can um, announce the Protoss this time. 
Okay. I have the honors then. Yeah. Okay, in the blue color, we have our Protos from Croatia. He's been playing quite good, being a little bit of a blunder right now, losing uh, in a 2-0, being 2-0 down right now. It is Cheese King. Cheese King, who's already yeah. doing something. Uh, yeah, is, something fishy. We're no. talking about the, yeah. the, the, the proxy target. I, proxy say, target. I say this will be either a gateway or it might be a cannon. This was really a 6 pool or it was like 8 or something. Uh, yeah, and uh, Cheese King is probably going to put down a forge right now here. Yeah, uh, I would just like to know. introduce the early puller here. It's Starbuck who is a <laughs> low and he's... Look at that chat, man. Just look at what they're talking about. It's yeah. so fun. Oh, and why didn't you introduce the Zerg? Come on. Yeah, I just did. In oh. a second. Oh, okay. When we were talking I, in I hurry, but it. Yeah, okay, the red <laughs> Zerg in the top right corner. The guy that went like what six, seven, eight pool? Yeah. Starbuck. I think it's eight pool. I don't know if this it's is six, no. this is not eight pool. This is actually six pool. Uh, no, this is seven, eight. Yeah, I actually like seven, eight pool. It wasn't six pool. Definitely not six pool. This was eight, seven pool. Perhaps no, it was. Uh, <laughs> he also oh, he's God damn it. A forge and a Yeah, gateway. and a gateway. Yeah. Um, so and to see what comes out of those uh, links. Yeah, uh, nine pool. Yeah, nine pool. Yeah, I guess it. Mm, I don't know. I didn't really be pay much attention, so it's hard to say. Yeah, um, I think that yeah, that it was like s eight or seven, but I'm not sure. I would say eight, but yeah, but eight pools not seven, so let's say nine. Let's say nine okay. and, and let it be. <laughs> okay, so we are cannon. We have a cannon building up in uh, Cheese King's main. Um, uh, and the cannon actually won't complete in time. The links will come there, but it will complete before the links manage to massive damage. Now Cheese King should pull. Okay, he tries to save the pros. Nice micro from Cheese King. Mineral walking might yeah. not lose even a oh, one probe falls, and this will be over for Starbuck. Uh, no more uh, harass, and we see Starbuck just droning behind this madly. <laughs> Is he? And yeah, he's on. Um, well, he's behind the workers, of course. But yeah, oh, and a nice, oh, nice smash four blob. Yeah, okay. also yeah, uh, and we see a cannon rush coming up from Cheese King, and Starbuck has to pull drones smartly. Three drones, perhaps uh, one more would be here good, but okay. And Cheese King is just in a oh, whoa. Cheese King goes for plus one weapons before even uh, finishing cybernetic score and just on one gas. Now yeah. this is something new. I would <laughs> say... <laughs> no. um, yeah, no. Starbuck says no gas for you. No gas. Okay, but just denied. <laughs> so this game is pretty weird, we can say the least. Uh, and I think that that plus one indicates some uh, fast stuff. Yeah, well, that's the only thing that Cheese King... Yeah, I think Forgate would be the best option here, since uh, there's nothing much uh, Cheese King can do. I mean, he before he can even take his uh, natural, he has to at least have a Stalker and a Zealot. So, okay, so the Stalker and the Zealot are out now, so he could be able... He is able to take it. Now we see... Uh, yeah, going to expand right now. Put down the Nexus immediately. Yep, he is going to expand, and his tech will be much faster this time. But uh, expansion. The problem. Delayed. Yeah, mm, yeah. The problem is there's just so many links on the map. Exactly. Look at the yes, link. and with 16 links, this puny army with one Silat and one Stalker could be overwhelmed easily. Yeah, I don't know if he can. Uh, really yeah, stop here this. we see, and if there's four, f no force. F oh, this is bad. This is well, really he bad. Can still, well, bad, yeah. It's not good. Yeah, and now he uh, forced. I mean, he just. He will get a cancel, yeah. Yeah, and he will get a probe, um, or two probes and a pylon. He could get an. Oh, nice. Oh, oh god, this is bad. This is really bad. Now, I mean, this is basically almost over if you look at it from one way. Yeah, um, I just think he's adding. Uh, he will be up three gates, 
and yeah. she just can't put expand down. Yeah, I mean another probe lost for uh, Cheese King, um, and and another, and another yeah, and <laughs> this is just um, yeah. Let's see the lo unit lost tap. Well, it's pretty much even, but yeah, the yeah, thing is the delay. Uh, minor minerals for um, workers. Yeah, I mean zerglings for workers. For workers, yeah. And the best thing for Cheese now, King. Cheese King will be able to take his expansion now finally yeah. in peace. So he will be able to force fill that ramp or that entrance. But the thing is he just he's just behind quite a lot. I mean spillings are out so any possibility of Cheese King trying to scout whatever it will be almost uh, impossible without yeah. Robo. Uh, so yeah, well he would go for like some uh, yeah. Not that um, everyday methods like. Oh, this oh, is not yeah, good. There oh, was a okay. little. But still, there are six links in your base, and that's never a good thing. <laughs> I would like I to see. I would like to see um, maybe hallucinations or Phoenix Scout or something like that. But he yeah. has to scout, I guess. He yeah, that a lot of sentries. That's because I think oh. he's <laughs> not feeling safe. And no. force fields grant you safety for a little bit of time, I guess. Exactly, exactly. And we see Starbucks third, and right now completing. We see Roach Warren completing. Now Stargate, Stargate is on the way, which is probably the best thing for um, Cheese King. But Starbuck probably says the count of no, oh, what is, what does six mean? Six gates. Uh, yes, he's correct. Six <laughs> Yes, yeah, six gate and uh, stargate. Yeah, well, this <laughs> is everything. So make two more. He tells him what to do, and a uh, two base all in. Okay, here goes two base all in with star stargate. Not bad, I guess. Um, no, cheese king. It's hard to say. W um, how can he come back here? He uh, has the upgrade advantage at least for. Yeah, and uh. he has to keep that invention. He has to push. Yeah, I guess. Um, mm, but those phoenixes won't do anything against the roaches. So and the thing is that with those phoenixes, phoenixes, he needs to get a really good drone count, a uh, drone kill. Yeah, I mean, but he has to get a lot of drone that's kills. That's true. But if you look at it, uh, Starbuck is ten drones ahead. He has a better economy. He has yes. more army. Which means that he has to get like a lot, a lot, a lot of drones killed with Phoenixes because otherwise, Starbuck will just trade armies and or remake um, drones behind it, and um, I think he can get back with just Phoenix. Players. Yeah, and uh, Starbuck did scout the Stargate, so he knows what's up, he knows what's coming, and we had scouted Stargate. I mean, just we see spores coming down in every base. We see an infestation pit. This time there will be no hydralisk for him, so he wants to play it a little bit more safer because hydralisk against <laughs> Protoss, <laughs> we all know. Air units scouting uh, ground units. Yeah, but we see so many roaches on the map with plus one, and there's only six sentries here and two stalkers, and these roaches roaches will possibly break down. Although there are full sentries, so he should. Um, he should be able to at least um, uh, at least uh, force the roaches to not break as fast. <laughs> yeah, not that bad. Of force nice field. force nice field macro from uh, Micro, sorry, from yeah. uh, Cheese King as well. Yeah, and, and like one gate. He's one cleaning. Gate. Oh. Yeah, one gate oh nice force fields capturing yeah. three additional roaches and this is exactly what Cheese yeah. King needs. I and think this Cheese is King um, this was a good trade for Cheese King. He lost a gate yeah. and a few units but also we failed to mention that he managed to kill a queen in Starbucks main, so that's also a great thing he for him. Yeah, he killed he killed two queens, I guess. Uh yeah, the I think it was the creep uh, spreading one and the main one. So that's good for him. Oh, well, it seems that he just killed one unit with those phoenixes. So it was ah. just one queen then. Okay, okay. But still, okay. one queen is better than no queen. It's then a no bit queen. of a, um, investment into this. To uh, what's that? Uh, phoenixes, but I guess they can scout and they take the yeah. control of the map. And, and right now we see Cheese King pu uh, pulling out with Blink Stalkers. 
and quite some sentries, but yeah, terror are Yeah, had three more gates, so Starbucks yeah. said make two more and all in or something like that. Cheese King is making three more <laughs> and he's adding blink. Exactly. Oh, and Starbuck has no vision over those phoenixes, so he couldn't chain fungle them. And Cheese King might capture one. Ooh, infestor, oh, this infestor, one infestor should die. Nice, nice. nice uh, and another yeah. infestor going down yeah. just by sentries. Ooh, and losing this all the infestors. Yeah, this is actually really good for uh, Cheese King. He yeah. will be able to deny this fort. He will be able to possibly kill the third. I think and that he has to kill the third and deny the fort. He has to do both. Yeah, I think he has to kill the third, kill the fort, and he kill the army. Maybe, yeah. uh, he'll just go to kill everything, and that's another yeah. possibility. Uh, that was not blink. the best blink. Yeah, yeah. More, so. I mean, he blinked directly into roaches and queens with fungals. Nice on fungals top. in the background, not a yeah. blink. Um, and exactly, I would say that the blink was not that bad, but um, yeah. Starbuck Ro just... Uh, Fung out the rest of the army and look yes. what's left. Three nice snipe, nice snipe on that fort. Now he has to snipe the third at and least, just pull, yeah, at least. pull, snipe the third and pull back. That's the best thing he could uh, take right now. Oh, another, another uh, fungal and another. Oh, nice blink evading that. Stalkers though, but I guess he, yeah, he will um, just try to blink them here. Yeah, and right now with this blink stalkers, Ooh, he's actually. Spankrows are going to be spankrows are going to be ready, and they will make this a lot harder. Yeah, and cheese king shouldn't really engage those spankrows without uh, zealots. Zealots are really good tank Meanwhile, tank units. Cheese king is taking a different. Oh, fort. now burrow for. Uh, burrow, yeah. And he's just trying to focus down those uh, those stalkers. Yeah, he's gonna pick a stalker by stalker and. Uh, without losing spines, I guess he still has two spines on what, like, hundred yeah. HP, uh, fifty HP. No. One spine falls, second one, nice, oh, uh, nice burrow micro. Uh, the, well, yeah, they quite are not good fun. The best, I guess. Yeah, he yeah, could but get just more, but not that bad. And this is actually might be possibility here. Oh, nice fungal capturing right, everything. But, fungal, yeah. but there's just not enough ev of everything for yeah. Starbuck to the press. Are slowly dying. The queens and tanks. I yeah. think. I mean, it's queens nice and roaches are just tanking. And, and Starbuck will lose this. Base. Yeah, this is uh, now. Cheese King has an uh, an opening here. He has to finish that third smartly now. Finishes and just go away. Just go home. Go home and don't lose uh, those stalkers. If he loses those stalkers, it's over. Mm. He has to be really careful. Yeah, he um, must not lose the stalkers. He might kill. But well, he's having additional zealots can b come by and. And that's actually really good for him. I think he just might go for it. Um, or not. Yeah. yeah, he's just going with one zealot. Yeah. Good choice. He's gonna um, see what's he there. He wants to see. And without spine crawlers, he possibly might go for it. I mean, there's no spines to really. Do the extra damage and tank, so yeah. But I like the vision of Starbuck at the moment. He doesn't have a yeah. nice cruise pad, but he but just he knows everything. Enough. Yeah, yeah. And that creep unit, I mean, borrowed units also help. Oh, and Hydralisk are, are here, and oh and no, and he just goes also. in directly into the spines, and the stalkers, uh, the stalkers are quite damaged right now, so he will actually yeah. lose. The I mean, he has to go back. He and a fungal. Oh my God, what fungal. a fungal! And also a gr great um, yeah, and another borrow. fungal will fall. Oh my God, another another fungal. great uh, um, yeah. borrow after fungal as well. Exactly, uh, not losing a single infester right yeah. there, and this is going to be GG. I mean, Cheese King is just not going to be able to do anything against this, and especially against Hydralisk. I have to say that um, it was a quite long fight. But in the end, Cheese King managed to drop two bases of Starbuck, but Starbuck is still ahead. He made a third yeah. one in between. And yeah. he's remaking his third one. I mean, that's his fourth now, I guess. While Cheese King is still not expanding. His third is getting um, creep blocked. And took his fourth base, or fifth, uh, whatever, however we want to look at it. A Roach okay, scout so that. A ninja base expands, something like that. We yeah, see that and for a long time, that's, I guess. that's exactly what uh, what Cheese King needs. Such expansion like this, uh, just 
trying to take hidden expansions where Starbucks doesn't know it for it. But he will try to push this, this fourth of Starbucks or fifth. And this is not going to, uh, well, n not the best force fields, capturing only one unit there. Um, yeah, I think it was more of a defense, yeah, but I possibly. don't know if Chief's King can even break this. Um, n no, he, he can't. Can. He has the same upgrades. Just that the Starbucks yeah, has more there are army, fungus. so I yeah, and just four can. There are four fungals available for Starbucks, so there's no way Cheese King can break this. Now Starbucks is going for a flank here, and this is going to be a big flank. Wow, nice, nice fungal, fungal. Yeah, all capturing the, all the sentries. The now death force field clumped, and yeah, the force field don't. Yeah, another help nice you. fungal, and force this is going can help to help you if, if you are outmaneuvered. And yes. this is what happened in this engagement. At least Chis uh, King wanted to save. Oh, look at this. Just dancing with the Hydras and Roaches, and this is over. GG. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Chis King goes down 3 0. Yeah, he had to do something drastic, and I yes, think I, I agree. That this, so, uh, nice I mean, try, but he did a great job. Yeah. He did a great job with, um, with killing the third and the fourth. And when he killed that third, he should have pulled back and not a lot, not lose those stalkers. I mean, um, he had an opening there when he saw the spank rolls are still not complete, so he might have gone there for the kill, but the problem is that um, then Starbuck gained investor energy and new investors and units, and it, it was just over from that point uh, on. Yep, I agree. And the next map, I mean, not the next map, the next, the uh, next. semi-finals is going to be between Breach and Giant and I'm as excited as well as I was before. Exactly. Uh, we didn't see those players play yet, but um, they We're are going to see they them know each other, yeah. Now, um, so it's going to be pretty much interesting. Are we going to go directly there or are we going to take a little bit of a break? Um, we can take a I'm minute break. I would ask for like a five minute break at least. Okay, we can take that, I guess. Okay, I just have to go to the toilet and get something to drink really fast. Cool, no problem then. Um, take your time and stay with us, guys. We're just tune in the music. So like uh, we said, we're gonna have a little break and we're gonna be back.
Hello guys. I am back. I have returned. <laughs> so, are we um, slowly ready to... Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, um, everybody's in. Oh, why is it? Yeah, um, actually this is going to be a great match, I think. Um, Bridge being, like you've said, the best player um, uh, in uh, uh, in Hungary and Giant being the best player in Bulgaria. How it spans out. Yes, and it will be daybreak. A map which we have seen just earlier, um, where unfortunately Cheese King lost against Starbuck. Yes, weird game, weird, weird game, yes. I, I agree. Woohoo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, great job. And we see a double SCV pool, and this is, um, yeah, you couldn't even uh, spot it this fast enough, and I'm calling it double proxy racks right now. The player, yes. Yes, and like we've both almost said it, it is proxy barracks, double proxy barracks, and now this is uh, pretty, this is actually really bad for Giant if you look at it, he's going for a 16 hatch, um, and okay, so pulls down, pull, uh, pull first, goes pulls first, and get, uh, goes gas. Yeah, I mean, he can scout the main, so he knows there's something going on without that barracks, and barracks is so late. Um, so right now, this is, will be a little bit um, quite scared for uh, him, I guess. Um, yep. Sorry, guys, I had a muted mic. I didn't really say anything up to the moment, but thanks to Seert for catching us. Uh, <laughs> our yeah, conversation, oh. yeah. Oh, okay. They just heard you for um, oh, okay. Those few minutes, I guess. Okay, so right now Breach uh, is producing Marines. He sees yeah. there's no hatch down, so. Okay, what was that? I thought it was a SUV train coming up, but. Um, I didn't not. see it. I actually did not see that, and we see Breach already rallying all everything back to base and. Um, he is probably going to lift off and go back home because he knows he can't really do much here because the links are already out. Yes. And right now, Giant is on the way to Breach's racks and Breach will have to lift off immediately here. Just cancel. He has to cancel that Marine. Oh no, he didn't cancel. Losing yeah. that Marine right now. Um, no. I would say a great read from Giant. Yeah. 
a great uh, job from Giant actually. Um, and just right now behind uh, behind that expanding, um, Bridge taking both gases. Yep. I now would like to see him expand. I think he can hold to this with uh, just repairing. And yeah. And definitely. Um, he has two marines there, so he's that de he definitely can hold. Um, the thing is that he should expand. He should go like to double command center behind this. It's yeah. The problem Probably is that uh, his two wrecks are going to travel for a bit longer, which means that um, he won't be able to make any marines in the meantime. Yeah, um, but we see already one command center going down, yes, and I, I, I hope to see another one because he's behind right now, and with another command center this would be l really good. Um, he, another command center sounds like um, something... Um, quite that, reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> reasonable, like you said, and that bridge, I think he will do it, he's a really experienced player, oh, well, he's adding a factory. Yeah, he just so... just might go for, a, oh no. Oh, double factory. Double. Now, this is possibly Blue, Heli Blue Flame Hellion. Yeah, he, he has to do something, because... Yeah, that is true, but he could go for a really greedy kind of build, I guess. And we see a reactor on one of the barracks and, and another reactor. Second. Okay. So it's just gonna be a double factory helium production, I guess. Or, um, I mean, siege tanks are really not good in this case since speedlings are out and map control is all giants. So yeah. I'll, I'll be really interested to see what. Uh, Otherwise, I just wanted to say that uh, those two players know each other. Um, they played on a. If I'm not mistaken, they met at. The Lamp party and Czech Republic. I'm not sure though, but I know that they know each other and they um, like each other. I mean, some kind of a gaming friends, I guess. Not uh, like the oh, about and uh, we see a double factory, double reactor helium build. <laughs> yep, like you said, like you said, a heavy <laughs> uh, helium pressure coming up. Yeah, but and but I, I mean, like the positioning of giant. He's yeah, he's, I mean, he knows, he will know uh, right away um, that there are Hellions in this yep. game he's and he will put down a Roach Warren immediately. He has to pull down a Roach, a Roach Warren. I mean, if you see four Hellions moving out immediately after your opponent goes like for a um, double proxy, you have to know there's, there's like massive production of Hellions going on. I think he feels comfortable with what he has at the moment. We'll see how that works out for him. You're gonna have a first engagement pretty soon or not. I think he Bridge won't try to go through this though. Yeah, he's just gonna poke here and see there's two spines, two queens, yeah. knows he can't do he's much. He's gonna so. check for a third and he sees it, he won't be able to... Uh, yeah. I would like to see Helions deny <laughs> a base from time to <laughs> yeah. time though. <laughs> they just but uh, just look at how many Hellions are moving on the map right now. Yeah, <laughs> massive, massive heavy pro uh, production. production. And he, they, they don't even bother for those links so well he did in the end. And, and this number of Hellions can possibly break in and just go and kill well, everything. They can at least deny a hatchery, I would say. Yeah, and, and at this number. Yeah. Um, so mm. I don't know, man. Roach, uh, Roach is uh, starting right now, 10 Roaches in production, and it will be Mac, uh, well it won't be Mac, I thought it will be Mac since I thought he will add another factor, but it's going to be Steam and Marines. And he's gonna just nice run by. Through, but oh, those Roaches Yeah, are gonna he can't do really this. much, the Roaches just spawn uh, or hatch right in, in, uh, yeah, he has to take in the middle. He will go down, but he has to take as much drones as possible. Yeah, as possible, and how many? 14 drones Not killed, 15 bad, drones. Bad, but... Which is good for him. Yeah, I but guess. he's opening and uh, late expansion and everything. I don't know, Bridge... Yeah, um, I mean Bridge... Behind still, if of you course. Ask me. And he, right now he opened himself to a Roach counter, and w as we see, the Roach counter is on the way. Yeah, and he, he has only nothing has too. nothing. He only he has, has nothing. nothing. Exactly. He, <laughs> one he has tank. one tank. Yeah. Is but it, that it's not siege yet. Nope. Mm, siege so not even on the way. Actually, is on the way. I didn't even see that, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, it's on the way, but it's not done yet. And yeah. it will be maybe just in time, but 
Um, that tank is uh, too little to hold this, guys. Yeah, and there's. I don't see Breach holding this. I mean, he's a great, experienced player. He showed that in a group stage against uh, Gemini and against a Frost as well. But those are TVTs. Now, the siege tank will do much. Okay, another okay, siege another tank. Another siege tank. So and the whole good pos whole position from the SUVs tanking and blocking everything and yeah, and actually good hold he defends. <laughs> yeah. But there's a uh, Helium run by. Yep, I take it back. Breach again, showing that he has a good um, game sense at least. He knows um, how to play um, defense. Let's yes, say. Uh, he won a lot of games on defense. And uh, we see another engineering by uh, going down a third command center. A good uh, call from Breach. He should possibly. I mean, actually, he can take his third. He hasn't have an, He ha doesn't have enough yet to yeah, really to secure wait. his uh, third. But soon he'll have enough uh, siege tanks. But he decides to go for a push, yeah, which giant is went for a fourth. Yeah, Giant actually playing really, really greedy right now. I mean, he didn't even establish his, his third base uh, to the maximum. Okay, so you can see what's happening now. Breach is going um, on Giant's fourth. Giant and is going on yeah. Breach second. <laughs> and, right now, and right now, when Giant will see all those siege tanks and marauders and marines, he will be a little bit uh, concerned. I mean, he can't possibly defend this third base. Because those so? roaches okay, won't yeah, be. That's true. He has ten roaches. He has four more on the way. And yeah. those two siege tanks. And as we see okay. here, falls the third base of third giant. Base went down even before I could set the screen. On yeah. it, I guess or something like that. Like you said, no way of holding that. And I think breach went from being um, pretty much down to well, I won't say up, but I would say like even at least. Well, actually, he right now he's up. Yeah, he's in a good spot. Yeah, he has his third. He's in a great spot. That's true. But he's weighing in the supply. He's down yes. in. A, I mean, he's down in supply, worker supply. I mean, not just supply, also worker supply and income as well. But we all know how Tyrans are. Um, not just mules, but um, multiple CC production means. Um, oh, and better uh, economy. Giant could have possibly caught this uh, little army from uh, Breach um, off guard here, but he didn't decide to go and kill it. And right now, Giant's uh, only on two base. Um, that's, the, that's the only thing. Yeah. That it's really in favor of Breach that he's up two, three against two bases against well, a Zerg player. Actually, He's in favor of siege tank. Look at how many siege tanks he already has. If you consider that he yeah, did go true, for a double proxy, he's just messing those siege tanks. And guys, I guess we're going to see a chess play. Yeah, I and like to call, a, especially TVT, a chess game. But if you look at the brood lords, how they move out and what uh, investors do, and how siege tanks are played, I guess this might be a chess as well. A positioning game, and we'll see. Yes, we see Giant building a ultra race cavern, yeah. which in this case won't prove to be good because marauders are uh, here on the map. Uh, concussive shells are on the way, and additional marine reactors are also on the way. The only thing that Giants really has in favor that there are still no medevacs. Only now have we complete a reactor on a stop. Yeah. That's true, but as we all know, Medivacs don't heal siege tanks, and siege tank is what it's a backbone of Breach's army at the moment. So I'd like just I'd just like to say that the giant was way in front at the beginning, but after the breach pushed, hold the attack and pushed and destroyed like two bases of giant, um, while throwing a lot of helions, well, changing like 15 helions for 15 workers. I would say that the game was pretty much even and we're on a square game, I guess. I mean, it's we're at square one. Yes, I agree. Um, I mean, which, I mean sorry, yeah, Giant, I would say Giant can come back pretty easily. I mean, his both bases are based back up. He had a lot of workers left and he's still up in the workers. So his income is not a problem. It was, Lara was a problem, I guess, for a Quite some time. Moments, yeah. Um, okay, so 
Breach has his third safely um, yeah. defended, so there's no way a, a Zerg can simply just walk there and try to deny that there's just a lot of siege tanks there and just um, a wall of everything is ready here, also a sensor tower. So, um, Giant does have Ultralist there, so... Nice spot of a uh, drop from Giant and I like this well, so-called trick, he's using two medivacs. When yeah, only one is full, yeah, yes. Exactly, so oh, and this nice. is an he opening. Caught, yeah. Oh no, no! Giant pulls back yeah, smartly. Yeah. He did. He he didn't lose a lot there. He only think I lost a uh, couple of ro uh, yeah. two roaches and I think this a couple of links. Denied, yeah, it should be destroyed pretty soon here. Um, now we see Giant pushing out with a great, with a big army actually. I mean, breach. Yeah. Ah, oh, god damn it! Yeah. Okay. Breach, um, and right now, oh my god, like Giant caught him off guard and not Siege, not and this siege, is not yeah. going good. This is not going good for uh, no, Breach, but nice, there's... Nice <laughs> micro play from Bleach though. Yeah. Uh, he's trying his best, but no, uh, when yeah. the Festers join the party... Um, oh, nice, uh, nice pickup, uh, pick exactly. Not losing those initial, uh, or actually crucial four tanks, and yeah, this... That's true. Those bridge tanks uh, mean a lot. Yeah, right now with this play, bridge right, uh, giant just came ahead yeah. quite a lot. If he was not ahead before, which we might argue that he was even, um, he is now. He is now definitely ahead, at least in supply as we can see, and in econom econo economy as well. Yeah, bridge is making a fourth CC, um, good decision. I'd like to see it uh, even a bit faster, I guess. Of course, yeah. uh, a planetary here on a fort. Um, now, I would like to see that basically Giant should start trading his Zerglings and a couple of Roaches for the supply because his Great Respire is halfway complete. And another <laughs> drop and another great spot from Giant. Yeah, I don't giant, understand uh, yeah. how Bridge doesn't change the root of that drop. Exactly. I mean, he does, oh, oh nice fungal. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. a good thing, but this time uh, Bridge can't even um, evacuate the medivac, you know what I mean? Those yes, I agree. and Marauder will die without even um, doing a single point. And we see <laughs> we see right here Bridge has a medivac on the t uh, bottom uh, bottom middle, bottom center ready to drop, but uh, giant is just on it. ready, ready right now, just knowing there's something here. And <laughs> Um, I mean, Bridge uh, is no way out of this game, of course, but he did lose a good portion of his tanks and a good portion of his army, yeah. now. It doesn't really good, and there's a small um, road force. Yeah, uh, uh, Rampai is going to try and... Uh, oh, uh, they're just out of siege, uh, siege uh, range, and right now we see corruptors on the map so bridge has to know there there will be broodlords quite shortly and he he probably is aware of that and wants to push before the broodlords yeah, come and he's also adding two additional uh, starports oh, sh oh look at this giant is going for a uh, flank from the behind but the siege tanks are up so oh nice uh, uh, run by on the fourth base and right yeah. now we'll see, oh we'll see no, great fungal on everything. Great fungal, uh, yeah. bailings go is. through, um, but, well, it's just queens and fungals. <laughs> yeah, against and there's Marine quite Marauder. a lot, actually there's quite a lot of medevacs, so they can yeah. heal a lot here, but, but yeah, too much this from, is uh, just too much, yeah, and this is going to be GG, this has to be GG. We, I mean saw, we saw a bridge come be from behind and winning, not just maps, series. Yes, that is true, but, but it was I mean, in TVT, like I said, and... Yeah, uh, and like I mean, I there's, I, I can't see right now, I cannot see bridge coming up back from this, I mean, there's Broodlords on the way. Yeah, I mean yes. Yes, he has uh, Viking production, of course, but I mean, there's just, if he makes too many Vikings, there's just such a big ground army for him, and we see Bridge at 116 supply with Giant having 200, and I mean, it's just no way he can return. Now, um, Giant here, even his queens are everywhere. Yeah, he's, well, going with queens. Uh, and the planetary is done, but 
it will fall really fast. Matter, like you said, <laughs> great fungal limit. Yeah, NGG. fungal PG called. Uh, just, I mean, giant who did lose that. Third, I mean, bridge when he lost uh, when he killed the third of giant, he gained the advantage advantage that he needed that he wouldn't be overrun. And when he defended those roaches, it was really good for him. But then when he lost that army um, on the top uh, corner or the top. Uh, Top side of the map, it was just, it was just not bad, uh, not good. I mean, he lost so many siege tanks, and with already being initially behind, he couldn't afford that. Yep, and like you said, um, Giant takes the first map, and we're gonna go into and wait for a second map. Okay, so what do you call? What's gonna be? Uh man, TVZ. I don't know. I would go right. with something radical and stupid like whirlwind. But just because it's so weird that on our tournament, I mean Conci Arena, we had a lot of uh, whirlwind games going Terran's way instead of Zerg. So yeah. Okay, no. so the first ma uh, second map will be Cloud Kingdom. Oh, that's an interesting decision. Um. It's hard to say what uh, race is favored on this map. Now, definitely Zerg has an easy, um, easy expansion, easy um, exp um, expansion. But on the other hand, it's uh, hard for um, for uh, uh, him to take his fort. I mean, if uh, Terran gets a good uh, good siege line on his fort base right above it. It's not easy for him to miss him for the Zerg to uh, breach him without at least a lot of Mutalisk or Broodlords. Yep, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, with breach uh, take, uh, picking this map, I am expecting a lot of drops and I am expecting a Reactor Hellion or a 111 build. That's yep. also a possibility. I'm expecting breach to go something um, juicy. I don't like yeah. to call it juicy, <laughs> juicy. he's not really a cheesy player, <laughs> but juicy is the right word, man. Juicy it is. <laughs> yep, and so, this is it, the second map. I don't know, do I have a music in the background, man? Yeah, I have some Igor Presnikao. Okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I did and it's no more. Not Good. that it's wrong, but let's focus on the match, guys. It's the second match of the second semi-finals. It's Breach against Giant and... Um, go ahead, CRT, please okay. introduce the players. And in the bottom, or actually in the top right corner, sorry, we have our Orange Terran, which went for a really um, weird op... or not weird, but cheesy opening on Juice. the first map. Juicy Juice. opening, let's call it juicy. <laughs> It is our Hungarian player, Breach. Woohoo! Yeah. Hooray. <laughs> yeah, and in the bottom left corner of Cloud Kingdom, we have our Green Zerg, which comes all the way from Bulgaria, although he plays there. He isn't right here, you know, but just comes from Bulgaria. It is Giant. He is currently 1 0 in this series. Yep. Oh, nice block. Yep, and nice during block. Bay block, we saw that, uh, we saw Breach do that against, I think, Starbuck, or it was, was it Potak, but I think it was Starbuck, and, well, he was not really winning against those players, but still, delaying expansion is something, I would say. He's yeah. kind of the pool. That's uh, really good for him. He delays that hatchery for at least um, for a minimum until the zerglings come out because there's no way in hell this drone will be able to kill that uh, eBay before the yeah. zerglings are out. Okay, so he went to check if uh, zerg maybe expanded on a third. And but we see. Yeah, CC first. Look at what we see. Yeah, CC first. Just what I wanted to say. And that's a good decision, I think, from Bridge. I mean. He knows he can defense it because uh, defense it. Oh my God! Why defend did this defend it? Yeah. Um, I mean, the links will be on the map, but 
I mean, he'll be a little bit worried. He'll probably have to repair that depot a little bit, but that's all that he'll have to do. Yeah, I think uh, this opening is a uh, good for bridge. I mean, he invested uh, some minerals into that engineering bay, of course. Yeah, but it he will be cancelled. Yep. Yeah, that's true. And but, cancelled, I mean, right? Not just that. Of course, it was cancelled, but. Um, he lost, you know what I mean, he invested in some minerals that he didn't really use for teching up, he just used for block. Okay. Yeah. But, and yeah, like, I just want to say, because he went for CC first, he is totally safe now with uh, um, those links needed needed to yeah. take down the... The eBay. eBay and everything. Yes. I think this is, that bridge is in great position. I agree, I agree, definitely. But right now I'm a bit worried for bridge because that marine will come out at the top, oh no, the marine is caught with, look at this, yeah, the marine is caught with shooting. the zerg. Yeah, um, and that's exactly uh, what I was worried about, because his rally point was um, in it's the wrong placed, way. Yeah. yeah, and he'll have to pull another drone, right, or SCV right now, he doesn't, if he doesn't want to lose that supply depot. Yeah, uh, he just might lose mm -hmm. the supply, no, 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 no. didn't. Just, that's uh, like a clutch, clutch stuff, man. Yeah, clutch maneuver. Yeah, last la last second um, ditches. Anyhow, yes. um, Breach did scout the second uh, base going up, and he did. He started to block um, a third. Yeah. Third bunker. With a bunker, which is actually salvageable if you get it up. So, it's a smart decision. Yep. Now, what I wanted to say is that uh, Breach is uh, will almost be able to take his uh, expansion now. With uh, three marines out, he will be able to kill all those th three zerglings. So the game is going to be pretty standard from that point on. Yep. And giant tanking, double gas, uh, I totally forget that. Again, a eBay coming from Bridge, but this time it's going to be for his own upgrades. <laughs> yeah, so. for his uh, upgrades, exactly. Okay, now, like you said, double gas, uh, he didn't take gas in. Uh, Early stages of the game, yeah. yeah so the speed is a lot delayed. Some players use like two gases on neutral while not gassing at all in the main and stuff like for scouting purposes. Some players just um, don't care. Yeah, Interesting. I mean, it it depends. I mean, sometimes if your opponent like a Terran scans your main and if you don't take the gases in your main, basically he doesn't know if you took the gases in your expansion. But I mean, he has to assume it somehow. Yeah, but um, meanwhile he can just poke the natural and he can see the gas yeah. and he has to, he and doesn't know about the main, but anyhow the gases are going Right now I'm here. worried a little bit because these queens might possibly fall, there yeah, are have no quite some marines. Yes, no, no transfuse available. And the queen and is no oh no. nice micro, nice micro. Yeah, nice micro and one queen will fall, another might fall, yes, great job for Breach. Uh, he yeah, did lose. It, yeah. He did lose what? He did lose like seven marines, but in in uh, he did kill two queens, which is quite good. The creep, although the creep threat has already started, it will be a delayed at least a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and this time um, giant did go for a um, third on well, location of what's that? Fifth or fourth or maybe even fifth? That's the fifth base. The yeah. fourth is right yeah. beneath the third. Yeah, the third. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Bridge did scout that. No, he did not. Um, nope, and basically Giant goes for a double expansion right after this, but there's a Marine Marauder incoming. <laughs> yeah, well, around Marauder boss going together with uh, yeah. uh, Marine kids. <laughs> marine kids. And, yeah, marine and we kids. see Giant actually scouted this all because he got the link just in time to raise that Exil Nugget Tower and see uh, this little force from uh, Bridge. And he should be starting producing links, and right now 12 links are on the way, but... Yeah, that 18 even, but I think yeah, that base is this going to base be denied. This base will denied. be denied, most likely. Yeah, yeah, cancelled. And he might kill another creep tumor. Nice scan, actually revealing almost all the creep will tumors. Will he be able to get additional? Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, and this is nice really nice for him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but he shouldn't push too far into yeah, the surface. he doesn't know base. about the... Yeah, but the steam, look at the steam. Oh my yeah. god, this steam. Oh, and the queens, she the just queens fall. Nice uh, micro, yeah. From this point on, oh, the zerg should fall. The, I think that Breach, if he was paying attention, he could have uh, he could have um, logi logically 
assume that there is a base here because some links just ran here but you know you never know they might be on the yeah or but something. I have to say that the micro was just so nice I mean he just did so good with those yeah. marines he killed two pins to be well at the first time when we t I talked to Iasis he's a um, Hungarian caster also casting in Hungarian tonight he said that Breach is a really good, really good micro player and also good in TVT, but that he sometimes orient, orient, orients too much or gives too much on his micro and slaps, um, makes some mistakes in other fields. But we saw his great micro this time. Yeah, uh, I want to notice that Hellions are in production, but there are quite a lot of bailings available to Giant. so. Breach has to be really, really careful yeah, right now. Yeah, it will come down to his split. Split, uh, okay, reasonable, or actually a really good split. Uh, yeah, a good split, I would say. Yeah, that was a really nice split, actually, just bailing, popping for almost nothing, and nice focus fire on that bailing, just killing all the bailings for... And, yep, he did lose all the marines, though. Yeah, that's true, but, I mean, Killing the banings is quite good, and we see another little force from uh, Bridge coming out. Now he wants to kill that fourth base or fifth base of Giant. Yeah, he really he's wants. So down in, su I mean, uh, worker supply at least. Well, not that much again, but still pretty much uh, in favor of Giant, who is also up in bases. His third yes. is done up in the. Well, I agree, really but there are investors to... available right now, yeah. so Breach has to be really careful. Oh, nice fungal capturing those four marines. Um, now, Breach uh, is still pressing with this little marine count and Hellion count, and I think he should start his at least siege tank yeah, production. He should. It's about time, but I guess. Or no, he actually he waits a second. He goes for Marine Marauder yeah, Medivac Ball. That's With also a possibility. I just want to say that he has to go for uh, more production. He yeah. Is, uh, his third base is well, of course, uh, with those mules up and running way faster. Um, no, the thing is that it's a smart decision to go this uh, to go this build because the Marauders just melt those investors. I don't uh, know, man. Giant sees everything. Yeah, I mean, he, no, 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 I'm talking about the fact that uh, Marauders are so damn good against Infestors. I mean, the Fungal does minimal to no damage to them, and if you split really nice, you get a couple of good uh, um, kills, and you're really ahead. It's yep. really an unstop unstoppable force. Okay, so right now we see an Ultra Release Cavern again for Giant. Yeah, and nice creep spread from Giant, I would say. Yeah. He's forcing the creep to the fort of Breach, which and is a good thing. He's change. destroying the rocks, so he's a. Uh, yeah, his game himself. It's is uh, faster, I guess. Yeah, he's giving himself a bigger opening to. I yeah, mean, well if an engagement comes, if there's an engagement, he'll have a bigger ramp at least. But look at how many marauders are there. Yeah, look there are like nine that marauders that and ten marines. What? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of marines, but there's also a lot of zerglings. And there are a lot of marauders in the making. Oh, nice fungal. Great and fungal, this is exactly what I was yeah, talking about, the marauder snipes. shell sniping down two infestors. Um, maybe yeah, nice one, chain man. fungal. Yeah, great chain fungal, killing quite a lot of aliens, actually. But, yeah, Whoa. the uh, marauder... <laughs> well, but Breach is just overextending here. I mean, yeah. he cannot take this fight. There's no way in hell he can win this. I mean, there's just so many Zerglings. He should be really, really not doing this. Uh, he has to go back and... Yeah. It's too late. Yeah. It's too late to go back. He just overextended too much. And right now, Giant has this big opening, which he can actually f take. And right now, great micro from Breach, killing quite a lot of links, uh, but... There's no way he can save this third base. Oh, nice bailing bombs on those. Oh, God. Yeah, third base oh. is going down. Yeah, and this is not good. This is definitely not good. Oh, my God. Oh, Additional bailing. Yeah, not that good of a bailing bust on a second base, on a natural, but still, um, Giant just. I think he made yeah, a, a bit victory. Giant just victory move, yeah. Giant just ripped apart uh, Breacher's third and killed quite a lot of... Actually, how many SCVs? 28 SCVs killed for Giant. And yeah, that's look at the worker supply, man. That's 
Oh, that's crazy. Uh, that's I just. Don't, I don't. I don't see a way for Bridge to come back. It, he was good until he overextended. Like you said, he lost everything. Uh, piece now, by piece. Right now, basically, Giant uh, should fall back. He has no investor energy, so no fungals available, and the Zerglings will not do as good. Okay, they will do, but. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, okay. They did a great job with surrounding. So of course, GG. GG. Yeah. I I also failed to see that it's a two-two zergling and a one-one Terran force. So of so course, giant takes a second map. Um, yes. I have to say um, that. What a decisive win! Yeah, not just that. I think that um, Bridge was not that behind um, in those two games. I mean, he had some openings that he could use, and well. It's interesting to see. Yes, I agree. That uh, Bridge was quite... Um, he held up nicely against... I mean, quite strongly against Giant. But this is best of five, so... Um, our... Our... Um, Hungarian Terran still has a chance to... Yeah, advance. the thing only is that he's one... Uh, only one map away from losing it all to falling down to the third place uh, match um, so he has to be really careful uh, next map he has to really play really play smart and not um, doing stuff like this when he overextended so so um, yeah. much and the third map is going to be which one do you say? I call you know what I call uh, if a Zerg uh, no it's a I call Entombed Valley Okay, so I guess you are an Toon Valley fan. Yeah. <laughs> but it's Ohana. Ohana? Oh, I didn't even think about Ohana. Well, that's good, I guess. Yep, I will be inviting the players. Oh. I'm joining already. Okay. Yeah, Ohana. Now, hmm, Ohana is a small map, a 1v1 map, and the Terran can do quite a good job if he gets his uh, um, siege tank, marine siege tank uh, timing off and just uh, siege mode on that third base and just kill it off and basically force the Zerg to remain in the base. But as we have seen, Giant is playing really, really smart and just uh, not allowing any, um, any things like that to happen. Yeah, I have to agree. I mean... Sometimes we said that oh giant is overextending or maybe he he was like oh he's really greedy but I think he had a good flow f feeling of the game all the time he was on top of it and Bridge tried his uh, best I mean his ideas were not that bad but giant just spotting every drop and stuff and so on um, I think he was just better player to know we'll see how this develops though I agree definitely. Okay, so um, just a first, fast, quick um, announcement before uh, um, s something unusual happens again. So can you go uh, and announce the players, please? Okay, very well. And in the bottom, r okay, oh, I apologize. Why do I say always bottom? God damn it! I wanted to say uh, in the top left corner. Okay, no <laughs> in the top left corner, we have our green zerg, which is current. Who is currently? 2-0 ahead in this best of five series so that means that this is the last game uh, he could possibly play for before making it to the finals it is giant yep a Bulgarian Zerg like you said a great player yes and in the bottom right corner it is our red Terran who is um, who is actually a great player, of course, a great, great player with a lot of experience, but isn't really isn't really able to beat our uh, our Zerg player. It is Breach. Yep, we'll see if he makes it, uh, if he is able to win this time. But what I wanted to say is that um, Breach played okay. I mean, great. His play against Terran was just perfect, but. His TVZ is not like uh, the best at the moment, I would yes, say. Yes, I agree. And we see a great job from Giant just trying to kill that SCV off and just trying to be as annoying as possible. Yeah, and delaying um, 
Well, delaying barracks for nanoseconds. At least a little bit, yes. But not just that. Um, Bridge has to move SUVs, which means that he's losing a bit of mining time, and it's not like he's losing ton of a seconds. A lot, yes. It's just a, a little mineral bit. Mineral on mineral, it's castle, you know what? How they say? Or yeah. Mineral on mineral, and you get a BMW or a Ferrari. BMW. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Bridge Not goes for the scout, and Bridge will see a basically he oh and bunker going down immediately and right now giant he does not know that okay yeah he knows that he saw it with the overload I was really I was really confused there and he knows oh no he didn't oh, know I, I mean the oh. overload was a bit late I mean faster I think yeah. that uh, he just I think I thought that he saw the oh no SUV coming by oh and this will be really this will be really weird I mean breach completed the bunker uncontested and right now giant oh he nice micro from bridge room. yes and immediately pulling down two spores and another bunker goes down and this might uh, prove to be too hard for giant to break well, I mean we'll see it's it sure is troublesome it will yeah. come down to um, the breach's ability to destroy this base if we get yeah. this hatch I think he's in uh, He's great he's spot. To lose, yeah. I mean, if Bridge gets this hatch, it's pretty much over because with that, I mean, we see a command center behind that. Yeah, but well, uh, I mean, even if he loses this hatch, he can still win, but only with like a bailing best, but yeah. win or something like that, yeah. which is not something that you want to rely on. To. And right now we see giant. Uh, the queen is going to come up. Uh, the spork spikers will no. be. Giant should engage right now. Yeah, he and should. Uh, he should like right about or now. He's I guess. going to try and wait uh, until that spore car is really low on HP. Yeah, I, th but I thought so that uh, this bunker was uh, misplaced because it was getting hurt from bunker, which is something you don't want to. Really you no, not you don't want to have that. But exactly. the hatchery won't fall. There's a transfuse available in two seconds for uh, giant, so the yeah, hatchery will stay going alive. Read those, um, links yeah. To clean off the now this is a smart thing for bridge actually to just fall back to the second bunker, but without repair, it's going to fall really quick and. Yep, that's true. But the base is also going down. It's like 100 HP. Will it? Yeah, right now if he can down? focus down. Oh my God! Oh, oh yeah, no! A base, transfuse. Man. A transfuse was available. Yes, oh no! Was. Giant has to be hitting himself with something in the head right now. There was a transfuse available to yeah. to Giant, and this is not good. This is this is really not this good. This was worth it. I I mean, it was like yeah, definitely. We all lose all for breach in that moment. At least in my opinion. Uh, because killing Hatch, uh, this early, well, it's not. Yeah, and I mean, and it's going quite huge. I mean, go directly to one one one, and Banshees will just be yeah, a pain in the ass. I mean, okay, the okay, the Lair is go, uh, going to probably complete before two Banshees will be available. Exactly, and I like the decision Low. from Giant. Yeah, I like his mentality. He said like, okay. He got this, um, uh, he got my base, he's a bit up, and what's the worst follow-up that could hit me right now? Okay, it's Benches. Benches, yeah. yeah. And what can I do? Well, I'll go lair. lair. I'll just go Lair, exactly. And right now, Breach has to play smart. He, if he overextends and loses too much to, to almost nothing, it's going to be bad. But yeah. right now, he's in a great spot. His chances of, of actually killing everything here are really good so he has just to play really calm he it mustn't overextend and nice deny of that yeah. uh, creep that's and true and those helions are pretty useful this time around yes and if he manages to get a high number of helion helions here he might possibly just run by and kill a lot of drones in the process and what do we have an infestation pit so we see giant go for infestation and hydras quite often in all of the matchups, well, if festers, of course, but also using um, Hydras in PV ZV ZVP, which is quite um, yes, um, unusual, which is un very unusual, especially because the Colossus. But okay, we'll see what happens here now. Yeah, but we see a PVZ anyway, so yeah, we see a macro hatch uh, on the way. We yeah, see a double armory, so it's going to be mech for breach and.
Mac yeah, here is good. Yeah, exactly. And he had a, he has good experience from of Mac on this base on this maps. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and the over the over now will deny the Banshee, Banshee is yeah. denied and it's going to die. Banshee cannot escape. There's no way Banshee can escape. Yep. Okay, so Banshee got killed. Now double armory on the way, and I'm guessing that yeah, giant did not see the armory unless he clicked on it, so it's questionable. Um, but Breach is still doing a great job denying that creep. Um, and just looking, there's no third yet. Yep, he's denying the creep. Uh, and is, one uh, scan. Right now, giant uh, Breach needs one scan to clean all the creep here and just yeah, deny additional vision. Like someone here it would be a great scan. Okay, and, and that's here goes he the scan. Did, yeah. And this is just n not good for giant. Giant uh, is really okay. There is a changeling marine just fucking around, chilling. Yeah, okay, just up another helion <laughs> around. Okay, I will so, report back. Yeah, um, right now, fact double factory production is going to start for breach. Uh, tours are on the way. The best unit against. Um, Roaches, if there will no, 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 roach. Oh, okay. I, why did I think I saw roaches? What's up with me? Yeah, it was in the station pit, man. And yeah, a chamber and a metal yeah. hatch, and that's it. The last buildings of exactly time. now. Four, four or five investors are out here, but yeah, that's something. I mean, no, a fungal, yeah. a fungal, Ooh, nice, oh, nice well, fungal. Uh, quite good split in the last second. Um, uh, yeah, the best he could do, but um, right now, Rich has to pull back exactly. Uh, he will lose need trillions needlessly. Yes, and another Banshee might be lost. No, okay, he pulled back smart. Um, we see Breach taking his third, trying to take his third. There's an Overlord blocking there with yeah, creep. Yeah. That's a good so thing. annoying, man. I mean, and I don't play Terran, but it's annoying. Yeah, no, did you see that? Breach tried to hide his tour, and I think he managed to hide it because the links didn't go up the ramp. And with hiding that tour, I mean, Zerglings are good against them, but with blue flame support and a couple of tours, there's no way a Zergling can kill yeah, eight and um, Breach, you are going to uh, Breach is going to supply block Giant. Okay, am I lagging? Oh, no, Giant is lagging. Giant is lagging here, and this is not good. I don't like this. I don't like this. Did they, no. did they uh, implement the uh, um, uh, resume replay. game? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, so Giant is a bit lagging, but he. Yeah, I ho oh, just, it's okay. <laughs> there's just one thing I wanted to say, and it was that um, Giant was behind, of course, after losing that hedge. But he was always um, countering the way that Breach can just a move. Yeah. Him. I think yeah. his uh, infestation layer to infestation pit was just to control a the smart Helion, decision. Yeah. Helion exactly. Benshee, and now. Yeah. Another bench might fall here. Great pick up at least on an yep. investor. That's good. So maybe a bit worth it, but um, let's check how many workers killed. Not that much. And a blue flame hellion. Oh my god, there was just so many drones stacked. And if that would hit them twice, it would be over. I mean, not over, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. over for the drones. <laughs> well, um, Giant is up in worker supply finally. But he's still down in the uh, income, we all know why, it's called mules. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Gi uh, Breach is making a wall, I like this wall. Uh, yes. Um, it's going uh, to delay the opponent's attack. No, but, uh, I mean, yeah, but it's going to, most. Uh, the most important thing is any link run by will yeah, be, exactly, yeah. will be basically rendered useless. And we see Giant, oh my god, why is Giant so up ahead with only four uh, four investors I now. If no he, idea. he oh, sees the tour now. this is really risky. This is really yeah. risky. He will lose all the. Yeah, in the investors, at least another one will fall here. Or not? Or I guess. Oh? Interesting enough, what? he goes no. to deny the. No, he just goes back. Bridge goes yeah. back. Yeah, and bridge. Uh, I mean, giant is uh, smartly. I mean, okay, he did. <laughs> he saves those investors, but bridge doesn't choose to pursue them, which yeah, is a he interesting. He's Giant is sticking with uh, Link Infestor, I guess. Yeah, I mean, but Link Infestor isn't good against Blue Flame Tor. Exactly, I mean. exactly. And Especially this is going to get denied. They're yeah. Going to two hits, yeah. Those three benches. Oh, nice. Nice fungal. fungal. And well, Helion's arriving with nine points. 
but we see the supply difference. Look at the supply difference. I mean, Terran should never be up ahead in your in yeah, supply against them. That's true, and especially not by nice fungal still capturing a lot of those benches, and those benches are really the biggest damage dealers, at least uh, besides the tours. Um, so they're quite vital, vital here. Now, the blue flame hellions were destroyed, and oh my God, a nice uh, flank of those stores, and those stores might possibly die here. They will die. I mean, too many links for no. just stores to uh, clean this up. This is just bad, and this is really bad right now. And this is what I was talking about: overextending a bridge just overextended too much. And I mean, this is not good. This is definitely not good. He lost like six stores and so many Hellions. And when you play Mac, you can't really afford to lose your army. At least not until at least I don't not know. Tours. <laughs> yeah, Thor should always be alive. And losing Thor's to Lynx and not even destroying the base where he is uh, rocking, wrecking hell with those uh, banshees yeah. and he's ca denying the uh, yeah, no, spire, I guess. No, going into double spire production, which is interesting. Oh, not cancelling one spire, so that's, that's not good for uh, our Zerg player. Uh, but t four, qu four banshees should kill uh, two queens and yeah, well, finally, but, uh, yeah. the queens take one banshee with it yeah and right now giant will lose at least all the infestors here and yeah, he should target the infestors this, and the queens yeah and these banshees aren't uh, are paying for themselves off now one fungal okay one fungal goes there another infestor might fall here yes it does wow yes, it now does. this is really good for uh, this is and really really queen, good. oh my queen, god another yeah. queen no, this is getting excited, man. I mean, just he, they did a lot of damage. They canceled the spires. They killed like three queens and a couple of investors. So yeah, and I, I have to double expand you from giant way before I was telling you. Yeah, but I'm worried. Why doesn't Breach take plus two two weapons and armor for his mech units? <laughs> He's forgetting. I hope not, because that's never a good thing to forget about your upgrades. Now. Ultralisk are good, but there's only four alt ultras uh, against four tours, so we'll see how that goes. Um, only two fungals available; they immediately get wasted or not wasted, but used. So nice attack here, blue flames, hellions. Oh my God! And again, a great uh, engage by everything. yeah, great engagement by giant and just. Cleaning everything off, and this is not looking good for Bridge. Those banshees were not enough to out DPS the um, ground composition of Giant. Who Until he lost it, yeah. yeah but okay. right now, we see again the four banshees. Again, I mean, this is just this is just funny, man. These he banshees has are to make so something. So to okay, he so he's um, queen fighting them. Yeah, and he shouldn't. He has one more turn fuse available. Yeah, here it goes once more. So one one queen will fall here, uh, and one queen for four banshees is not good. <laughs> Never. Yeah, but, but uh, those four banshees did. Uh, I mean, a lot more before than killing just one queen. So in the end, I guess that you could say that giant finally got rid of those banshees. I agree definitely, and. So the thing are, is, pretty much even, I guess. I mean, I don't know, man. It, well, Bridge uh, is way yeah, up I mean, in uh, economy, at least in uh, income. Yeah, I mean, another gain went here now. A great fungal capturing almost all the Hellions. Another four tours uh, here coming back into yeah, action. Four tours dying again, I guess. Yeah, they. Well, well the four maybe tours. Maybe not this time, yeah. Yeah, okay. but the Zerg has better upgrades by far here with plus 3-3 three, three almost complete. Actually, plus three weapons or yeah, ground already. I think that the giant wins this. He will, um, for my in my opinion, come back from behind and take this win. But we can't say anything. Oh, Bridge is and in good we see no. But look, giants. I mean, Bridge still going to for the overextension. Yeah. Why does he overextend so much? That's his He's second overextend in like yeah, the last five minutes. He could have pulled back and just get a little bit more of a bigger army. I mean, he has a fourth base, of course, but still, he shouldn't just waste everything so, so damn much. <laughs> okay, so we see two banshees right now killing the infestors, which is always a good thing. Yeah, that's a great thing for and a Terran player. Nice scan here. Ooh, uh, he gets a fungal and he might get another, another one. Fungal, oh. Another fungal, another fungal goes down, but down, just yeah, catching he just one uh, banshee. 
Yes, and right now, Giant is being over, not over, but Giant is just losing control over the map. I mean, look at that map. I mean, yeah, Ultra is everywhere, but yeah, are yeah, everywhere. on the other, on the other hand, there's <laughs> everything everywhere. I mean, yeah. a tour and two benches on the fourth of Giant, and Bridge just has. Um, ultra is in front of his front door. Yeah, so. man, this is crazy game. Both players trying to take that. Uh, well, Giant wants to take that decisive win. Bridge uh, wants to win a map, I guess. And yeah, try to come and back from behind. And, and that if someone can great. do it, it's well, it's Bridge. It's, it's definitely it's Bridge. King and Bridge. Yeah. yeah. We saw Bridge coming back uh, twice already. So. Oh, nice blue flame Hellion run yeah. by a lot of drones going to be killed here. Yeah, uh, toasting drones. Yeah, roasted. roasted. Yeah. I want some of that uh, bacon. Oh, really? Bacon. Man. I'm not that sure about uh, Zerg meat, man. <laughs> How much? Oh, man. They're, they're really tasty, <laughs> I, I heard. <laughs> okay, nice fungal. <laughs> Capturing all the Hellions. I would prefer some Wurtelisk meat, though, if I had to choose. <laughs> the queens, they like, like fat, nicely breaded. <laughs> but anyways, if you go back to more realistic, well, not things. realistic, but uh, ongoing things, um, we have another run by yes, again do. a lot of drones being killed here, and this is, I mean, Bridge yeah, is doing a great job here. He is, uh, but he's just throwing his uh, minerals, yeah, for, um, for uh, workers. But that is, um, in fact, good. Look at the income difference. Yeah, the thing is that Bridge can't really resupply as good as uh, the Zerg player now. He, he, the exactly, Zerg did yeah. lost a lot of investors, also I Ultralis. Mean, but yeah, he did, but he can resupply, like you said, and uh, Terran. Um, yeah. If he didn't lose one all or those two, stores, yeah. one or two engagement out of those three that he lost, like okay, so right now we look at this big engagement. Yeah, this is a decisive Only engagement. Oh, bad fungal. Bad fungal bad on those fungus, initial yeah, uh, Hellions and the tours right now are uh, in uh, they're bad they're position. Yeah. Chopped down, yeah. And yeah. Thanks to transfusers, those uh, ultras stayed alive much, much longer than. Yes, um, I agree. And a great fungal here, great fungal capturing all those banshees. Now the banshees should die of the additional fungals. Yeah, um, question remains what will the players do I mean Bridge is constantly harassing our yeah. lines but is he getting enough out of that no it's a hard thing to say I mean he's just losing constantly so much of everything I mean he lost so many tours already it's it's ridiculous I mean he lost like exactly. I don't know like 30 tours or something and just I mean, he's running out of uh, of everything, like we see here. I mean, finally now establishes his fifth place. Uh, oh my God, so many mules! Um, and just giant still playing on those ultralisk zergling, and if Breach manages to get a really good uh, mech army up, then it's going to be over for giant because just ultralisk are really bad against, at least in Wings of Liberty, against mech. We will see um, six stores. Being ready, smoking in uh, what's that? In yeah, a neutral uh, place. And yeah, a big a big Hellion, Hellion run by, and now uh, this is what Bridge needs, and just yeah. destroying the economy, forcing the Zerg to build uh, drones instead of anything else is yeah. really good for That's him. Something he has to do. I mean, he's uh, still behind in workers, though, and this oh. time it's Bridge who is lagging. Yeah, Not and anymore. if the look at this. If the uh, Banshees get the kill on that hatchery, I will. Oh, uh, they won't. They won't. No, they won't. And yeah, the <laughs> there's so many transfusers. Yeah. yeah. The giant knows that uh, it's really important to keep all, all yeah. bases up and running, not just and for uh, minerals and gas, but also for larva. Yeah, and this game is really getting crazy. I mean, look at how many investors are there, and just like six, six ultralis can just like seventeen, 17 investors. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah, and eleven tours. Insta fungal everything yeah, and exactly you know, this is not good. <laughs> I would say that um, Breach is just throwing minerals and gas at his opponent. But yeah, and just look back. at that damage. Look at that door damage with plus three armor, yeah, uh, plus three weapons. Look at that goddamn damage. So powerful. Now, finally starts his vehicle plating level two. Um, 
it's not going to be complete. Uh, yeah, this base is going oh, down, man. nice! And this is really good for Breach. He needs that. He needs to kill that uh, he has fourth to base. Kill that base yeah. yeah, at least. I mean, he wasted so many units, but as we can see, he managed to get quite a lot of tours back up and uh, links. Finally, going back. Yeah, finally starts. Oh or no! Really, he wants. He just he wants the crypto <laughs> yeah. And right now, Giant decides to go for a run by on the fourth base of Breach. And really, there's a planetary fortress there, and yeah, it's going to be it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to really kill. He's going to be. Yeah, and even well, if he kills this planetary fortress, he can just yeah. lift off a CC. Yeah, there's four CCs that or are not, available. He won't do that. Oh, just I mean, just another one. Yeah, and this is going to be GG. I mean, look, look at Giant. He is out of everything. Only one base is still mining. She's going for a yeah, for Broodlord. Yeah, now, that's part. It's is too late. Yeah, it's exactly. too late. I mean, look at how many tours there are, and there's no way Giant can stop this. I mean, two bases are mining, and that's about it. And there's just so much of everything there. It's going to be over. I mean, there's no way he can stop this. Yeah, I have to agree, man. This doesn't look good for Giant and Breach. And looks GG. Good. Yeah. I just want to say that Breach was on his way to the first victory against Zerk in this tournament. I am not really sure though, but against Grandmaster Zerk at least. And he gets the win. Which yes. makes the score 2 against 1. And I'm happy. Yeah, I, hope, too. Is I hope I won't back. see a ZVZ finals, guys. I really hope there no, won't be a ZVZ finals. So hopefully we'll see Breach come back easily. Um, we've got a little bit of a uh, laggy stream I'm being reported. Um, yep, uh, I was also told that and I'll be checking um, what's wrong. The I don't want to really drop down the stream though. Or would you like me to do that? Um, I'm not. It's. N I don't think it's necessary. Just close any exp yeah, internet. Did, exp yeah. Okay. Okay. So Giant just went offline for a moment there, and we're gonna wait for next map, which will be picked by. Um, Giant, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and hopefully we see Breach to come back. I hope. I hope it will be a really, really nice uh, comeback from Bridge. I mean, I wish for Bridge to come back because, you know, the, everyone is saying that Terran is so uh, not really in a good spot and just uh, losing to Zerg constantly. And Bridge is just showing that it's not as bad as it seems. <laughs> yep, and next map is going to be. And Toon Valley, finally, the map that you were yes. wishing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my internal wish. <laughs> um, okay, so in Toon Valley, guys, big map. Uh, some people say it's Zerg favorite because it's so big. Others say it's Terran favorite because it because if Terran likes to play defensively and just. Uh, um, wants to play defensive, I mean, yeah, defensive uh, bunker style. Um, it's good for them, so it's uh, hard to say, but I would say that this map is definitely not created for mech play. It's too big to be a mech player because there's such a large distance between you and your opponent, and I mean, mech is just so slow. So, right now, I hope I'll see some bio bio murders <laughs> going on around there and yeah, we'll see bio. how I, I, yeah. I have to say that the beach uh, shows good uh, mech play not just this game that he won but also uh, games before yes I agree okay so yeah, we're waiting for giant he said uh, be right back okay um I just wanted to say that we have 260 viewers. Now there's 200, um, 200 on uh, the Hungarian, and 60 viewers on our uh, English uh, stream, which is uh, quite cool, I think. Yep. 
Um, thanks for watching, I guess, and we're waiting for just. A yeah, we are right now waiting for Breach to come back. Um, I guess Faint will know more about it. Yep, um, Breach is now a uh, uh, okay. keyboard to see when he accepts. Returns. This is going to be a fourth map, is it? Yes, it is. So, um, interesting enough, Breach takes a map from Giant and he's the first player to do that. Okay, so players are ready. And we're gonna start this map. Yes, okay, so... Um, yeah, the countdowns have started. It is in Tomb Valley. Um, just, by the way, guys, this is the C the Con SI Arena Season 1. This is the second semi-final. Um, the first one was Starbuck against Cheese King, and this is, as you can see, Giant versus Bridge. Currently, uh, Giant is leading 2-1, and this is the fourth game, or actually, I apologize, it's the fourth, yeah, it's yeah, the fourth, the fourth game. game, yeah, yeah, fourth game. And this is In it, this guys, series. Uh, in Tumut Valley, it's 2-1 for uh, Giant, and this uh, green Zerg on the left bottom side of uh, this map is uh, Zerg in front. Giant from Bulgaria, always green and always good. Yes, and his opponent who has a uh, well, a little bit of a mistake on in colors, um, but we did fix that. So uh, it's Breach, Hungarian um, Terran, the most renowned player from their six-time Grandmaster, um, who is looking to make a s another splash um, in Hots. He yes. was down to all, but he came back. So we can see. We'll see if Breach can pull a giant. I <laughs> like yeah. giant pulled the giant on Hyun. So <laughs> yes, I agree. We'll see how what uh, how this plays out. Now we have to take in consideration this was giant's pick, so that means he has to feel somewhat comfortable on this map being this large. Um, and Breach, since he is a little bit, uh, I mean, I don't know if he's a more of a mech player or a bio player, but. Uh, he seems to throw his mech away quite easily. I hope I hope he doesn't go for mech right here on this map. So we see a pull first from a uh, giant. Oh, and Bridge goes for a double scout. Oh no, okay, okay, okay. It's going to be CC first. I was really scared there for a moment that he's going to go for a double proxy again. And um, the giant just insta, insta scouts that. Yeah, scouts that immediately. Now and there's gonna be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, with the Overlord and the drone. Yeah, exactly. So there's gonna be a SUV block, and here comes the engineering bay. And Giant is attacking the engineering bay instead of a SUV. So a little bit of a blunder there, but it's not like it's gonna mean a lot. It's gonna be just a few seconds between. There, uh, here and there, and ja Bridge goes for the scout in the main. Sees there's a pool already complete, so okay. So Giant goes for a faster second now. I mean, yeah. Last game he didn't go, he didn't opt for a fast expand after being denied. I mean, delayed. This time Bridge loses the SUV. The two links are on the way. Okay, two links are already fighting, so. Yeah, and Bridge pull, uh, puts down additional add one additional barracks, and uh, one one more will probably be uh, put down because it's pretty standard to go three racks again uh, after uh, um, CC first. I guess uh, double guess might be also here. Uh, so, uh, okay, one guess is being taken right now, um, so it's a l quite a delayed guess. Uh, but he did go for the CC first, but there's no additional command. Uh, there are no additional barracks right here. Um, on the other hand, we see Giant um, taking his uh, natural uh, after killing that eBay. No gas still, so he's not going to go for any kind of a early pressure. At least no bailing busts for now. Um. Yeah. So it's pretty yeah. cool. It's pretty uh, 
normalized right now. Yeah, Bridge is finally scouting the expansion and he sees that it's already up. And well, wait a minute, you have uh, more workers on your second, third base than I have on my expanse. So what's up? And I guess he knows that it was a, a little bit of a ninja fast or something like wow, that. Wow, look at this. And we see four bar uh, three additional barracks is being made. And this is going to be a marine heavy push on that third base. And with no gas, look at this, only now taking gas, giant is only now taking gas, this is not going to be good. And the rocks are still not killed, and there are five marines here, and... And the bunker is already going up, yep. Ooh, but he, he mustn't lose the worker. Yeah. The SUV might go down, no, it did not go Run, down. run little man, run. But uh, Lynx clean up the SUV. Yeah. But a look at how many workers, drones. Yeah. A lot Five of drones were killed. killed. But cancel, cancel. No, oh, no, no cancel. cancel. What? Okay. Now that's not good for uh, yeah, bridge. It could be better, man. Yeah, and um, only save. one guess still. A good for save Terra. from um, Giant because he's so he's up in the bases anyways. So those drones are just let's say cheap Lara, especially yes. um, because. He's already up in workers, so losing five workers and still being exactly. up in worker count is not a big deal, I would say. So Bridge was annoying with that push, but I wouldn't say that he was. He didn't do it. much. Yeah, he didn't do actually really a big uh, dam, no larger damage that uh, that could actually endanger Giant of really losing this game. But there are five barracks is producing marine constantly, and, and there is. Players being supply blocked for a moment there. Yeah, not a little bit of a blunder. Uh, giant still actually yeah, being supply blocked. Is not anymore though, but still, um, bridge we see walking with marines. Yeah, and these marines should be cleaned up right now. But uh, speed is still not being researched. I, I'm guessing that he decide. Oh my God, he wants to go for roaches before speed, and yeah. he might actually not Only even enough. take speed. No, yeah. no, no. He exactly. Without he might just skip the speed, but. Yeah, I don't know, I, man. In the later stages of the game, you just yeah, have you to need have speed. speed. Like yeah, if against nothing else, you can just go and like uh, make a fast run by. You know, if you don't have speed, yeah. it's not a run by; it's walk by. So. And a bailing nest. Look at this. And this is going to be a bailing bust. One on one, roach bailing, roach bailings uh, in in itself. But look at how many marines are here with yeah. combat shields, and this might is going to. Finish just, just in, in time. No, oh, no, it's still not. It's still yeah, not finished. Should go back. Bridge should not. pull back. Yeah, this is not should, good. Yeah. yeah, he's going to lose everything here with the queen. Should the rotors. Should wait for that uh, additional Plus, second. And I think yeah. that I mean ten seconds or something. I think that would make a a big difference. Yeah. Or I mean, it wouldn't make the biggest difference, no, but, but it would definitely yeah. kill at least a couple of more roaches and links. But right at now, at least a roach or something. Yeah, right now Bridge is on full retreat and no bunker still up and oh my god, look at how many banelings are being morphed. 16 bailing, banelings are being morphed. And he might not even need them, well he will of course, but those roaches can yeah. tank quite a lot. Well, the marauders are being added. Yeah. But I don't see really... Um, oh no, and Bridge cancelled the bunker, this is not good. And when he sees this, this is just... This is going to... Here comes Bailings! Uh, oh no, there's no wall in and the Bailings are just freely go in. All the barracks will fall and... Yeah, now the, the bunker will fall. Down. And the Marauders, there are three Marauders though, so he will possibly defend this. Yeah, well, he will clean this up. Actually, he cleans this up pretty well. Yeah, that's uh, true, but man, he lost like, what, three racks? Yeah, he lost three racks and uh, one He's bunker, but... He's down in worker supply. He's down on bases. He's down in... Uh, income yeah but I mean this gives a little bit of an opening to breach I mean although they're still okay and only now okay okay we didn't see the link speed being developed what the hell yep. am I blind I I'm mean, blind. Just, he just timed it so we didn't see yeah <laughs> <laughs> just so in the timing yeah, when we were talking about speed when we stopped he just pressed the speed button yeah okay right now breach is overextended and he's going to probably lose here uh, yeah, nice the whole army of, uh, oh no he's just going to ram uh, no no he's going to them. kill reinforcements and 
Bridge is going to try and snipe that fourth base, but look at how many Zerglings and Banelings and Roaches is, are available here. And I'm thinking that Bridge is not going to have a the best uh, output here. And we uh, see... He not, just he's using a good uh, positioning, at least. Yeah, that's quite a good positioning, but just he can't overwhelm this. And with yeah, plus... Exactly, yeah. With plus one carapace already complete on the ground, and plus one oh no road okay only now being plus one melee melee attack. Yeah, but now look at the army count, man. I don't know. Yeah. If, uh, bridge has. The, yeah. I mean, I th he's down in workers by. That's like thirty three workers down. Yeah, exactly. Not and even mules can make that uh, change. Exactly, and I'm a bit worried here for bridge. I mean. Giant might possibly go for another pressure here, for another bust here. There are a lot of Marauders though, so they will be quite strong in this composition. But still no third base for Bridge, and Giant knows that he has a link there on on standby. And Bridge is just going all in right here, right now. Just going to try yeah, his... Okay, and we see a train. SUV train, yeah. SUV a double train. SUV train. Of course he's going, I mean, he lost three racks. And afterwards, he made additional 4x or something like that. Yeah. So, this is pretty much heavy now, all in. Giant is spotting this. I guess he's also seeing SUVs. Yeah, he sees everything and he's immediately more of some additional bailings because. Yeah, bailings will clean this. Bailings are up, the best yeah. against the. But if you hit the Marauders, it won't be really good. But oh, the oh, the best positioning for uh, breach right uh, for giant right now, killing all the SCVs without problems and just flanking everything with Hydralis coming in and GG is called immediately, and that means it's over. Yep. Three one for three one win for giant. That means we're gonna have a ZVZ finals. That's true, and a lot of people predicted this final for this tournament, and yes. I have to be one of them, but. I was looking forward to any surprises and stuff, and this is it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see Bridge really um, um, having what it takes in the current form, in the current game. Yes, um, exactly. To beat Giant, not about taking map from him, but he delivered. I mean, taking map from Giant, um, it's not a bad stuff. I mean, quite good. So, uh, wow, uh, that was yeah, really. That was, um, I mean, it was. A yeah, I mean, I have to say it was a great match between those two players. Yeah, I agree. Now, I would have liked for Breach to stick a little bit more to any edges or not just allowing himself to be flanked like that. And Bailing just got in the middle of his army and just it was over. I mean, there was little, little uh, that he could do. Um, I mean, it's hard to. Um, to do much here, I mean, yep. it's hard. How can I say? Um. Okay, so uh, right now, are we going to? Well, how's what's the plan? Um, the plan is that we're gonna have a little bit of a break. Okay, and so after the break. We're gonna have a. Uh, we're gonna have third place match. Exactly. Yeah. Giant. No, uh, sorry, sorry no, breach. No, we're gonna have a I think we're gonna have a second match. Uh, how do you mean? Hum. What? 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 I'm waiting for. Uh, a response. Or well, something? I guess we're playing the. Third place match? Or what? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm immediately playing it. Um, we're waiting for uh, your. Um, just give me a second. We're gonna have a short commercial break, I guess. Yeah, we can run. Um, uh, um, okay, yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, guys, we'll be back in a moment. Yeah, uh, we'll just have to make a few of. A uh, few arrangements, yeah.
Um, so we'll be back really fast, hopefully, with the third place match. And until then, um, enjoy the music or whatever is going to roll on. So, yeah. like always um, let's put some music on I guess Thank you. 
Yes, now you hear me. Okay, we're gonna have a short video. Is that right? I agree. It um, will be a and short then video. we'll start with the third game yeah. match. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, enjoy it. It's gonna be Cheese King and Bridge, and between. Yeah, it's going to be um, the third game or the third place match will be uh, Breach versus Cheese King. Yep, and we're watching a movie. Um, it's going to be a small invitational tournament in Slovenia. Some kind of a home story cup. You can tell a bit more, Seert. Yeah, uh, it will be organized by the clan, which is a semi professional clan called the Pirates Without Ships, PWS. Um, it will be held next week on Sunday. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a live stream. Hopefully, um, so most we'll likely, see. Yeah. The, yeah, most likely. It's gonna be a Slovenian variation of Home Story Cup. A lot of uh, old school and new school players. Yeah. Um, battling out, and if I'm not mistaken, you're also one of the. Players. Yes, <laughs> I'm also one of the invited players. It's an eight-player invitational. So uh, hopefully, it'll be. I think it'll be really nice, really good, really cool. Um, so yeah, please enjoy the promo video which was made by two of the members of uh, Pirates Without Ships uh, team, so enjoy it and after that we'll see uh, yeah. the third place match. Yeah, exactly. Um, you're, gonna, you're gonna follow this tournament and can see it also, but uh, at the moment just wait and relax, we're gonna tune to Conce Arena Finals in a moment. So, we are back. Um, and we're gonna start the game. Okay, so yeah, third place match, guys. This is actually one of the. F actually, this is this, the f uh, one of the final series of this tournament, Season 1 Arena of yeah. the Connect Slovenia. And it's a best of five. Yes. And this will decide who will be third or who will be fourth, who will receive 10, 20 euros and who will receive 10 euros. Exactly. So, so um, something is the on the line, at least. And uh, yes. A TVP, finally. A TVP, yes. I would say. Um, at least finally, for, no. Uh, Zerg. <laughs> Cheese King, yeah, and not just that. Also for Cheese King. And um, Breach, I guess. Yeah, well, but Breach played a lot of TVTs and he did play a TVZ. A lot of TVZs and TVTs, sorry. While Cheese yes. King just had a bunch or like a ton or three tons of um, PVZs. But anyways, it doesn't matter. This is it. It uh, what matters to them is that it's a deciding series uh, for a third place, like you said. And yes. this is the last games they will play. It's a best of five and a red. Um, oh yeah, sorry, red protest. Yeah. <laughs> I will just introduce the player, sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah. No I was um, <laughs> okay, top left side, uh, sorry, bottom left side <laughs> of the daybreak, yeah, it's get, we're getting tired, I guess, is a Red Cheese King, Red Protoss Cheese King from Croatia. So, um, it will come down to his PVT in the end, I guess. And his opponent, 
like we said a few times before, um, the most known Hungarian uh, start of two player. It's a Blue Terran a Breach. Uh -huh, yeah. And we already see a little bit of a deviation here. Gas first from a Breach before the barracks even are started to being pulled down. So that means it will most likely be a Reaper opening here. Now, Reapers are really, really uh, coming back to action in Heart of the Swarm, but not so much in uh, well, here in Wings of Liberty. It could just be a 1 1 1, we'll see what no. um, But uh, for 1 1 1, you should. I mean, he wants. I mean, for 1 1 1, you want to yeah, at least deny the scout. So it's. This was I mean. Weird, yeah. yeah, it was quite weird, but. It's. I mean, I'm guessing. My. I'm guessing this will be a Reaper opening. And mm, one Marine firstly comes out. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Breach is a breach used. Breach. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Factory, factory immediately left. But we saw breach use a uh, Reaper opening. In fact. Um, but another yeah. thing that I want to say is that while Cheese King's plays against Zerg is getting really good. Um, he's he didn't prove himself um, in PVT as of yet, at least not in this tournament. Um, yes, and he, he lost a notable PVT uh, against Danny 2-0. Oh no, it was 2-1. Yeah. yeah, sorry. 2-1. Yeah. Uh, we do see a factory and a reactor here, so that basically he went for a really really fast factory reactor. So Kellens will be uh, yeah. on the map so fast. That's uh, correct. If that's the case, I guess he's not going for a yeah, um, standard although 1 1 1 because he doesn't have yeah. a second guess. So. Exactly. Oh, no, okay. Um, I'm always wrong, I guess. <laughs> he goes uh, 1 guess, no, 1 1 He one. just put down the starport, so. Um, I'm sorry, that might be just for drops. Yeah, I just wanted to say that for Medivacs yeah. and for drops, and with drops he will be really effective with that, effective with those uh, Hellions. Um, and so right now we I see like a this deck. from Cheese King. He went a he went a three stalker opening, not a usual gate expand. Yes, or gate rub expand. Um, this is exactly what um, I saw um, yesterday when I wa was watching uh, NASL. I was just so wrong, man. I never. He went for a banshee. He just, well, he went for a banshee from without the guess. second guess. Yeah, that's no. something that I didn't really expect. And usually, if you go one one one, you take the second de guess as soon as your factory starts, or at, uh, even uh, uh, before that. Um, now okay, going nice positioning from uh, those talkers not allowing the yeah, and uh, taking a little bit of a damage on those galleons. Now the banshee should be a little bit of, of a surprise to Cheese King here, but there's just a lot of stalkers already uh, yeah, on the. King, I mean, I mean, sorry, not Cheese King, of course. Um, this is not going to be cloak bench is something that uh, we all know uh, because one guess is just not enough to support all of that yes but just having a one on one attack harass with the banshee or just psyching that it's a yes. banshee may be enough nice focus fire on that damage hellion another and one and he might just get it yeah. yes and gets another one so two hellions down for the cost of nothing here um isn't as great, but we see a bunker being put down for breach here, so he's a little bit scared of those stalkers, of course. Yeah, I um, would be too, man. And uh, look at this: additional two stalkers coming out and a probe coming out. So uh, Cheese King right here really wants to commit to this. Yeah, here and the proxy panel location already. He shouldn't lose. Uh, okay, he doesn't lose the stalker. That's a good thing. And we see a bench right now. Bench is going to come in the main base of Cheese King. Yeah, and meanwhile, he's gonna start the robotics by being built behind that. I thought he's going with the. I mean, the bridge will go with the. Blink. Also blink, yes. Uh, not just bridge. Okay, he just sniped. Okay, two actions oh. at the time. Um, yes. Cheese King did manage to kill off the. Uh, now, bunker. Cheese King. Cheese King didn't manage to kill the bunker, a couple of marines, but a raven is out and Cheese King does defend that Hellion uh, Banshee harass, but uh, not before he losing lost seven a lot, probes. Exactly. He lost a lot um, of probes. He's behind in worker supply and uh, army supply. I don't and know, but right now Cheese King really is committing to this losing additional stalkers, although he has blink. And 
I mean, he just wants to kill him right here, right now. And with that auto turret there, with those Hellions and Marines already ready there, it's going to be near impossible to break here. Yeah, so what's the best thing he could do, I guess? Expand and contain. Uh, the best thing is possibly um, just contain, try to do... Well, he can uh, use the micro, um, the blink micro as long as he can. Yeah, but he's just getting those stalkers so low on HP and also yeah, he on he can do that just for a... Little while, yes, yeah. and uh, he might get a snipe off on that supply. Oh, yeah, yeah, great snipe off there. Um, but I mean, Breach has a uh, good defense now, so there's. I mean, it, yeah, I don't see. How he didn't have a forward pylon enough. It was not forward enough. I would. Yeah, say. but see an observer right now, and this yeah, is going to be an true. aggressive blink. This is definitely going to be an aggressive blink up. Oh, and an, in the and exact we see timing that Helions are going out of the. Yeah. Right. Now, there are enough Marines to defend this, but um, there's just there's just so much of every... I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, Cheese King is still committing to this, not going to okay, fall so back. He's, not, he's just unloading the Hellions. Good choice from Bleach. I like it. He's using yeah, he needs this ma Medivac back home to heal the, his own units. Exactly. And we see a great blink micro out of... Uh, Cheese King just and uh, meanwhile the Hellions are in one lone two lone stalkers are going to clean this up. Yeah, he wants to defend against anything that's coming. A lot of probes are being killed. Yeah, but also an aggressive blink coming up yes, and the bunker does he, fall. He managed to Yes, and this might be actually Cheese King's game. Yeah, Look it at this. come down to blink. Oh right now. Uh, a bit of a late SCV uh, pull exactly. but he forces the uh, stalkers to pull back to give him time to possibly build another bunker in the meanwhile he did lose 16 probes and that's not good yeah. and right now see we uh, another attack from cheese king great bling micro just not losing a single stalker right now but i mean there are four marauders it's already here lose, yeah. and steam is ready so cheese king should not commit yeah, i mean should go back his stalkers are really low and the bunker is complete. So right now, breach might actually overextend. Oh no! Oh no! No no no! Oh damn! Yeah, I didn't see that. GG, of course. Losing so many stalkers so yeah. early. And game. not just that. I mean, Cheese King had to go all in just because uh, he lost a lot of workers. Yeah, I mean, he did lose he 16 like, probes. Yeah, and he mm -hmm. was like 10 or 20 workers down, and that's something you just can't make up after losing that many stalkers. So the breach goes up 1-0. And we'll see which map will be picked now. So the first map past daybreak, we're gonna see what the second one will be. What do you think? Um well it was I call Ohana. Ohana. You call Ohana, okay. Okay. I call I don't know. Um, if it's Protoss, I would say Cloud Kingdom. No, I was wrong, and so were you. It's Antigua Shipyard. So, um, second map of this third place, um, this third place match uh, um, series, however you wish, is going yeah. to be MLG. Oh well, not really the MLG, but Antigua Shipyard <laughs> on an MLG map, anyways. And uh, we have a giant uh, breach versus. King. Yes, Coming and up. second map, guys. I think it's gonna be awesome. I think, I, I mean, Cheese King showed that. I mean, he almost had it here. If he would have just perhaps, um, um, I mean, he did a great blink micro. Of course, he lost so little of um, so little um, of stock, or so little stalkers. But I mean, he perhaps should have just. Fall back, fall back, and try to expand or something. He just, I mean, it's hard to um, to break um, to break a, a Terran with Marauders and everything. Yep, and we'll see how um, the second map plays out. It's Breach against King, Cheese King, and uh, Hungarian Terran, uh, namely Breach, is up 1-0. And he's the only one who is not placed uh, in Grandmasters this season. 
um, well, Cheesecake King, Cheese King is the only one who, I mean, in the final four. After yes. The remaining pairs, Cheese King is the only one who was the Grand Master uh, for the first time this season. So, we have uh, new players, older players, old school players, and well, pretty much everything. Every kind of players. Everything on Balkan except for Beastie Cutie, but okay. He's in America. So, um, meanwhile, in uh, ba Balkan, uh, on Balkan internet, <laughs> Balkan internet, yeah, we have uh, Antigua Shipyard, second map of third place match. It's um, Red Protoss in the top left corner. It's Cheese King. Yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. And you can go and uh, please okay. announce his opponent. And in the blue trunks, we have our blue... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Why did I say blue again? <laughs> yeah, but it's not okay. that bad, man. Just go in ahead. the blue trunks, we have our Hungar um, Hungarian player, Breach. Woohoo! Terran. I forgot Terran. Yeah. I forgot. God damn it. You said but blue twice and no Terran, man. What's up? Yeah. And that's Breach is lagging a bit. No problem anymore. No problem. Okay, so it is Antigua Shipyard. Um, I I personally hate this map. I personally cannot stand this yep, map. but you are Zerg, so we have no Zergs at the moment, and I feel I'm yeah. quite. I have to say I'm quite relieved, man. I didn't There's see. Oh, the, oh, it seems that we have some problems on in Hungarian. Internet. Yeah, battle. Oh shit! Look at what Cheese King did. He stopped all. Oh no! All the workers stopped. What? No, no, what? What the hell? What the fuck? What? Cheese King just stopped all his workers. Yes, I saw that. No, um, he had to click S. I have to bet he had to click S. I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, I when I came here, I saw this and... We should, we should be, um, we sh you should have made us judges. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh. Yeah, you can chat somewhere else, you can, I mean, on a private message. I, I don't have Cheese King added on private message. God damn it. What? Oh, I, I I don't know what happened because I don't have the vision of Cheese King. Also, I don't know if he clicked anything, but I guess we can. Um, I, it's hard to say. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe he was just. I don't know now. L l I mean, uh, we should ask. Uh, I think we should uh, look at the replay. Yeah, but we can't really. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Give me a second, we we'll just have to. You, you, oh yeah, man, I you think we're gonna play. I mean, it's not like. Um, yeah, it, the thing is, um, he stopped. He had to do a mistake because you can lag, and when you spam, when you spam with your my, mice over the workers, and you click S, I don't know. It's hard to say. I really don't know because I would call, I would call it to, I would um, say that we should look at the replay. I mean, we can start, we can play from a replay, right? It's. Yep. Can you do this? Um. Okay, so um, we're gonna just have a talk yeah. here. Um, 
Um, I don't know about this new interface. Yeah. Um, well, the facts are uh, nothing really spectacular happened that was as of yet, and I um, look. Uh, Bridge doesn't want to. Um, like he just he doesn't want to, and I kind of understand him because yeah, I mean like it's true. Happened. I mean it's not a mistake by the game. It's Cheese King's error. We can't really do anything. Yeah, and so if uh, if Bridge doesn't want to remake, continue. It, yeah, yeah good. write him to continue. We can. I don't know. I, I'd say it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I mean, look. Yep. I mean, look. There's no way this could be a game error. I'm almost hundred percent cert certain this is a ninety-nine percent certain that this is not a game error. Because yeah, I have to pretty much agree. I mean, it's not like it, it's uh, Cheese King's fault. Look, it's not. I mean, I don't want no, to blame uh, him. I mean, it's look, all but about the lagging internet, and I think that it was just a misclick because of yeah, the I mean, lag. it happened to me many times. I'm gonna. S I mean, when you when you spam with your workers, in if the players, if the player, or your opponent lags a little bit, and if you click on whatever, I don't know. What? How serious get out? Well, that won't do actually. Um, why? No. Yep. Well, no way, no how, man. I mean, why? It's not our fault. Yep. I mean, if he unfortunately, if I unfortunately he clicked on S, I there's no way this could be a game error. I have never heard about it, and if this would have happened any time before, I would have, I mean, anyone would have known about it, but it's the first time I hear that after someone lags that your workers stop. I mean, it's the first time ever, so. Well, both players are going for a... Uh, yeah, Bridge is going for a... Quite juicy stuff, uh, both players are going. He's yeah, Cheese King uh, is going for gate. Going gate. So this is going to be a... Uh, all in against really? all in, so if yeah. I mean, come down to I don't know. Uh, it, I, it, this is weird. I'm I'm really yeah, it's like it's a weird game, but not just because of the because of everything, because of the lags and the worker stop and then the yeah all the ch chatting here and there. But you know, guys, this is a sports. People are getting um I'm serious mm -hmm. with it, so nothing wrong with that. So let's just hope yeah, I mean, I I understand Cheese King being upset about yeah, this, but I understand both I mean, players. So I I'm I ha I believe I either Breach's fault, either uh, Cheese King's fault. So yeah, yeah it's hard to believe. No on remake, so yeah, it's hard to believe that it uh, stopped his workers because of the lag. So right now we have a triple Rex and a four gate incoming, and the four gate was already quite well. Uh, I mean, not well defended because only the uh, initial, uh, initial, uh, how to say, probe was killed. There are six stalkers under the ramp. One gets killed. A little bit of a miss micro yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, another one gets killed. Now this is a, uh, this is not looking good for Cheese King. He just lost two stalkers for almost. Yeah, but nice micro from there on. Yeah. Oh. oh, and loses another stalker there. And there are two bunkers, all, uh, one bunker is ready, a second one is almost ready, so this, oh, and another stalker falls, and I mean, this is yeah, and not is good. Yeah, making a CC in behind, and I think that's something uh, Cheese King should do as well. Yep. Um, so, this is basically, I mean, Bridge, a Bridge is, okay, pause. Okay, another pause. So what will he say now? I just wanna don't s I don't just don't wanna see that he says that lag is uh, the problem that he lost all those stalkers. I just want I don't want to see that. <laughs> 
by the way, guys, this is the second match of the third place. Um, for the third place. So right now, Breach is 1 0 in this series. Um, okay, so go. Okay, so Cheese King is ready. We are resuming the game. Yep, uh, we are talking about uh, living games. Who? What? Who and what? What? Um, I understand. I don't. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Make yourself clear. <laughs> okay, so who liked? Um, yeah, at the beginning it was uh, breach and faint. One ah, of the streamers okay. and one of the players. Okay, okay. So right now, a scan goes down on Cheese's main. Uh, we see a Robo facility for Cheese King being made. Um, we see additional two barracks being added for Breach, so that will make a total of five barracks. Uh, the command center is complete, so uh, he'll have additional mules ready to drop down and boost that economy of his and the game is basically normalizing here um, but Bridge is going to prepare some kind of a marine uh, marauder push here I mean he has double tech lab on there so I would uh, assume that he is gonna start making marauders which are quite good yeah. um, uh, King is currently boosting the uh, observer and exactly. he's also making a yeah, robo base, so this looks like a pretty standard um, play out of Wargate, of course, and his opponent went for a proxy. Well, three racks, not really a proxy, just moving them down this ramp. Anyhow, we had some problems with this match, I guess, but uh, in the Everything end, is okay now? Yeah, not just that, we're gonna check the replays. Yeah. I'm going. And, uh, yeah. um, I say uh, we check the replays, and I'll see if his APM was uh, from zero to let's say uh, uh, ten, or I don't know something really low, not standard for him. You'll see exactly what. Or if I just look at his vision, how he clicks. You just have to have his vision. And not just yeah. That he, uh, if he has his workers clicked. Yeah, that then, means uh, he that clicked. That means he had to click. Yeah. I mean, it's not like there. Yeah. Me, there okay. might be a bug that I don't know, man. I, but I'm not yeah. like that I know everything far away from that. Okay. So right now, Bridge is pushing out exactly, with double yeah. monsters, uh yeah. and quite a lot of Marines with uh, combat shields completed. Now, there is a yeah, possibility. The first Colossus will be in time, though. Yeah, or the Colossus yeah, will be will be out, but there will be no range. So if he isn't careful, and if he doesn't good. Okay, he's warping in. That's cool. He's warping um, sentries, and now, he will force fields here will be vital. If he force fields, the whole army gets it quite in a great spot to kill. Oh, nice force fields, cap capturing a couple of units. A bit of a miss micro here from Breach. Yep, but uh, not that bad of a engagement for Cheese King, I have to say. Um, yes, he doesn't look that bad. Of oh, and right oh, now he this seems might to be pick a up. Nice snipe, yeah. Yes, and steam coming out oh, now. Great steam is complete, so that means that he has to be careful. Yes, the force wheels were quite great, but he has to pull back now. There's just yeah, too much of everything. Exactly. So, um, I would say both players traded fairly equal, and Cheese King ended up being with uh, even uh, more better, economy, yeah, more workers, better economy. Exactly. Okay, so, um. We have double Colossus out right now. We had the third, the third Colossus coming out, and the extended terminal lines being um, in uh, the works. Now there's an observer scouting everywhere around here, so Rich might spot it if he's uh, real careful for some blur in the air. But uh, Cheese King knows what's up. Cheese King sees the army, and he's going to scout the expansion of Cheese of uh, Bridge right now. And he sees the army pulling out, another push coming up here. Yep, and he already has two colossi. No, well, three colossi. I don't know why he's. Uh, um, he's killing his own. Yeah, what? What? What is exactly Cheese King doing? Here, a 
problem? Maybe Why he's is blocking something. So he just supply blocked himself. Yeah, I know, but I think uh, there was some reason, of course. I owe, oh, one probe oh, yeah, was blocked. Probe, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, didn't well, really see it. But I still think that one probe isn't worth uh, a pilot, so. Um, yeah, right now, Chief King check. wants, yeah, the third base, and he, uh, Chief King wants to take his third base, but look at Bridge, uh, Bridge having quite a lot of Marauders actually, and plus one one already complete and going for Chief a King drop. Everything, uh, he should know about the drop. Yeah, he should know he everything. He's ready with those talkers. Yeah, he just might not be able to take a third base uh, though. Uh, oh, and Bridge immediately pulls back with that uh, medevac, not losing a single. Okay, a little bit of a damage, but that's about it. And Cheese King could can engage here with four uh, four Colossus with extended uh, yeah, range. He's just Could checking for a better placement. He gets to spend yes. two Marauders, which is always nice. Not that exactly. big, di big deal of though, but... Um, Vikings have uh, just uh, started, so... Colossus will be in danger quite soon here. I mean, with a couple of like six, seven Vikings or eight Vi Vikings, you can take a Colossus down pretty damn fast. Yeah, that's true. He does. He does have five colossus though, and he has uh, those stalkers. He just have to have them ready when the f I mean ready and um, with his main army when the fight starts. So yeah, I think I that agree. he's not. I mean, it's pretty open bridge. Just plummet, uh, jump it in, uh, jump it in. Right now, cheese, cheese king. If cheese king manages to uh, to, um, to get his third up and running. He'll be in a great spot. Yeah, I mean, but Bridge still has, the yeah, an SCV train. We see uh, Vikings. Everything is out, and Cheese King has just yeah, he sees so everything. little. Yeah, now five colossus are a lot of colossus, yeah, but and I two mean, stalkers are not going to do things. Good that. force fields. Oh, sorry, good force good fields. Great force fields. Yeah, just not allowing anything to come close to those colossus. This is actually really good for Cheese King here. Yeah, at and the moment, Bridge is overextending. Rich is just, I mean, he went to try and kill and he did, I mean, he only killed a couple of sentries and uh, zealots, the colossus are still standing. Yeah, five colossus are still standing and he did lose all of the vikings. And Cheese King still ha maintained his third base, which exactly. does mean that he can just safely pull back, get a big army, a big, big army and just... He will just snipe those. Oh, yeah. nice pick up there. Great positioning of the observer. Yes, and just knowing everything. Now, the funny thing is, Cheese King killed his own pilot, and that probe is still standing there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the funny thing, but I don't um, see how Bridge can really. Yeah, Bridge can't really come. I mean, it's going to be hard. I mean, he I'm has no third. Sentries and Zealots, but still, uh, he has a big army. Yeah, he just six had classes. Insanely good trade. Yeah, that was. I think that was the best trade he could hope for. I mean, Bridge still hasn't have doesn't have his third uh, command center and still tries to go for another push as we hear see here yeah. with SCVs and but now with sentries it might be different yes. here with without sentries and might. and this might be a little bit more dangerous with so many marauders and uh, yeah. with steam he marauders. Have any more anything to yes, make. and one colossus falls, another one should fall pretty fast here. Oh no! Oh, one colossus, one more should fall. So basically, two colossus fell, and quite a lot of stalkers. But yeah, um, I would say that uh, Cheese King is still in a great position. Yeah, I think Cheese King can trade uh, quite well here. Yeah, but uh, he can't. He mustn't uh, just sleep. On yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, of course. He doesn't I mean, have any. What, did, did he just go for a? Yeah, he went for a t fourth base. Yeah, um, I, you are correct. He mustn't leave everything to die just like that easy. But I'm just saying that um, he can afford to lose like one, two colossus um, without being really yeah, in a bad. That's true. And his well, double grades are even. And I think Cheese King might be a little bit too greedy, though. What do you think, man? He's taking his fourth. He has a lot of stalkers this time, and they're tanking the damage. A lot of colossal joining and GG from Bridge. Yeah. yeah, GG being called. And although, what? Why? 
Yeah, they're talking about those problems. Oh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't a 50 second, it was like six seconds, something like that, seven seconds, perhaps, you know. <laughs> okay. I, so don't, I don't know uh, if this matters or not, yeah. I mean, look, this Cheese King still won, so... Exactly, Cheese King takes why, the Why, who, who sh why... Why... convincing uh, play, I would say. Yeah, now, um, I will take a couple of seconds to check the replay, so if you'd be so kind to wait for me. Um, I will just check the replay right now. And I will confirm if... Uh, how... what happened to, to Cheese King. I really want to see this. Yep. Please take a look. Okay, I'm already loading up the replay. Okay, so the second map is going to be Cloud Kingdom. I mean, you don't have to uh, check the replay right now. I mean, Cheese King won and he was the one that was in yeah, jeopardy. So, so I, I mean, Breach has can't make a remake anymore. I know what you wanted to say, but... Um, okay, so uh, uh, it will be really fast. Really, okay, of course, then you can... I just want to see if he clicks on those uh, uh, probes by accident or if he... Um, what happens? I just want to see that. I just yeah. want to have that run. Be my guess. Okay, so it happens around here. One, two seconds. That lag. Um, where is Iasis though? Uh, okay, I'm checking for. Uh... Yes, he clicks on his own. Um, yes, he clicks on the workers. Yep, he clicks on the workers. And they yeah, stop. It's a misclick. Anyhow, it's not really important. Uh, all things uh, behind. I am still waiting for. Isis. Isis, yeah, I don't know what he's doing though. He's still in the game. In the and last he's game. Oh, okay. And his worker stops stopped for like uh, about 10 seconds, perhaps a little less. So uh, he just spams everything and pops. Uh, well, he just spammed it, and that's what happened. So it was his fault, uh, not any lag or whatever. Unfortunately, he clicked, it, clicked uh, on that. Too bad. Um, okay. So, so everybody is. Uh, I have just rejoined your lobby. Uh, put us to uh, put us on not spectator. Put us on judge. Um, who's boss? Okay. Uh, click. Uh, they. Uh, <laughs> no. Thanks. Uh, click uh, us on judge. Uh, Referee, yeah, referee. That's good. So you can write to the players. Yep. Uh, so referee, referee, referee. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Oh. Okay. So both players are ready. Um. Uh, We don't have to really. It's not the thing to discuss. I mean, um, people have replays. You have votes. I didn't really check it, but all the replays, not just this one, all the replays will be available um, after the tournament is done. So yes, those everyone who want to will be able to watch any game. I'm not talking about this in particular. I, I don't want to be I don't want to deny anything. Of course it's unfortunate to what happened to Cheese King. But it was yeah, I mean, uh, it's an annoying mistake. mistake. Yeah, yes. no, it's it's not like yes. it's even a mistake, it's a just a misclick in a, yeah, it's like exactly. a Murphy's law, you know, when you shouldn't you get yeah, that exactly. thing that you don't want to. But in the end he, he, he won, so yeah. I don't know why well, I mean he shouldn't I mean Okay, it's a problem, but he won still, so... Yep, and, um, well, just me just in the truth, this uh, orange Terran in the top right corner is Breach and his opponent. Um, you see both players play today, tonight, so... Um, well, this one is a uh, Croatian Protoss Cheese King. Yes. And I just wanted to say that... Um, I guess Cheese King finally knows how to 
play uh, uh, under, well, not really a spotlight, but uh, under pressure. Yes, I agree. And we see, oh, double SCV coming out for breach right away. And right now, Cheeseking is going for the scout, and he might he actually might see, see both him. Now, see, if he goes, oh no, he doesn't didn't go for the Exil Naga. If he would have gone for that, it would he would see that. And breach is going to go for that uh, double proxy Rex. Yes, yes. And we'll see what Cheeseking will. Um, yeah, what Cheeseking will this. do here. Um, now it's hard to say. Now I would okay. So it's gateway first. Um, no forge, but of course forge doesn't really benefit you no, as no, much. Yeah, no forge in PvP um, for Calvary. Yeah. Um, breach. Is breach is checking what's going on. There's a yeah. One just decides for racks. one mecha rex, just for one proxy rex. Um, I would be really shocked if he would have gone for his. Um, second Rex in his main, like here yeah, or some. That's something. And, I was, uh, and about. look at that! Look at that! He's definitely. Oh no, no, no! If he, okay, if he does that, I'm going to be shocked. I'm just gonna be like, uh, okay. Now this we see. Interesting. My play from. Okay, so there's a bunker there. Okay, yeah. That's now we see things. We see Cheese King scouting here, and he has to know what's up. He has to be like, ah, uh, okay, so you're two Rexing me, most likely. Um, so I'm just gonna poke here, just trying to be as much as uh, annoying as possible. I can't really do much. So a zealot is on the way, but that bunker will be complete. Also, the marine will be in the bunker before the zealot gets out of the, the gateway. Or yeah, uh, well, this will be really annoying. Uh, yeah, this will be really, really annoying here. And look at that. The the marine is ready, and yeah, but it's just a contain at the moment, so. Yeah, and I mean, bridge behind this could possibly just go command center first. I mean, no, not command center, just put down a command center yeah, but behind he's this. He's adding two more racks in his main, so this looks like some pressure, man. Yeah, double uh, additional two racks in his main, so he definitely wants to do some damage here. I mean, he wants to be annoying. What can I say? And we see that uh, everyone is engaging uh, the bunker now. Um, Stalker nice is micro. yeah nice micro here uh, damage uh, trying to take as much damage as the zealot and just the stalker doing the great sting damage here two stalkers out now if you'd like to kill that SUV and he does so that, well this is a uh, better but okay so we have a uh, yeah marines being a bit yeah uh, annoying here yeah, annoying and pushing around but uh, okay the rex is. Uh, Going back and okay, this is not just some easy pressure, pressure man. He's yeah, well, he okay, no. is. Uh, I thought he was going for four X, but he generally, just yeah, he's just floating yeah. his back. Yeah. So now, um, he, uh, Cheese King has uh, going. He's going to have a, a three gate in his base. Um, now it this usually means that he's going to expand, but it's a really safe expansion. If he puts down right now a robo, then Bridge it means just might not pylon, man. And yeah, that's going to be a big win for Cheese King. Because yeah, having a proxy pylon here. Now, Breach sh did not see that proxy pylon. No, no way, no how. And immediately pulls back and even salvages the bunker, getting the minerals back. Um, now, here another gateway, and it's going to be a four gate again for uh, Cheese King. Now. Um, Cheese King does scan the main and sees the four gate, so he knows bridge. what's up. Oh, yeah, oh, damn, yeah, bridge. Why did I always mess yeah, up? Yeah, but bridge is going to lose those three uh, marines and uh, three marines. Well, well, they are quite good, they but are something. marauders, marauders, man, are yeah, that's out. true, but well, three marines uh, better than nothing, and marauders yes. are out, that's true, and the SUVs are just going to be pulled, and it's going to be a nothing. Yes. If and we me. see two marauders doing uh, big damage here. Yeah, but nice warping. I yeah, nice warping on the high ground, and this is actually a really good thing for uh, Cheese King here. Now the smart thing, I guess, it would be to just um, kill that pull, pylon. He should uh, pull the zealot back. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he's now, just uh, going back. Yeah, okay. And Cheese King is expanding behind behind this, as he should have in the first game. Um, now, Breach has successfully defended. Um, 
but this game is slowly normalizing here. Uh, although there is no command center for breach and a factory goes down immediately. Um, and it is uh, in a robotics facility for uh, Cheese King. Yep, yeah, uh, that's pretty, I mean, standard, not just standard. Yeah, um, and I'll, I'm Cheese King will that. lose here uh, at least, yeah, loses two sentries here, and that's not good. Losing two sentries for nothing is bad. Yeah, that's true, and let's see, but still, um, okay. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's hard to say what's gonna happen up next. I mean, what's gonna happen is that steam will complete before this army, small army of breach will uh, come to the base of Cheese King, and with steam he can easily take uh, those stalkers out and any stalkers that warp in here. Um, exactly, this steam timing. And will this be nexus deadly. will be will have to be cancelled. If he doesn't cancel, it, he'll lose it. Oh no. No cancel. This is bad. Yeah, this is not good. He can hold it, I guess. He's yeah, but look, showing, steam. Yeah, Here he comes the, the steam, steam and with uh, with steam, he can just go head on with his army. He can, he would, he could possibly just run up there, but decides to kill the nexus uh, first, which is a smart decision from breach. But well, he's Cr thinning the lines of marines, though. And yeah, uh, he really over a bit of an over steam here. Good. Yeah, nice force field. And just focusing down the stalker, great job. Um, I don't know how to tell you these guys, but I think the Cheese King just um, he had did a, small, a great job. Yeah, he, this is a great small victory for Cheese King. Yeah, and now this. look at what's what's on the map. Yeah, it's an immortal. True, but yeah, exactly. There's an immortal. If he adds more zealots, he will be able to hold this. Yeah, I mean. Also, the immortal will already be really good against these marauders, and now Breach. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. If he, no, Breach didn't see the robotics base, so he doesn't know about this. And Cheese King decides to go for oh, a push. Immortals. Well, he just wants to. If I would be him, I would like to um, split the army here on the ramp. So I guess I would be waiting for uh, him to come up and yeah, just, and try just to split a lot as much as I possible agree. before. On and the top side. we see a continuous production of units from Breach, and Breach is just going yeah, to he try has and to go take back. The well, there's a yeah. back though for a vision, but it won't help much. With two immortals, I mean, there's more marauders than marines, so he. The only thing he that he should be scared of is a drop, so. Yes. Um, that is something that could happen, and Breach is all. And it's going to happen right now, look at this. And only now Cheese King realizes about this, and the stalker that came to help or to check that out is going to die immediately. And Cheese King again blocks two probes for himself, and he's going to supply block. And nice, uh, nice uh, warp in there, just really trying nice, to yeah. kill as much as possible. And this is um, a great, great force field on the. Yeah. And look at this marauder, just refuses to die. And on the main side, there's battle, yeah, but, but the immortals, immortals, yeah, three immortals are just Bridge doing their have job. To go back. Definitely, Bridge has to pull back. He has his own um, command center now on his expansion, but I mean, he can't really support this much of uh, against three mortals. What can he do? And there's a okay. Twilight Council. A Twilight Council on the way, so... so big worker supply charge. left for um, Cheese King, and I, I would say it's his game to lose. Yes. There and a drop coming on, but uh, I think he will be pretty much ready for this one. Yeah, his it's actually a double drop. Look at this, it's okay, a double drop. This might be a little bit more interesting. Yeah, and now um, he's going to defend the expansion. When Cheese King, he's just oh, going just out, but okay, he's, he's coming and back. And here comes another drop in the main, and it's gonna be a bit of a problem to deal with this. Now a nice warping of zealots again. Uh, yeah, just nice trying positioning to here from. Yeah, thank the the murder thanks all the damage, and this just gives cheesing cheesing enough time to. Uh, oh well, still, well, Brit still wants to drop his expansion in the meanwhile, doing a great job in the main of cheesing, killing quite some probes. Yeah. Um, and he's getting closer in probe count. Yeah, yeah I mean, this thing was way in front, man. This yes. Game. 
um, after he didn't lose the second uh, expand but uh, with this with those drops bridge is somehow slowly but surely thinning um, cheese kings lines mineral lines and also army with it so um, yes I agree and another and stream coming up well, no this this army of uh, bridge is much stronger than earlier yes, but it also is, but Cheese King has four immortals exactly, and so yeah, many yeah. zealots and great force fields, and this He's going is not to just out melt out immortal yeah. his army. Look at those. And force Cheese King fields. smartly picks up all everything. Just doesn't want to die. And a Colossus bridge, joins yeah. the fight. Oh yeah, bridge. What? Wow, man. And a bridge. Yeah. yeah and a Colossus going now. For a doom drop now. Um, doom drop is considered with four medivacs, so I would okay, say a triple yeah. drop. <laughs> That's true. So um, a big drop coming up. Um, yeah. And this will catch his opponent out of position. He has yeah, and stalkers. with such a big drop, he could actually go for a base race. Yep. Which and he is going for a base race. Look at this. Now this is just amazing, and I think that in this case, Breach will win because, I mean. Well, Terran can just lift off and run away. Who cares about buildings? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think Cheese King Minga. Oh, well, it's not really a mistake. I, t I thought that he could have a uh, force field at the RAM, but uh, the truth is that uh, Bridge yeah. has Medivac, so. Yes, exactly. And now. Those immortals, man, they make. They do yeah, a lot of the damage. The mo immortals are so cost efficient. Um, they're finally being focused down, but Bridge King is running out of any everything. Bridge but King, huh? <laughs> Bridge, <laughs> Bridge King, Cheese King is running out of everything. Uh, in the meanwhile, Bridge is devastating uh, Cheese King's main. Oh my God! Look at this. An immortal isn't firing on Bridge King. Bridge. Uh, oh my God! <laughs> on Bridge. Why does it Bridge King? I Come have on. No idea. Yeah, I'm so funny. I know. <laughs> And I would call this GG, man. Look, nice <laughs> micro there from Breach. But yeah, yeah but I don't this know. is GG. Cheese King has no more probes. Exactly, I don't Cheese see King him has coming back. Three probes, and this is it, and no army. And this will be definitely a GG. Now, there's no way. Only one immortal and a war prism available for Cheese King. Now, I don't know what he can really achieve here. He might. I don't know. You just want to play play with them, <laughs> but still, I mean, look at what's coming through the middle. And GG. GG. So Bridge takes the second map um, and makes the score two against one in favor of Hungarian Terran. Yeah. Um, some uh, good play, but still, I think that Cheese King also had this game. Yeah, Cheese King, I mean, he was one base ahead, he did a great job defending, but just, I mean, when he should have gone and defend, I mean, the, the triple drop was so powerful, yeah. and if he would have pulled back, yeah, if it, it would have been a bit different. I think that Bridge had a, was he was lucky with the timing. Yes, I agree. And I'm um, lagging a bit, so... Oh, okay, I'm still there. Okay. Um, how do you like? <laughs> no, um, I like in the way that nothing is responding. So, oh, okay. how else can I like? Then we'll take a second to wait for you to not like, I guess. <laughs> I just have to. I mean, this is crazy. Man. This is just crazy. I'm tired of technology, or however they call this. Come on, man! <sighs> I have a black screen and then a blue screen and a white screen and pending. A screen. red screen. Yeah, red screen <laughs> would be interesting. I mean, it would be like, oh man, I don't want red. But if blue screen is the worst, I mean, uh, that we have at the moment, what would the red screen be like? Yes, I. Um, I agree. Okay, so guys, currently it is three uh, two one four bridge. This is oh, damn, my mic. Ah. Uh, 
um, this is a best of five, so this does mean that this possibly is the last match for the third for the third place, uh, which will decide uh, against um, uh, between Cheese King and Breach. Um, we just saw a Terran win, a Breach uh, Breach win on Cloud Kingdom. So next map is Entombed Valley. Quite a big map, actually. Um, uh, don't forget referee. Okay, so um, yeah, this is quite a big map, guys. Um, both players. Now I did see Breach being very cheesy this uh, this final four round. So um, I don't really see him as a player I am expecting uh, poss possibly another double proxy or at least a proxy uh, barracks earlier but uh, on the other hand this king is like his expansions and he's a, little bit of a macro player so we'll see what happens up next yep and, and remember and yeah sorry and <laughs> yes. yes and remember this is the connecting Slovenia arena season one semi-final or the third pla place match god damn it <laughs> yeah, the winner uh, will take 20 euros the loser will take 10 um, it's not much but still something um, different since well, twice the third, fourth place money so anyhow um, let's check in for Entombed Valley it's going to be which map? Uh, fourth map and this is it guys we have a um, red protoss from Croatia on the top right side. It's none other than Cheese King. Yes, um, he's playing good. He's making a bit of a well, not really mistakes. Um, at least in the last the, the, se the Cloud Kingdom game, I think he was just unlucky with the with because of the timings that he walked out right at the moment when Breach went for the yeah. Game. Or let's say that sorry, not Zoom Drop Triple Drop. Um, let's yeah. say that uh, maybe Breach used his timing and his knowledge and game sense really yeah. well to abuse that and anyhow anyhow on top uh, bottom right corner we have a blue terran coming from the hungary it's a breach sorry now you can say what <laughs> yeah i just want to say yeah um, i mean cheese king went for uh, the main of uh breach and uh, he didn't know that where his army is until he lo saw the drop but i i mean he probably couldn't uh, uh, save the Nexus um, so I mean that's why he decided to go for the push uh, most likely because the Nexus was already like at one third of its HP only with full uh, um, full shield so it's hard to say but that's probably the main reason why he decided to go for that uh, push so uh, nothing out of the ordinary as of yet yeah we see both players playing pretty standard um so i think they're going to i mean both players are playing standard uh, rex uh, rex in his base um yeah, this gateway seems fine for um finally for a standard gateway to expand or a rex expand yeah or a macro <laughs> game for once yeah. <laughs> okay so um Nothing out of the ordinary. Another barracks being added here for breach. Yep, so breach is not going for a usual um, one rex play. Yep. Uh, dropping his guess. Uh, preferably, if he wanted to go for that um, Helion reactor build, uh, that guess would have been already completed by now. Um, so right now he just wants to apply some pressure with the double rex in base double rex. Um, possibly just want to scare Cheese King a little bit. Um, on the other hand, Cheese King uh, did make a zealot and is making a stalker, so uh, yeah, stalker keep follow up from a zealot that's nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. And okay, this one, this thing is to be honest, uh, he's going for some pressure again. Yes, uh, adding a third Rax, a tech lab, so. I'm guessing it will be combat shields and steam takes so long to complete. On the other hand, yeah, Cheese King... I think it's going to be either combat shield or just a, 
Um, Marauder. Okay, it's going Ooh, to be a Reaper. Reaper. Now this is an interesting choice. Now look at this. Bridge is making a bunker on the bottom of his ramp, so that does show us that he will expand sometime or in the game. Fake expanding. You never know. Yeah. Now the that's the second that thing. Yeah. Cheese King real went for a uh, well not unsafe but uh, quite an. Uh, oh look at this. Cheese King yeah, looks at the expansion. No expansion. Yeah. Now the possibility is that the command center is up on the high ground, so he can. Oh, and the Reaper will be spotted. Look at this. The yes, Reaper he is sees the Reaper. He sees no CC, and I think he has to know that there's something off with this. Yeah. He's yeah. adding two gateways as soon as possible. Maybe a yeah. bit late. Okay. And a Robo. I think so robot. three gate Robo being added. The stalker uh, will. Well. Um, it will defend against this. Yeah, it should have. It was a bit of a miss micro there. Because otherwise yes. this uh, Reaper would die even before. And we see Breach attacking, look at this, pulling three SCVs and a Marauder with concussive shells uh, is complete. So right now Cheese King is in a dangerous spot. I mean his warp gate is only about to, com he is only about to complete. The gateways won't be in time for this push. And this is very dangerous for. Uh, yes, it is, Reaper and uh, the dangerous part is the Marauder. Yes, um, he will have three oh, gates though, and two bunkers immediately being pushed, pulled down, and Immortal being built uh, w right away. So this Nexus will possibly fall here. Yeah, but I guess he's going for a um, nice snipe. Look at that SCV, and I mean, Cheese King can't really do he anything here. The Nexus will fall, uh, one probe additional will fall, and he can't really push up that ramp because there's three sentries. But he can at least do some good denial. Oh, nice! The Marauder nice is position, right in, yeah. yeah, in the best position possible. And if he gets, oh, okay, no, he can't get the second Rex without being spotted. So that's a good thing for uh, Breach. No. Yeah, at least something. He's also making spin, spin, steam, steam. Yeah, steam pack. And when that hits, it's going to be crazy strong. Meanwhile, he has well, he has two immortals. He has four foot, and he's going yes. for it. Good oh, timing. Oh, and decides to timing. push. I no. think that uh, focuses down that. Has or not? Yeah, he doesn't have but any more the, the zealots, the zealots died immediately. Yeah. And oh, Still this is a bit of a mistake here. Uh, Bridge doesn't focus fire on that immortal, and this is actually a failed attack he from still Bridge. Still might lose the immortal, though. Or yeah, I mean, not really, though. Um, no, he won't lose it. But okay, he did kill the Nexus. But if you look at it from one way, he did lose a lot, and so basically they're uh, on a little bit of a same note. Yeah, on but he's following you up with the starport, which means he will go for some kind of a drop. Cheese King yes. just has to hold it. I uh, agree. But he's going for attack. And this is possibly going to be Banshee, um, which is also good here since Stalkers probably yeah, won't be made as much be, yeah. because of the Marauders, Stalkers aren't really as useful. And Breach sees there, I mean, Cheese King sees there's no expansion, just pulls back immediately, knowing that. Good choice, yeah. Yeah, that's the best thing he could do, just knowing that if he would uh, go up that ramp, he would be shredded by bunkers and Marines and Marauders. And that's the correct way to do it. Just send an observer, check out what's up. He's gonna yes. see the expand less 3rx111. And just in time for Mr. Turret to not be done, he just sees everything. He sees the army move out. He sees that there is no cloak in the making. Yes, yeah, so it will be. Will it be? Yes, there yes, will be. No, it will be. Okay. KDS reactor, starting energy of Medivex. Now, I'm guessing that she's, uh, Bridge does know what's up here that he saw and he'll cancel this, ma uh, he cancels immediately the KDS reactor and that's some mind play, mind play right there man. Yes it that's is, in fact it is, but he won't do any um, no, that chaos, does right? So no, 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 it just means he'll make he stalkers, he'll make stalkers. He'll start making stalkers instead of uh, zealots and sentries. We'll and see about that. that if he will doesn't, mean he will uh, get raped by the Banshee. If he does, he might get raped by the uh, Marauders. Marauders. But so he does have four. Um, and here's one Banshee. Immortals, so. Yeah. 
and right now Breach has an opening. Uh, all the army of Cheese King is right on his expansion and right now if Breach pushes up. Oh, he has steam also. Oh no, one, oh, one immortal immediately falls, another sentry falls, another immortal and this is not looking good for Cheese King. No, it's not um, great timing from uh, Breach, yeah. I'd say. He just managed to pull off uh, the whole army all out of position and another immortal falls, the pearl is being pulled and everything is being destroyed and this is looking really bad. Manor attack from uh, Bridge there, just going on that supply depot and look at this, oh Manor mule as well, now he might have overextended with that mule yeah. a little bit. I don't know, he's not expand, extend, expanded, you know what I mean? Yeah, only now completed his command center, but he did manage to kill the whole army of, of uh, Cheese King. So, possibly more probes will die here. And, I mean, Probably, yeah. yeah, 21 probes being killed, that put this, puts Breach in a really nice spot. Um, especially he's with... Up, yeah. He's up in workers. And with the another orbital coming yeah. down, uh, uh, he's in in a good position, I would say. And it's I think it's a good thing to s I mean it's a smart thing to say that if if um, you have an expansion, if you don't mind at least uh, with ten twenty drones from it, it's not really a useful expansion, is it now? <laughs> As we can see, Breach just started to mine his own expansion, and another push being called out here. Yeah, that's true. And in army supply and worker supply breaches ahead and I don't it's Cheese King will have hard time stopping this. To defend this, yes, I agree. And the breach has plus one weapons on uh, that bio ball and it's going to be a, di a difficult thing. Oh now a misplaced force field or a lack yes, of I would say. And he another he immortal falls and stop as well. Have a force field yeah, and able to stop this. I mean, I mean this is have force field the ramp, man. Yeah, this is over. There's no way Cheese King can come back from this. Just oh, look, he's even dancing the Marines. Good job, nice man. <laughs> and just leaves the game. Yeah, I mean, it's GG. over. Um, so in the end, Bridge takes the third place. Cheese King takes the fourth. Yeah, Bridge with a three-one win. I, I would say win. this was a juicy um, series. Yeah, this was a really juicy series, definitely. I won't call it cheesy. No, a juicy series. A really, really fun series to cast, to watch, to... I'm, I was really excited to see them. Um, so, I, I mean, congrats to both players, especially to Breach, uh, for winning. Um, so that does make him the third place a winner on the Connecting Slovenia Arena Season 1. Um, also, congratulations to Cheese King. Unfortunately, he is on the fourth place, but still, he will be able to participate in the next season as uh, invited to the Upper League. And we have already, I think we've said it. I don't know. But both players do get something from that. Bridge does get 20 euros, Cheese King does get 10 euros. Congrats. <laughs> And um, yeah, so that's it for right now. Yeah, uh, for the, the next um, thing, the only thing left uh, is the finals. We're yeah. waiting for Giant. To um, are we going to have a break or are we just going to yeah, We're going to have a break, um, at least three minutes. Mm -hmm. um, then I'll come back and um, I'll talk. Okay. I just have to refill my uh, drink. Yeah, uh, uh, me too. Okay, so I recommend you to put some music on. I'll mute my microphone and I'll be back in three to five minutes. Okay, so um, either way, I'm also going to be back uh, pretty soon and we'll start checking.
came with the same type game, the type of girl giving out the fake cell phone the name. Big fame, big she fame. like cats with big things. Jewel ship, money clip, phone flip, the six range. Has seen her on the ass, spotted her more than once. Ass so fat that you can see her from the front. She spot me like paparazzi. Shot me a glance in that cat woman stands with the fat booty pants. Hot damn, what's your name, love? Where you came from? Neck and wrist laced up, very little makeup. The swims at the Reebok gym, tone your frame up. A sugar and spice, the only thing that you made up. I tried to play a low key, but couldn't keep it down. Accident. She was like, yo, I'm leaving now An hour later, Sam's from Jamaica She sipping Chris straight up, skanking while in the waist up My fam throwing the jam, Farid is on the stand Big things is in the plan The brother Big Moon makes space for me to move ahead Yo, this my man most, baby, let me introduce I turn around, you was the same pretty bird Who I impliedly observed, trying to play me for the herd Shocked to sell, she couldn't get it together I just played along and pretended I never met her How you feeling? No, I'm fine, my name is Mo I'm, I'm Cherise, I heard so much good about you It's nice to finally meet He moved to the booth, preserve the crew Especially your honey love Ended up sitting directly next to me I'm tight for life, but now I'm looking at her skeptically His baby girl got all the right weaponry Designer fabric, shoes and accessories Chinky eyes, sweet voice, you want me mentally Be calm and say they made her laugh Yeah, you know me, bro Even though I know the steelo She wild sweet, yo I'm about to murk, I say peace to the family She hop up like, how you gonna leave before you dance? Dance with me, dance with me. She blew my whole head with that dude. I was just like, what? I played it low, though. I was like, yeah, all right, come on then, let's go. This is mad. This is so sick. I'm telling you, yo, honey was so blazing. She was what? Yo, she looked like Jane Kennedy, world war. To my mama, man. She was that L, man. She took me to the dance floor and she started whispering to me. Yo, let me apologize for the other night I know it wasn't right, but baby, you know what it's like Some brothers don't be coming right, I understand, I'm feeling you Beside, can I have a dance, ain't really that original We laughed about it, traced the arms across my shoulder blades They playing lovers rock, I got to fold the fingers on the waist He in my butt up like the Arizona summer song Finished and she whispered, honey, let's exchange numbers in three Weeks of dating, late night conversation In the crib, heart racing, trying to be cool and patient She touched on my eyelids, the room fell silent She walked away smiling, singing great Gregory Isaacs like If I don't, if I don't, if I don't Show me a tan line and a tattoo Playing Sade, sweet as taboo Burning candles, all my other plans got canceled Man, I'm smashing like an Idaho potato She call me at my jail, come now, I can't say no Jensen tree trunks, rocking a pee from cocking her knees up, champion lover, not ease up. Three months she call, I feel I'm running a fever. Six months I'm telling her I desperately need her. Nine months, blue light symptoms are shorty not around. I need more than to knock it down, I'm really trying to lock it down. Midnight we hook up and go at it. Burn a slogan, let her know, sweetheart, I got to have it. She telling me commitment is something she can't manage. Wake up the next morning, she gone like it was magic. Oh, damn it. This on Harrison Ford frantic. My number one's an answer. By my plot, Taurus and Chantress. Next week, who hit me up? I saw Sharice at the kitty club with some banging ass Asian playing. Lay it down and lick me up. What? Yo, can I you believe that shit, I, look? Look. Yeah, I was like, what? Oh, man. I was so sick. I was so sick, though.
Okay guys, we're back. I wanted to say that before, but I was muted, I guess. Hello guys. Hello. Yes, we have returned. Um, we have just received the map pool, or we have just got the first uh, first map, uh, yep. which will be played. It will be Antigua Shipyard. Um, and I think it's gonna be awesome ma match. Yeah, it's going to be a finals, guys, so um, I'd yeah. say the most exciting match. A lot of people saw both players in the finals before the tournament, but, you know, it's never um, a done deal. Yes, exactly. Tournament so, 
please uh, enjoy us while you watch us. So, but remember, never forget, this is the finals, guys. This is the finals of the season one um, Konesai Arena. Um, and this will decide who will get 50 euros or who will get 30 euros. Now, that's a little bit more than just 10 or 20 euros, like. Yep, that's true. Um, I'll agree with you. Um, that is a. Uh, well, better. Best payoff, but. Uh, I mean, I think good, it's quite. It's a good money for game, I would say. At least in yes. uh, this region, which. Um, well, yes. Not that uh, Balkan doesn't have great gamers, it has good gamers, but it's not as developed as in other parts like Germany or USA or. Let's not mention Korea, okay? <laughs> Let's just be quiet about Korea. I think uh, Korea stands for itself. Yep. Um, and we lost, I guess, Hungarian casters. Um, nonetheless, we are waiting for Starbuck. Uh, the Hungarian casters, unfortunately, will not be able to join us because um, ISIS has to go now and he cannot stream. Uh, uh, okay. At least not in uh, Hungary. Hungarian. Well, no problem then. I will remove him from the lobby. Um, so, I mean, I'm reading the chat in Convision uh, Twitch right now. Okay. And Just link them the yes, stream uh, to this one. Uh, have already done that. Uh, ISIS uh, has unfortunately said that he will have to go. Um, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's true. Anyhow, it's a best to say on finals. We're gonna have this stream anyways in English. Um, yes, it's the finals, guys. It's a giant from Bulgaria. It's a ZVZ, okay, but still a giant from Bulgaria and Starbuck from Slovenia. Okay, so both players. Yes, uh, both players. Have do, uh, oh, okay. So the giant uh, was is reconnecting, I would say. Yes, While and Starbuck, Starbuck was just on a, in yes. he went on the period back and he's back. Giant has uh, requested a um, second. Yeah, he's okay. Giant oh is yeah, back. Oh yeah, okay. Sorry, yeah. I didn't see the be right back. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Um, I guess we can wait for him since uh, we did wait for a little bit for Starbuck. So no yeah, problem. No problem. Anyhow, um, well, I'm not really surprised as of results yet. Um, I we'll thought that uh, Cheese King, well, Cheese King and Bridge was uh, closer than the results set. Yes, um, in I my agree. opinion. And in fact, the only game that Cheese King really thought that he was behind from the very start was uh, the game that he won. Yeah, not only that, he played really well. I mean, he literally outplayed his four fields were perfect. But on the other hand, Bridge showed uh, what experience may mean, and yeah. he used his his um, experience already in both group stages and did it again. Exactly. And I don't know. I look forward to both players. Um, I like both uh, styles. Bridge is so <laughs> let's say juicy and smart, while Cheese King is also innov in innovative. Uh, he's also young, and I would like to see both players. Um, Advance or, or at least play um, the game competitively in um, HOT. Yes, I agree with you and I hope to see everyone play the game competitively. <laughs> um, so right now we are just waiting for uh, Giant to return. Uh, you have a connection with Giant? Um, if I have connection, well, um, I have to is is he online yet? No. No. Oh, okay. He's so we'll right. So we'll wait a little bit uh, longer here. Um. So, what can we expect here? It is Antigua Shipyard. Yeah, it is ZBZ. ZBZ, man. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. ZBZ. Ask me. Um. I, the guys met each other on the. Um, on ladder, I yeah, think, but ladder. Guess, but you know what ladder is? It's not. Yeah, like, it's so not. Uh, we won't say anything uh, out of it. Yeah. Um. Just to say, ZVZ is a volatile matchup. Anything can happen. 
everything is possible. Uh, so it's hard to say who might win, who might lose. Um, now, uh, the both both players are pretty much uh, even, um, um, and we'll see what happens in the match itself. Um, unfortunately, um, Bridge hasn't come back yet. Uh, I mean, giant. Oh, ah, uh, uh, God damn it! Yeah, giant yep. hasn't joined yet. He's also offline on Skype. Maybe he's just rebooting everything. Uh, he might lose his internet connection. Well, but he did say uh, we're right back, so we're gonna wait a few more moments. I guess I'm gonna put some light music in the background. But yes, we can still talk. Um, so we'll see uh, how it goes. Yeah, Giant is still AFK, or is it, uh, not here? Is that he's not even, uh, Okay, he's back. Yeah, he's just he. I guess. He had to restart, like I said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem. So, the last matchup um, of tonight is going to be ZVZ, something that we've seen a lot of lately. Um, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere, from GSL <laughs> to Arena. And, well, not just that, if you remember uh, Cursed in yes. Zagreb. Also, ago. also it was Starbucks versus Protax, so well, ZVZ in the final. So yeah, I don't know, man. It's yeah, it's gonna. Away, I guess. It's gonna be close, I guess. Yeah, that's the other thing that I wish it's going to be close, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be because uh, both players are yet to be beaten. Both players now lost. I agree. A map, though. I definitely agree. So this means that. Um, what happens when you have two best players of the tournament play each other? Uh, usually, great. Uh, you, you, usually a nuclear explosion, something like that. Something in the in the um, in the traits of uh, a black hole. Let's say a black hole. A uh, the sun explodes. We have a supernova. Maybe that happens. I don't know. Or with some bailings explode, and we have a supernova in one man in one player's head, and in another it's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's uh, different. It's all different, but it was, you know, um, we'll see how it uh, spans out. It's okay. So giant has returned. Yeah, giant is back, and he's in the lobby. So is Starbuck. Good luck, have fun. And to both go. players, yeah. And okay, the game is about to begin. Yeah, we're gonna just yeah the countdown, and this is the finals, guys. This is the first match of it, the man. best of seven finals. You could just stream the first ever match and the last ever match, and this will be it, guys. You're seeing yes. the very Three. last thing of the tournament. Okay, so. What is well, this? Waiting for players. Uh, I don't know. I have never seen this screen before. Me neither, I'm but I hope this is not. Uh, scared. I'm some, so scared. Uh, <laughs> some stupid uh, map like we had on the first. Um, but we played this map before, so it shouldn't be. Now, why does it say that? I have no idea. Uh, apparently, we're waiting for every player. For me, your, you, Giant, and Starbucks. Now, huh. yeah, this is weird. I'm gonna show you the screen. So, okay, yeah, waiting for players. It's like me zero, Starbucks zero, Overseer at zero, and Giant zero. And I don't know why. Um, yeah, this is weird. This is this weird. is very weird. Okay, so, um, I guess is it even loading for you? No, I'm not loading it. Yeah, me neither. So, um a little well, bit of an awkward moment, I guess. I don't know what's up with. Uh, I think uh, it should. Yes, yeah, start of two lag, and I think that um, we will have to wait either that uh, Starcraft sets itself up. So basically, we'll all just get disconnected, or we'll just have to force restart uh, this. You think so? I'm most certain in this. I I think we should wait for at least a minute or so. Because usually it takes like a couple of minutes before StarCraft can uh, get back to uh, to its former self, but 
you know, you never know. Um, okay, so now we're just waiting. Okay, giant, it says giant is no longer being waited on. It just says a new on Starbucks and me. Hmm. Uh, yeah, well I one, sorry, go ahead. No problem. I, but I think we should just force. Okay, so we're just waiting for me and overseer, or and for you now. Which I is guess pretty weird. Uh, I guess we should just restart and just. I mean, think so I'm the only. Yeah, I, I oh my Starcraft just crashed. Okay, so I'm restarting now. Um, the weird thing is that Giant is also offline. You crashed. Yeah. Yeah, my StarCraft crashed. I just crashed my StarCraft, so... Unfortunately, didn't want to do that, but it happened. So, re rebooting already. Okay, logging yep. in. So, uh, the same thing happened to me, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately. So, this means StarCraft is bugged, guys. Ever since the new patch, actually, it's been quite buggy and laggy, actually. Um, which nobody likes, and I agree with everybody on that. Yeah. Um, this wow. was a uh, weird uh, stuff. Yeah, we apologize for technical difficulties. Unfortunately, it's hard to do anything about this, and really, what can we do? Um, okay, I'm back in I the game. I don't want to play the MLG. Can I do the ESL so ESL yeah. so tournament? Uh, like yes, I I think you you can. I mean, ESL is also a tournament which is quite known. So yeah, it's an online it tournament like ours, so... Uh, I agree. I guess... Okay, so we're back. Uh, it's not that of a big deal. Anyhow, let's hope that uh, this time is going to be... Okay, so we're all back. Um, Um, okay, just put referee on both of us, so in case we have to write something. Okay. So, so. a lot of uh, requests from players all around tonight, and a lot of games also. Anyhow, we we'll get. Uh, down to earth right in the moment this time it's, uh, <laughs> it's okay it's also a better screen i think the screen is quite awesome yeah. i agree let's look at it together I, unfortunately i i we don't have this um this um sponsors unfortunately but i think it's okay yep so okay anyhow this is the finals finally the finals of the final um, event <laughs> of the first finals of the finals of the season one finals yep, I something guess. like that <laughs> and again in green color and a top a bottom right position we have a bulgarian zerk giant and his counterpart also a zerk coming from slovenia uh, both players of top grandmasters i would say at the moment out of active players that is and Slovenian Zerg Starbuck. Yeah, congrats, congrats. Congrats, yeah, both players are in the finals, so that means yeah. they both already earned some money here. Yep. And um, I just want to say this game looks pretty standard. Yeah, no early pulls or anything, at least for now. And I just want to say a little bit about Starbucks' name, because I watched. Uh, like a year ago or something, I watched Battlestar Galactica. I don't know if anyone knows it. Perhaps you know it. I don't know. Um, and there was a girl or a pilot. It's a sci-fi uh, season where she was called. Her call sign was Starbucks. So I'm really thinking that he cho chose this uh, nickname because of her, because she's really hot. <laughs> okay. Or at least well, think his she nickname was, was um, Aku before. Uh, yeah, and before, s yeah. But anyhow, um, Aku or Starbuck, uh, like, call it like, uh, call him like you want, um, went for a hedge first. And exactly. extractor then, while uh, the giant went for a spawning pool yeah. before now, expanding. With this extractor, he'll have a faster speed, uh, but not the f not really, really faster, like, 
20 seconds, okay, like something like that. Uh, although Giant still hasn't taken his extractor, so that means he'll have a really faster speed now. Yeah, um, Giant sees the gas, he sees yeah. how much gas is mine. So he immediately, knows coming. he should immediately pick, uh, cho take his own uh, extractor, start mining gas, as we see. Um, now, there's already 60 gas mined, that means the speed will be really, really fast here. And Giant probably should just, uh, because he's so late on his, he will be so late on his speed, he should just skip this, uh, the metabolic boost and just go for Bailing Nest immediately. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how this plays out. Starbuck is, like you said, still leaving this um, don't in the cast. His expansion is up for Giants. Yeah, and Starbuck might actually take a Baning Nest as well here. Now, he is producing drones and double queens, but he has like seven larva. Oh, okay, he wastes them. Okay, he chose to build uh, drones here. So it's okay. Um, so now, still no links, both players. Seems like yeah. they know what they are doing and what their opponent is doing as well. Now, um, Starbuck is still mining gas, actually. Um, yep, that's something that... And Giant did not sk uh, skip the speed first and goes directly for the speed. Now, this is he, good for him. Giant is also mining gas, which yeah, means yeah. That both players are looking into. <laughs> Look at this. What's that like? A ultra fast layer? Is it? Um, not really? It's not a really ultra 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 fast layer, but um, right now I'm thinking he's gonna wanna he wanna goes for like mutilisk or something. Um, but um, okay, so we are baning nest. Okay. And a spine crawl coming from Giant. And then he yeah. lands from Starbuck as well. Yeah, so um, it's a pretty even matchup. I just wanted to say about Giant that basically because he didn't skip speed, it was good for him because um, Starbuck didn't go for any Zerglings at all. So he still made he only made two or three Zerglings. Um, so Starbuck takes uh, three gases. Um, yeah, usually he, he does scout <coughs> everything yeah. though. Exactly, and now if if he wanted to go like spire play, um, he should have taken uh, the fourth gas, and he still goes spire. Now this is interesting. With three gas spire, okay. Now the fourth gas. It's a little bit later, but it's okay. So roach worm from giant though. Um, yeah. Usually you have to choose your tech um, um, when you start your lair. Uh, you want to choose your tech as oh, fast. What was that? It was a cancel on Roach Warren the Giant. So, so we already have a mind play coming from yeah Starbuck. from Starbuck, and now Giant is playing pretty standard ZVZ. Uh, you have two pad direct, two tech directions. You can either go for the Roach Warren and plus one the missile attack, and then later on you can follow it up with the. Uh, Hydrolisk Roach composition, or we can go into Roach Infester composition. And a faster uh, from Starbuck. Yes, and with the f with, uh, you take the faster as soon. I mean, usually when you have Mutalisk, you have map control, and with map control, you can basically true, yeah. do whatever you want and, and Roach easily. Just can't hit air. They can yeah. tank Mutalisk. Yeah, for like they can tank three quite hours well. Though, but yeah, the thing is that. Um, Starbuck uh, will have great map control and with his Zerglings, he, Starbuck will most likely follow up this up with uh, uh, Ultralisk since... Oh, a waste oh. of Bailing on... Yes, exactly, on one... To be one. that uh, yeah. injured uh, Link, yeah. Yeah, now we see a massive amounts of Zerglings around the map, but... Uh, oh, not that not good the of best, a not the best. Yeah, bailing bombs, and exactly. we see giant. Oh, losing a lot of links, and this is good for Starbuck. Yeah, he'll get Mutas will clean out yeah, this mess. Exactly, they and clean also a lot of uh, overlords, though. Yes, and Starbuck oh, will still, yeah, great losing. bailings from giant. Yeah, just killing like what ten links or eight links and we s see sport crawlers already completing here so the mutas will yep, run good reaction, away good reaction from a giant and 
we're seeing two pretty even players play, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, like I've said, Hydrolisk is the follow-up for Giant. Also, Infestors are good uh, against Mutalisk, but since the range decrease, it's a little bit harder to catch them. Now, we see from Starbuck he's going as well for Roach and plus one missile attack. This is also a good follow-up if you don't uh, do... if you don't want to finish um, right where... I mean, with Mutalisk and Zerglings only, so... Yeah, I mean, he's one map... Uh, on base up, I guess he's feeling comfortable. We exactly. see what Hydras, Hydras and um, Infestors. Um, now, thing is do, that Giant did not research pathogen, pathogen glands. That means any Infestor that comes out doesn't have additional um, energy. And right now, Starbuck did see the Hydralis. He managed to snipe one of the Queens, which is quite good. Yeah, and there was a mini drop, well, four bailings. Yes, to the giants and, no and troll, but not actually killing, killing no no drone was killed here but because they are only damaged. <laughs> yeah, but uh, well, he did kill a few. I mean, maybe he, five, oh. four, but okay. it, it's like four bailings for four workers. You know, it's yeah. not worth it. So. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah. Now we see giant pushing to the middle, and yeah. he has quite a strong army with him faster. Yeah, so he does. Starbuck will have to be really careful here. Yeah, this um, is a quite key engagement in Festor. So oh, and one in Festor might get sniped. Oh, nice fungal hitting all almost all the roaches right there. Yeah, um, but Giant is not put. Or yes, is he? I guess no. he is. Giant has to be also careful because the Hydras are very fragile Next against those. Thing, and Hydras are known to be. Uh, well, it, he's known to use Hydras yeah. actually. Oh, he forced a nice bailing bomb and oh no, all the hydras. Oh, nice. Oh, now this is um, di difficult to say, but this is good for giant. He has the hydras that kill the mutalisk. He is also yeah, killing the roaches. Yeah, I and but maybe the, he will get overpowered by the roaches of Starbucks since he doesn't have this, uh, the fastest um, yeah. um, uh, reinforcement. Uh, exactly, and not just that, he's one base down. Yes, and Compared that is also Starbuck, true. Man. And he's losing investors, which are also vital when you're one base down like this. That's true. What's with the upgrades? They are even. Oh but my God! Giant also skipped on uh, Hydralisk range. That's not good. <laughs> That's yeah. never good. Yeah, he went for a fast. But you know, uh, I think the Starbuck GG. just yeah, Starbuck yeah. just outpowered yeah. him this game. I mean, uh, Giant waited too long. If he wanted to kill that third, he would have had to push. Um, wh while he pushed, he would have to take his third and just try to kill the uh, Mutalisk and then just fall back and defend uh, the definitely incoming uh, Roach push, Roach kind of push. Yeah. So, yeah, fast win for Starbuck. Yeah, I have to say, but you know, it's a ZVZ. Yeah, game. so. Everything's possible, like exactly. we've seen. But okay, so um, Starbuck taking the first map, I think that's uh, quite um, good. Good, good. It's good to take uh, initiative, I would say. Yeah, uh, usually w players who have the who take the first map are really self-confident and um, pr usually S prove to be better in later on matches. So we'll see how it goes for Starbuck. Okay, so next map will be Cloud Kingdom. Um, yep. This was a Giant's choice. Uh, um, so, well, let's see what we'll see here. Um, I'm, I'm, ex I'm expecting a little bit of a cheesy play from Starbuck. No. He's been known to play a little bit juicy, cheesy. Juicy. Juicy. Well, anyhow, I would say that. I would say that, um, like you said, yeah, even that faster layer. I mean, I don't know, was it was it was that a normal decision um, to make that no fast layer or not, or was he rushing for uh, mutant? He, that was that was a rush for the layer. That was definitely a rush. He, I mean, usually when you go for Vitalisk, I mean, you want to have that layer started up like at six six thirty something like that and. He started that at like five, uh, five thirty something like that. So it is definitely a faster layer um, than usual. Um, yep. I have to agree. Well, 
Uh, you have you agreed with me, so I agree with yeah. you. Anyways, <laughs> please, uh, you can introduce the Zerx as you are one. The Zerx yourself. Um, okay. Do the honors. <laughs> so, in the bottom left corner, in the blue colors, we have our Bulgarian Zerg Green. giant. Uh, di what did I say? Did I say blue? Ah, okay. No green color. It's giant, yeah. it's Zerg, it's green. Exactly. And in the top right corner, we have our Slovenian Zerg in the blue colors. It is Starbuck. Currently so, 1 0. Yep. And it's going to be in 9 pool and also in 9 pool from Giant. So interesting. You know, this is something interesting. This is, this is pure mirror match. Pure mirror. Yeah. And this nine pool. Loader, yeah. yeah. And both go for the extractor trick. Uh, or no, look at this. Are Wait. they? Mm. Yeah, both are going okay, for Okay, yeah, both go. Extractor. Yeah, double extractor. Okay. I, I was a little bit worried because one extractor is building a little bit more than the. Uh, before I saw the second one, I was just like, whoa, what? Yeah, what was that? I wasn't sure either, but anyhow, we have a fast. Fast pool. Yeah, so this game will be fast and it will all come down to micro. Now, hopefully, um, if Starbuck or uh, Giant wants to finish this really fast, they'll pull their drones with them. Um, so you think it's going to be like a, not just a early harass but like an all in? Um, well, it depends on how much uh, zerglings they make. Now we see eight zerglings being. There are two additional being made and six already out, so... Yeah, both players are playing, like, identically. Yes. Now, Giant might go... No, Giant makes an Overlord. Okay, Starbuck is a little bit late on that Overlord. Yeah, but uh, Starbuck did take the gas. Yes, and he wants the speed, um, basically, or the Banelings. Perhaps the Banelings more than the speed, since uh, it would take a lot li uh, longer for speed. Both players should know what's happening. They should know that uh, they're facing a mirror build. But yeah. I think that at the moment, Starbuck could uh, use that window of opportunity that will present with speed. Um, it's the que it's question. It's a question. Um, it's a question if he will go for speed yeah. because only with two with two drones in uh, gas, exactly. he goes for the expand. And I'm thinking he'll go for bailings because he yeah. wants to defend expansion. I wasn't really um, paying attention how many workers were there, so it was a blind bluff. And you're right. I would say that uh, he's going for defensive bailings. Um, no. Speed is good, of course, you need it in ZVZ, but oh, here goes the bailings, and yep. I just want to say that speed, is, it takes too long to be completed to do any great defense. Speed is more an offensive uh, uh, thing than uh, defensive, so... Yeah, you're both, right. Both players taking their expansion, uh, giant com going for the speed actually here, because three workers there, usually three workers means you want to guess as fast as possible. And now only one worker for Starbucks, so that means he at least. Well, he's having three now, though. Yeah, now pulled all but in. A faster, way faster expand from uh, Starbucks. Who yes. Is behind in workers, but not that much, and that won't matter anytime soon. I and. Think, I don't know, man. Yes, and I'm saying speed for. Yes, no? Wait, oh, I'm, yeah, speed for uh, giant uh, without banning banning nest. So that does mean that he has the better map control, but also Starbuck is having his speed on the way. So that also means that he will counter that. <laughs> yep, and well, the speed is pretty much uh, same. There will be a few seconds of difference, but uh, the difference is the spine wars. I mean, the Giant put uh, some minerals into the spine crawl, but he doesn't have a bane link nest, like you said. And but we'll see how players. Oh, two bane links! Oh, look at this! Two bane links rolling into Giant's main, and they might get a well nice split. Nice no, this is a great split on those. Uh, oh no! Yeah, um, didn't kill a single drone of the red, yeah, yeah, wasted race. wasted bane links and <laughs> an excellent split there from Giant. Excellent speed, yeah. Um, and well, he. 
I mean, Starbuck did take a few hit points of the unbuildable rocks, though. Yes. Okay, <laughs> That's so a lair from Giant. No. Starbuck. A lair and Roach War and, and double Evo. So that does mean. Oh, look at how many Zerglings in production for Starbuck. So there's will be a bailing, ba bailing uh, incoming, bailing, bailing bust incoming, and this is going to be a pretty all inish not completely situation here. Now he did pull down his own Roach Warren, but still okay, it's going he to be he, he saw what's going on. He saw that uh, he's a, a wall in, yeah, yeah exactly. complete wall off. I guess he's going back though. Yeah, I think that's a smart decision to scout before you actually commit this. Um, and he cancelled a few of uh, bailings, he just let complete two or maybe that they completed. Yeah. And Starbuck does go for his third, which is also a smart decision because usually when your opponent is going uh, for such a uh, wall-in uh, defensive build which just really, really just cave in, you can easily take your third and map control. Yep, and a later hatch, layer from Starbuck, but yeah. a faster third. Quite a later layer, but... Uh, but does Starbuck have a revolution chamber? I just can't see uh, it. Right okay. behind, okay, I see. yeah. Um, so I'm thinking that Starbuck wants to do some kind of a plus two roach push because with the third being taken, he'll have a big production, a lot of everything. Yeah, actually, he will snipe nice. Off a roach, yeah. yeah, I think that's beautiful. important in this stage of the game. Yeah, I mean, any early roach, any early furry roach you can get is really nice. Um, and Giant goes for the scout. I guess he will see everything. Yes, um, and. Right now there are seven roaches in production for Starbuck and ten roaches additional for Giant. He sees the lair, so... Yeah. Um, I don't know, no. man. The thing for Giant will be that he'll have plus one carapace before yep, Starbuck has exactly. been started. So he'll have that advantage, advantage, but if he doesn't take down the third base, it's not going to be good. And we see Starbuck already producing roaches. Yep, and not just that, we're seeing... Going for a flank, yeah. glances. Yeah, um, for Giant we see a pathogen glance, which is a good decision, so that he will have later on a, yeah, a roach infested. Again with the infestors that uh, he seemed to really like. Yeah, and we see right now that they are even on upgrades, but three, four, five uh, seconds there is now. There's a rumbi of links to the main yeah, giant. Yeah, great rumbi. But we see plus one carapace completed right now for Giant, who, so he can take quite an engagement here. Although uh, Starbuck did uh, manage to reinforce his lines. Yep. I would say that uh, Giant is army wise and worker wise a bit in front, but Starbuck has it covered with additional hatch, so all in all, if giants can, giant can't beat or double expand in a few moments or at least expand yeah. and hold, I think um, Starbucks giant, be giant. Sh why doesn't giant good. expand? I have no idea. Okay, only now it's a really late expansion and he's behind. He's definitely behind. The good thing for him going is that uh, Starbucks hasn't started to mine his uh, third base, but Starbucks has so many more roaches than him. Um, giant has to be careful. Giant has to be really careful right now. Um, there's like 10 more roaches for Starbuck out and there's no way he can really push that third. Um, we see a macro hatch for Giant being put down. It's a good thing since he is floating quite a lot of minerals actually. Um, both yeah, players are... But sorry, uh, Starbuck yeah, no. is adding uh, the last remaining gases except for the sixth one but uh, yes. his infestation pit is only on the way while yeah. uh, his opponent is already stacking infestors right? yes, he's going exactly. to have five and that's a good thing for giant that does mean that um, basically uh, Starbucks infestors will be a lot later than giants but if giant doesn't go for an attack that won't really matter exactly I think um, um, he has to move out slowly, or I don't know, man. He has to uh, do get some the infestor count. No, giant can easily. I mean, he has his third base now. He, if he can manage to get it up and running to defend, to defend it against uh, possible 
attacks from Starbuck, it will be good. Um, both players have recently good injects. Uh, Giants a little bit missing on the main queen, but uh, sniper uh, squad of uh, yeah roaches, roaches incoming. Yeah, now that infestors wasn't really, I mean, inf um, that fungal wasn't the best really no, on three rows. No, it was not, but he has a lot of infestors. Yeah. He showed them though, so Starbuck knows that his opponent met for fast uh, infestors and Starbuck did deny the creep nicely. Um, usually, yeah, but, but usually you don't want to really creep thread in ZVZ since yeah, that means that your opponent, story, yeah. opponent will uh, come faster. I'd say faster. it's a double uh, edged sword. You can yeah. also defend faster, yeah. you know what I mean? Or so attack faster, yeah. Exactly. But it, it depends. It Maybe for yeah. a player like Starbuck, um, Giant is known to be n not the fastest e EMP wise player. Yeah. Um, so maybe the faster fighting scene like Root Threat could go yeah. in favor of faster players like Starbuck, but I don't think that it's a such no. big of a deal. I totally missed Hydralis then. Um, from now Giant. Hydra's yeah from I mean Giant. It's just a standard now. We don't even have to call a Hydra list then from Yeah, Giant. he usually goes for exactly. It. We have yeah. to call it when there is no Hydra list then. Yeah. yeah. Now the thing is that Starbucks fort is already complete when Giants has only begun. So he's again yeah. be, uh, behind in that. But yeah, if, if we can at see the at the upgrades man. now, look at the upgrades. Just look at the upgrades. Two two for Giant going to be complete quite soon. Hive going to be complete. Um, in uh, 70 yeah. seconds, and That's Giant true. is going to go for the push. He's going to max out right now and go yeah. just for the push. Starbuck is a bit behind. He's making a lot of uh, sp spine crawlers, though. I mean, he's behind in I don't know army, yeah, and tech. Yeah, army supply and tech and upgrades, upgrades as well. He has only plus one care base in the making, while uh, Giant has a similar timing for both players from for Spire at least. Yeah, so both guys are looking for going into the greater spire, but right now Giant has to make something do. He could at least try and, I mean, there's a lot of spine crawls, so yeah. it's really hard to say we if were, he could break we're this. We are talking about the infestors, right? Giant had more, but yeah. Starbuck has doubled the number of Yeah, Giants Starbuck has just so moment. many infestors. Yes, and those Hydras have high DPS, so I guess it will come down to fungus against Hydras at the moment. Yeah, the thing is that um, engagement. Giant will have to be really careful with those Hydras. As soon as they clump up, it's going to be GG, I mean. Yeah, that's true. He will have to split nicely. Yeah. He's checking the front line with those roaches. He sees that there are spines everywhere. Yeah, and this is a really hardcore macro game, and we s I mean, Giant is missing on a lot of injects here in the main. Also, Starbuck is missing on the main. Um, but uh, I mean, usually, I mean, injects are the main thing that uh, usually um, give you the win in G ZVZ. So those are really important. Um, what else? What else do can we see? I mean, both are making corruptors. Both are making great respires. So this is basically <laughs> late game ZVZ. A small mini engagement on the left side of the map, though. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Enough, Starbuck is having a uh, few roaches here burrowed. He's going to take uh, another base. Yes. While not taking the fifth. Um. I mean, he's taking the other fifth. People don't like to use this base, I guess. Yeah, and this is actually a really open base. Also, this top is open, but usually it's a uh, longer. Chokes, yeah. yeah, a longer a way to it. Yeah. Also. Also, you can have a better, um, better view over what yeah, exactly. comes. Yeah, exactly. And you can there. like make a better engagement for yourself, I guess. Exactly, I agree completely. Uh, okay, so we see. Giant playing with the same mentality, but Starbuck scouting while Giant has no idea. Yeah. I think the Starbuck is on at the moment on it. Um, Starbuck, uh, it's uh, hard to say who uh, has an advantage yeah, that's now. That's true, though. I mean, I just want to say. That Giant was a bit behind in uh, expand, but who knows? Yeah. I mean, expands are not I mean, everything. Both players are going to deny each Ooh, other's expand. Yo, this nice was a, yeah, yes. This was not a deny. I mean, uh, this was snipe. A, yeah, it was a nice. It was a snipe. Yeah, there was no, how do you call it? Um, cancel. Denial. <laughs> no, no cancel. Yeah. The thing is that both it will both come. It will come down to Broodlord numbers, and. Usually, 
the the man with the most investors will win. So we'll see how that goes for. Uh, yeah, and at the moment, John. Giants having four Broodlords already. While uh, Starbucks just got five. No, both players are tied at five. Both players yeah. are adding. Uh, Three more Broodlords for uh, Starbuck coming out. Yeah, and <laughs> I think another Spire for upgrades. Yeah, and this is pretty fun. From 9 pool you go into super really late, game, super, yeah. super late game ZVC. Now this is something that's not really usual. And we see a lot of injects actually for Giant being missed. I'm actually wondering if he even has his hatchery... Uh, okay, he has his macro hatch... Uh, um, queued up. Okay, and there is a small push coming from no. the right side for Giant. He's Giant down has in supply. Three, three. The thing is, Giant has 3-3, three, three, but down in supply, he probably wasted a couple of it so he can make more Broodlords, more Corruptors. Probably, yeah, made some um, um, spank or spank uh, Yeah, well. exactly. Um, his composition is not that bad, though. Um, yeah, the Hydras are actually really good if you don't get them fungled to that. Yeah, exactly. So, it's all going to come down to those uh, those fungals now. <laughs> this game, not this game. I'm just like okay. There's so a lo there are a bunch of roaches stacking, going for the greater spire. Yeah, yeah, actually, this is a great job for Starbuck. Just making this. Uh, oh. oh God! If the greater spire falls, this will be Starbucks opening and nice burrow micro here. And Giant can really now utilize those transfuses with. Uh, with while he forgot to um, to inject exactly, so it did came um, came in handy in the end. I yeah, guess. and we see Starbuck pushing down Another here. Another roach pack. Oh, sniping an infester would be a great job. No, he did. Yeah, not. the thing is that Starbuck doesn't really give uh, three, three craps about these roaches. Exactly. He's just waiting them for They're supply. Yeah, trading, uh, trying to kill something or just scout as much as yeah. possible. There are 24, no, there are how, 3, 6, 9, 11, 12. There are 14 Broodlords out and additional Corruptors, so. I mean, this Burrow game, man, this is even worse than TBT chess play. Yep. This is like, I okay, a few units burrowed here, a few units burrowed there. Yeah. I mean, s what's, uh, what the Giant should do is just waste these Roaches, or at least a couple of Roaches. Or uh, at least go attack Starbucks uh, upper base. I mean. Yeah, Starbucks is being very active with uh, those rumbys. Yeah. We'll see if Giant can. Whoa! What will happen now? And yeah, ooh, look good, at this. Good fungal on the corruptors, though. Yeah, great fungal actually. But you need a little bit more fungals than just one. Now it will all come down to fungals, corruptors, and blue So roaches being sacrificed and yeah, that's the now best thing. Being fighting each other. Yeah, this is now Broodling versus Broodling. And now the maybe Broodling is and Infested Terrans against Broodling and Infested Terrans. It's like energy and... Yeah, uh, free, free units. Free units against <laughs> energy and free <laughs> units. Yeah, look at this. So, um, this game is really weird. I mean, we're not... I mean, it's really I mean, like... Yeah, it's weird. Nothing much like to say about it. If you don't it. like ZVZ, it's a typical yeah. macro ZVZ game, maybe, I guess. I mean... Giant usually is sniping a bit of things though yeah usually when you go when a zvz macro game happens it's a, a roach hydra infester versus roach hydra roach infester yeah so okay those corruptors might be able to one shot yeah, no. stuff it will all come down to giants oh no giant will lose all those corruptors if you want yeah all the corruptors will fall for giant and look at how many infested terran and Man, this is just i don't even know who <laughs> Wow, this is just like crazy. And we see transfuses coming down. Great fungals on the corruptors of giant. Now in uh, Broodlords are actually quite being damaged a lot yes, for and this is giant's moment to shine and he's qu he has quite a lot of Broodlords still left and Hydra's doing the great damage here. Corruptors of Starbuck are killing all the corruptors yeah. of giant and Well those infested talents that Starbuck spawned also yeah. died instantly. Yeah. Now it is. fuses are saving Starbuck, I would say. Exactly, and uh, Giant has to be really careful with his own Broodlords. He's losing quite a lot of them. He lost like four or five. And right now, fungals on everything down there. And here comes the additional Hydra support for Starbuck. And I think this is going to be. Man, I thought. Yeah, win. This is a win. Like 
Yeah, this is a win for Starbucks. I mean, Giant has has no more resources. Starbucks is just overpowered him, done enough damage, and right now he just mustn't yeah, but lose. Yeah, Starbucks is losing a lot of Brutalot. He only has five left in the yes, action. Yes, I agree that to that, and he but has to both be careful. Have five broodlords at the moment um, but the thing is that giant has defensive position which means that those pine crawlers are really on his side but nice yes. life of broodlords uh, exactly get even one though if the giant would get a broodlord or two those with low health yeah and right yeah, now one broodlord that, falls yeah, he has and the second that. one great job here that's for good, giant that's a good now, uh, this is how you come back and look at how many investors are ready to throw those infested yeah, terran eggs I don't know who's is who, man. I no, have no idea. It's hard to say. There, like, Starbuck is really making a lot of oh, nice Ooh, fungal on really the corruptors. Nice now the thing here is, if you over make corruptors, you're f, f u a c k a d. I think it's fucked. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, um, Starbuck went back and uh, giant yeah. sniped the top left base yeah, of that's Starbuck. That's a good, good job for the uh, giant now. Starbuck did take his natural fifth base yeah. on the right uh, side the of the map. Has a oh, a large li ring, uh, ling run by ring. Yeah. What did they say? Link. Oh, what is this? He's going for a greater spot. Oh yeah, now this is the best choice for Giant actually. And the thing Starbuck. here is, he's going to get it uh, for uh, uh, Starbuck. Yeah. No, oh my God! Oh that. my God! No, 44 HP. And look at this, Giant has just managed to deny Starbucks uh, mining on the fourth base and this is actually looking to be Giant's game to lose. Yeah, I have to agree man, he also destroying uh, Espan Geysers and... Yeah, so and... I think that Starbucks was really really active throughout the whole game. Yeah, I mean, he had the Starbuck initiative, the but advantage. Giant knows to how to play uh, defense as attack, I think he's a smart defensive minded player yeah. but now, he knows the composition and he knows the game the thing right now what will happen is if giant managed to get to get a snipe off on starbucks fourth it will be really hard for starbucks to return back in the game i mean he has still has a big army but if he ma doesn't manage to break this large composition i mean this fort which is really fortified uh, of giant it's not going to be good so Ooh. Greater Spire healed fully, but yeah, look uh, at another this. end game composition this. from Starbuck. Starbuck going for the uh, sixth base, or actually this one. The, the Ooh, a good fungal. The fifth base. Oh, yeah. look nice fungal. Starbucks. And look at Giant just fungling everything there. Oh my you god. Starbuck? Yeah, Starbuck and Giant fungling yeah. reversely. It's oh my god, bad. look at how many infested Terrans. Oh god damn. What the so yeah, many okay. links, so, so many rude lords, so right many now rude giant links. has the biggest advantage because he killed all the infest uh, corruptors and basically is now killing brood lords and yeah i have to say that in the end somehow or not really though not yet not giant yet. managed to get giant the is in a great position i would say yeah i and mean that's giant because he fought well in defense yes and giant has 3-3 three, three building while starbuck has only uh, three, two. 3 2. Yes, so basically, Starbuck does have that armor before Giant, but. Yeah, but they're pretty much even still. I mean, there's a yeah. supply lead for uh, Starbuck, but um, it's a not a big slit. Yeah, the thing is that basically, Starbuck will now start sieging. St um, Giant will star uh, start sieging st Starbuck's fifth, and if he loses that fifth, he loses his one of his only mining, best mining bases. And right now we see a big run by on the Greater Spire and Giant counters it with his own links. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, but Starbuck is going for it, man. He just... Yeah, and right now a lot of investors are being exposed, only Hydras to protect them. And I mean, this is a really weird yeah, game. I mean, who is protecting who here? There's no one to tank there. Yeah. Is support DPS and support command uh, card control. So yeah. I don't so know. It, this see. game is really really weird. It's really spanning out. Um, yeah, no players will give yes. up, of course. But I think Giant is in good position now. He's down in workers. Yeah. But and Giant that doesn't mean that much at this moment. He's up in army, which is something uh, more important, I would say. 
the he thing that will come right? the thing that will come to the most uh, effective is investors okay then starbuck has a lead of five investors however um, yes giant has five more broodlords so yes so we'll it will be what about all corruptors corruptors even. are in favor of even Pretty are you joking even, maybe they have yeah. 15 they are adding more so yeah it will okay, all come yeah. down to giant fungals has, giant has 24 now yeah I think so he's in good position now this is a really weird game i i can't say enough how weird this is um, and this time starbuck is going to be on the defense there are spike yeah. wars that will help him but there aren't as many spike wars as giant exactly has, and without that many spike wars he can't tank for long enough to get a really nice army up and we also see a big deep oh look at this now this is going to be great for giant starbuck is engaging in everything look at how many infested terrans there are and this is actually now this is this is going to be over for this starbuck is like, this is like diablo man yeah almost so much blood nothing you can uh, make out of it yes a and lot of, uh, yeah, look at this uh, flanking Starbuck corruptors. going for the snipe on those broodlords and just can't do enough damage. Now, there's a lot of damage coming out from all the corruptors, but I mean, this is going to be GG soon. I mean, Starbuck is look at the supply for Starbuck 52 supply, and this is over. Yeah, he's sniping the broodlords. GG. GG. Oh, oh. What is this? Manor GG just disconnects. <laughs> well, we're waiting for Starbucks, but he said GG, so I guess that means that. If he disconnects, we'll give a win for Giant anyway because. Yeah, I mean, this game it's is over. lost in any way. Look, it's just 158 to 42, it's over. Yeah, he li uh, he managed to get back and win for Giant. Yep. Well, this is actually one one now. <laughs> yes, it's getting interesting, man. <laughs> and this was actually a really long match, and really, really n not as exciting, but really good. I mean, it I was mean, exciting for the beginning, but then it exactly. just went out. It, but it's interesting to see because here you can see how players think in the long run, yes, also how I they. Uh, lose themselves in the game or otherwise how they um, maintain their uh, aim or what they yes. want to do and they go for it and I think Giant he was behind in a few he played great I think he played really nice um, he was behind he didn't overextend he did the best he could to defend and that paid off in the end and that's how you win ZVZ I guess well that's how you do win ZVZ. <laughs> I just have to take a pee. I'll be back in a moment. Notice. Just, okay, maybe wait for the invite. Are you here? So okay, the second, the third match is going to be daybreak, and this best of sound might get a bit delayed. We'll see how this works out. <sighs> We're waiting for Seart. Hey. Hello. Okay, I'm back. I just had to go to the toilet really quick. So, it's 1-1 one, one, guys, and this is the best of 7, so it's gonna be a long one. <laughs>
And me and Toma, or aka Treach, we have been casting since 5 or 17 Central Euro CAT or 5 p.m. And that's how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours now. 5 hours straight, man. Yep. Congrats. I haven't casted for that long yet. I guess I had some of those experience, like Hungarian qualifiers for quite a long event. But this is finals nonetheless, we have a, a, yes. a pause or let's say a break after this tournament. So Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's I have no in. problem. Yeah, we go all in then even if you lose doesn't matter. <laughs> so um Right now, we have map daybreak, and it is a ZVZ guys, and a this ZVZ is the again. finals of the Connessai Season One Arena. Yep, please go and um, introduce the players once again. Thank you very much. In the bottom left corner, we have our Red Zerg. With from Slovenia, it is Star Park. And in the top uh, right corner, we have our Green Zerg from Bulgaria. It is Giant. Yeah, cheers for both players. They're showing great play. And yeah, I don't and know, Giant both being uh, Giant. Sorry, I apologize. Top GMs and Giant is going for a fast pool, isn't it? Yeah, nine pool. It is a nine pool from Giant, and now this is the same build as he went earlier. But the problem on this map is the rush distance is quite long, and the Overlord will be there uh, fast enough to spot there is a early pool coming out. Now the question only will be if the Overlord will go directly into the main of Giant or just sit at the expansion. That's the only thing. <sighs> oh no! Look at this. Starbuck is going for a 15 hatch. Yes, he now is. This, this is not good. If he delays his own um, her own pool for too long, um, this mm, will be bad. Yeah, I have to agree, man. Um, he should make a pool. So I have an idea. I have an idea. Giant is bringing his own drone for scout. But he, I think he'll also try to put down a spine crawler. Spine crawler. Yep. Yes. Look at this magic. Now this is just magic, and Starbuck doesn't have a clue. Yeah, oh and no. I guess giant is Starbucking Starbuck. Yeah, and right now, if that spine crawler completes, I'm looking at Starbuck's uh, vision, and if that completes, it's going to be over. Starbuck will lose this, um, and still. Okay, whew, I, oh, I, I just thought there were no, there was no pool for <laughs> Starbuck. Okay, so the spine car will definitely complete, and right now Starbuck will see it, and he sees it, and it's, and it has to hurt him. Now, the uh, spine car should move into the close vicinity of uh, the hatchery. Yeah, and he just did. There. He was going to try it and. Yes. Drop as much, uh, snipe as much drones, I guess, as possible. Now the thing is that Giant can just kill the hatchery and it's going to be over. Giant can just go for the hatch. Now with so many Zerglings right here, it's going to be hard for... Uh, look at the hatch falling so fast. Before the spine crawler completes, it might be f down. Yeah, it's going to be down before the spine crawler completes it uh, at all, so... This is not good for uh, Starbuck. And look at this, just picking his engagement and additional Zergling. Yes, this is going to be GG. I mean, there's no way J uh, Starbuck can come back from this. Look at this, how many drones are falling now. The only thing that might save Starbuck here is if he denies that spank roll from moving. Yeah, now it's already rooting in GG. And Giant decides to not have another game as previous game. Wants yep, to he's end it really quick. A bit short on time, and I guess it shows, man. He wants as to. Sh he's short on time. Yeah, I mean a bit. He looks to play another game in another tournament tonight. Oh, okay. But uh, anyhow, it, it was a fast game. 
It was a uh, well, pretty much a build order win. Yeah, of course. There's uh, nothing that Starbuck could have done. Only thing that would have helped him if he w if he would have gone for the nine drone scout, which you always have to go uh, in ZVZ. So every Zerg, if you, any Zerg who's listening to this, always go for the nine drone scout. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, that's something. Um Megabyte used to do a Hungarian Zerg that was in the tournament. He did lose in the first round, though. Um, but cool. you can guess which is the um, entombed. No. Yeah, you always say entombed, but it's yeah. always Ohana. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so I think this time Starbuck is going to go for some cheesy. Oh. Ohana is a small map, mm -hmm. a small uh, distance, uh, rush distance, so we'll <laughs> see how it goes. What? <gasps> oh, damn. I started the game. Oh, damn. That's bad. Remake. We can remake, no problem. Yeah. I didn't even put myself on referee. <laughs> Oh god. No problem. Both players are playing. Ah, shit. Uh, contact. Uh, pause. Let's pause and just contact and ask them if they want to remake. If you want. Um, I can't pause though. Oh, damn. We're not referees. Shit. I think it's no problem. Are both guys playing? Yes, both guys are playing normally without problem. Um, yeah, so like I've said, Ohana, small. Yeah, just uh, a second. Rush I have to change the colors. It's always so annoying. You can uh, do the introduction now, please. <laughs> okay, I guess both players are playing. Uh, I'm sorry for a ninja start, but anyhow, top left corner of the map. It's a Slovenian uh, Grandmaster Zerk um, in blue color, Starbuck. This is the first time he's down in our tournament. And we'll see how it goes up from now, from there. And his opponent um, spawned at the bottom right corner, like there is any other place on this map. <laughs> it's um, well always green and always Zerk and always from Bulgaria and always strong giant. <laughs> and we see a uh, 15, 15 pool, like that. Uh, 15 pool for uh, Giant and a 13 13 for Starbucks. So 13 13 uh, usually indicates a speedling golem. Now, it's a very mm, old tactic, but it's very useful since it hits. If you time it correctly, it hits right before the banelings start to morph and. If you basically, it actually uh, hits right before the bailing nest is complete, so it's really, really. Uh, giant went for a um, head first. Yeah, giant didn't even take his gas. And, uh, each second that he delays his gas, he's going to be more behind. And in, um, in that economic way. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, um, I think if Starbuck goes for some kind of volley in here and doesn't um, at least kill the hedge. Um, He's will, uh, he won't be in a good position. Usually, with this, uh, here goes the here come the uh, zerglings. But usually, with this, you wanna aim for the either the queens or or the hatchery if you have the uh, option to do that, or just for the drones because. Okay, I mean, so he is going to expand. Yeah, it, it you, you go for the expand, but you go expand for additional larva, nothing else. Yeah, I understand. So, um, giant. He didn't even check gases, he just saw that there is no fast expo. Yeah, and he just sees the links though, so he did make a spank roll way before, so that's also uh, safety precautions he took are good. Yes, and now Starbuck isn't going for a all in because usually you, you want to produce certainings, not drones, so this does mean that he just wants to apply as much pressure as possible early on. But uh, without speed, he can't really do as much, and the spine crawler already almost complete there. Uh, giant will be just fine. Yeah, but the speed is going to finish in about 10 seconds. Yes, 
the weird thing is Giant still hasn't taken his guess. That's the only weird thing that I don't know why. Yeah, I guess he just wants to drone, man. I yeah, it's okay, but if you lose drones, it's not... Oh, he might know he won't snipe the queen. He doesn't uh, want to lose any links and... I don't know, man. I would say that Giant is in a good position at the moment. Um, Giant is an in an excellent position. He is... Um, he has... Well, he has that um, expansion much earlier than uh, Starbuck. Um, and basically they have the same amount of drones, only now Star uh, Giant has raised to 29. Also Starbuck now to 29. Um, but uh, a fast layer again from Starbuck, so we'll see that Muta play again, as we have seen earlier. And yeah, we see much. the gas is being taken immediately. And this is again quite a fast layer. Well, both players are on three gases though. So this may indicate that the both players are going uh, oh, to show the tech pretty soon. No, Giant has to take that uh, gas because he w he delayed his own yeah, gas that's true, yeah, so that's true. far on. If he would have taken only one, it would be far exactly, too late. Yeah. But he's having all gases now. Yes, um, he's most definitely going to go lair as soon as he has 100. Okay, double evolution chamber. Nice placement. Yes. Always like the little maze inside your town. Yeah. Against the Zerg, that is. Yeah. Now I'm waiting to see when the lair will come up. We'll see a roach run, and this means instant, plus two two. Instant yeah. roach, yeah, plus one plus one. While uh, yes. Starbuck went for an instant uh, sp uh, spiral. And like you said, and yeah. a third base. Yeah, a third base. Now this is basically a a uh, similar than the first game, maybe. Um, yes, pretty similar, and this is basically a, um, how to say, a book, book zerg, how to say, you play by the book, okay, it means I understand. When, you, when you take the spire, uh, you take your turn, and, and a burning nest coming from Starbuck, and yes. Giant finally going for that lair. Yes, and the Baning Nest is standard with, uh, uh, with Mutalisk zergling, because you want Banelings uh, against any possible zerglings for your opponent. Yeah. Oh! Roach for him. He cancelled the building and nested. Yes, the uh, he must have scouted the double Evo and probably realized without speed on giants, zerglings, there's still no. Uh, there's probably never gonna be speed because right now it doesn't really matter. And yeah. so he's probably going for directly for roaches. And then you see a lot of roaches, a lot of roaches out already. <coughs> yeah, I, but Giant is one of those players that like to spread creep in ZVZ, while yes. Starbucks definitely doesn't look like one. Yes, you just want to spread creep uh, to your uh, expansion or your third, and we see 8 Mutalisk on the way. 8 Mutalisk and Giant has no idea about that, I mean, he might have a uh, clue, I guess, but he's not making any precautions, he doesn't have yes, any Yes, and idea. a big run by here right now yeah, by Starbucks. Perfect Excellent placement by. from a... Uh, yeah, but it won't happen. This is not good for yeah, Star for Giant. Yeah, this is excellent it for It's really Starbuck. good though. I yes. mean, uh, good placement from a uh, Giant, but yes. that's what Speed does, man. He just ran And away. in come the Mutalisk, as we can see right and now. He's gonna deny the third, I guess, with the Mutalisk. Uh, probably not. not Actually, really, no. Yeah. He can he go directly for the Queens, yeah, because what care of the third if you can just take it down That's with your and meanwhile he's going to attack with those links I guess yeah, he's gonna lose those great links. transfusion on one queen saving the queen at least a little bit more and how many now, mutas are there still 10 and yeah there are six mutalisks right now there but they should fall back right now because yeah, the, sp know. the spore has completed have, uh, sniped the spore I guess yes um, additional mutalisks join the battle um, Mutalisks are always good, but Giant can do a counter attack. Yeah, I and the counter. Okay, it's not really coming. I think this was a mislead yeah. few of uh, Giant's units, and but they will. Well, Roaches will most definitely not fall. I guess they are so yes. tanky, man. Um, I mean, Giant should have gone for great, the count. Great, great uh, play here from Starbuck catching those Roaches off guard. Yes, exactly. Blocking um, them. Giant is. It has Hydras again, as we can see. The thing here is that um, Dang, he's sniping those hydras with yes. links and uh, he needs at least ten hydras to counter those uh, uh, to counter those links. And we can see he's just taking everything head on. And 
right now Giant decides to go for the counter yeah, push. Yeah, I think he has thing. no other uh, choice at the moment. I mean, Hydras are on the way, and when those six Hydras, nine Hydras pop out, he will be able to, together with Queens, if, does he any even have Queens, man? Uh, no, he has no Queens. I mean, he didn't even make any... Remake, yeah. yeah. Thing here is that as more the Giant prolongs his uh, attack on uh, Starbucks third, the more he will be behind, and we can already see he's losing units to Hydra to Metalisk, and Dang, not he's only late, this is still uh, too late, too late push. Now we see three spank rolls already at and Starbucks. Third, his own road, more road. Has like, yeah, exactly. There's pretty much same on the road count. Yes. I mean, Giant has a few more of Hydras, but yes, um, Starbuck has Mutas, so yeah. Um, and defensive position, of course, punk rolls and so on and so forth, and a lot exactly. Of and look at this, how many roaches, and this is going GG, to be GG, yeah. insta GG coming out from Giant. He just knew that if he couldn't take down the third, it's going to be over. So that makes it two two one for uh, um, for uh, oh no, uh, sorry, it makes it two two for uh, basically for both. <laughs> this is two two now. Um, it's it was a fast game if you yes, look at it. it was. I mean, if uh, you look at the first games or the games before, this one was a uh, extra fast. Yes, this was a really fast game. Uh, I mean, Starbucks just did a great job uh, controlling everything, just then um, killing all the hydras that came out instantly. And there's little to not nothing that uh, Giant could have done. So um, the sec the next map will be in Tombed Valley. Okay. Um, in uh, Tombed Valley. <laughs> so I'm already in right now. I'm just. You don't say, man. You always ninja connect. <laughs> I'm like a ninja. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So everybody is ready here. Okay, both guys are ready and start now. Yep, I will start uh, Starbuck. Starbuck is a set of Terran. I don't know. I, w I don't want to start. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's okay. I don't want to start and then make a remake because that's the most yes, time that's annoying. That's the no most annoying thing ever. Yeah, anyhow. Um, it's always in those, um, I mean, there are always going to be small mini problems with gaming as, as long as... As always. Uh, yeah, but once it go, it, uh, when gaming gets like uh, mainstream, like really mainstream, not like... Uh, it's going to be big, a lot different. Yeah, I mean, look at the look at the case by and stuff. I mean, there are like rules, you know, what happened with Stefano and stuff. And they in yeah. Korea, they don't really care. And exactly. the rules are rules, but... Otherwise, we're still like casual friendly gamers and casual friendly high skill tournament. So it's about yes. games and it's about uh, experience. And exactly. this is not really a deciding match, but one of the deciding matches for sure. And we're watching a green zerg in the lower right left corner of the map. It's Giant from Bulgaria. Woohoo! Yep, and you can um, introduce the Slovenian counterpart. And in the top left corner, we have our Red Zerg, all the way from Slovenia, all it is way. Starbuck. <laughs> yeah, all the I way. I think he's like two, three <laughs> kilometers maximum air distance from, from, from you me. and me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're all from the same city, so yeah. I, don't know I know where he lives or something, but he, I we know stalk. that he comes from uh, Ljubljana. We stalk him, man. Yep. Anyhow, the players know where they're spawned because yeah. of the uh, overload, overload kiss. Yeah, yeah, it's a kiss, man. Exactly. And Bo and Stubb goes for 15 hatch. Uh, 15. Why am I saying 15 I hatch? He goes yeah. for for a 13 pool. 13 pool while Giant go goes. For, uh, hatch for us for sure, yeah. Yes. Um, now, Starbuck is probably going, uh, yeah, hatch as well. Is he? Yeah, he's banking a bit of a 
he's, he's back not going right for gas, so I think he just. Do you think he wants that uh, fast pull for safety, like? For yeah, fast he just wants and safety. And with that fast pull, you can either put a little bit of a pressure on your opponent, or you can just have those initial four or five zer uh, six zerlings for defense. So it's not really a big deal, but it doesn't really matter. It just puts him a little bit behind on that expansion, but gives him the option to be a little bit more aggressive. So pretty much uh, same timing for the gas. Yes. Um, a Starbucks scouts right now what's going on. He sees the pool is not as fast as he is. Uh, so he feels quite good about this. He'll at least try to harass a little bit yeah. um, the hatchery from... Otherwise, uh, um, we saw Starbucks lose against Zerk once in this tournament before we talked about that at uh, the start of the tournament. While uh, Giants first lost came against Breach tonight. So. Um, but Giant, yeah, well, he did play against Puttak, so both players uh, had a few good uh, Zerg opponents, but there's nothing like them, I guess, in this tournament, they are the bigger f biggest favorites. I agree. And in the end, they are in the finals, and there is a small link on link fight, link on link action. Yeah, and like I've said, Starbuck just, I mean, it doesn't really matter that f fast pool doesn't give him a big any big advantages, so... No, I, I, it, I would say it doesn't. I mean, you get a faster queen and... Uh, the injects are a little bit faster, but yeah, that's but around it. Exactly, um, the expansion is not, so you know Ooh. you know what I mean. More Look queens or more Look expansions. At what, Look at what Starbuck just threw down, uh, Roach Warren. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. I'm thinking he's going to go Roach, uh, Roach all in. Now, I have seen this a couple of times on ladder, I have experienced it, and if you don't scout this, really, uh, or at least prepare for it, you can die really easily. Yeah, and he's making a bailing nest, which is yeah. not really a counter for that, right? Exactly. I mean, uh, roaches won't care but about look, the bailing. Giant is going for bailing bust, oh dear. Is he? Giant, yeah, he's making two 18 links, a definite bailing bust. And yeah, I see. And with roaches, if he makes enough, if Starbuck makes enough roaches, he'll be able to defend this. Yeah, he's making a spine crawler, which might come handy. Now, spine crawlers aren't as useful against uh, bailing, bailing, uh, um, against bailing busts, but we'll see how it does it yeah, here. Starbuck sees the incoming stuff now. Exactly. Oh, wasted bailing now, that's not good, but look at how many Zerglings there are for Giant, and this is going, oh, now that's a nice bomb, and he just wasted all those Zerglings for, ba I mean, bailings for just like killing nothing, just damaging the Queen really bad, and Ooh, oh my god, oh queen. my god, he just now killed a spine yeah, crawler. he just killed a spine crawler, and that's some good micro there, man, he just saved the Queen, finally and now, finally losing it. Yeah after committing so many zerglings to it and right now Starbuck just has to defend and he's in a good position and yeah, he sees the yeah, he sees links with those yeah. overlords he, he feels pretty safe streaming. yeah I would say so man and Starbuck I think he lost yeah only one queen he lost the queen Starbuck on the Starbuck is supply block though but he's going to chase the uh, giant away Starbuck doesn't really care about that, I guess. The giant wants to do some counter push or at least kill. Oh, no, he will lose four. Oh no, those this roaches micro. Are not even yeah. Fighting, are they? Yes, oh, exactly. They, oh man, mistake was a little victory for giant. That's for yes. sure. He is uh, up in worker supply. I mean, and down in uh, worker supply, but up in army. But that's just links, you know. Yeah, and we see a layer for uh, for Starbuck, so. He wants to get that road speed out, and, and another queen will another die. Queen, now, exactly. This is really good for yeah, this is really really good for giant, and perhaps one drone will die. No, no. but he did manage to kill the queen, which is good. Yes, the queen, yes, but the workers, man, it's almost double the supply. Yeah, and Starbuck is going for the third. Um, I mean. It's um, from the position of Starbuck. It's hard to say if you're ahead or not. Now you do know if you're ahead because you basically lost three queens and nothing else to a bailing committed bailing bust. Um, behind this, 
giant did start making roaches, so um, Starbuck will see this immediately and start his own roach production again. Um, now, this does will put Starbuck in a little bit of a uncomfortable position since he'll have to either defend his natural. Okay, see, so already cancels the third base and just goes for the defense. And yeah, he sees what's coming and. Yes, and I this is know, man. this is a complete all-in from Giant, just yeah. all-in after all-in. It's uh, the only thing that Starbuck has to do is defend, and he'll be and in a he's very. Engaging spot. Without, uh, yeah. wait, I mean, for the bin Starbuck, coming. Starbuck has to just wait uh, for those uh, spines to complete and just yeah, fall back. He and has a, ooh. Ooh. Okay, only one spine cost, and this is over. Giant just yeah. lost all the roaches, and Starbuck can just freely qu kill anything. Um, falls well, back. Well, now those lanes are annoying because they're. Yes, GG yeah, exactly. called. Giant. And Starbuck takes the third map, I mean his third map, and making the result 3 against 2 and this is a, well, pretty much the most tight game that we had up until now from the whole beginning, I guess. Exactly. And this actually puts Starbuck in a 3-2 um, position. So this does mean that it's... Um, it it could be the last match of uh, of this best of seven. If Starbucks takes it, it's going to be over. Oh, and Tom, uh, your mic is uh, apparently really low. I've read the chat a little bit in the stream. Um, it can be barely heard. Okay, so I will try to what scream more. No, no. Um, perhaps you have your mic option on ops uh, to low. I don't know. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Audio boost. What if I make that... That I'm louder? <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll see. Okay, so what will... Uh, what will he pick? What will Giant pick? I don't know, um... I'm waiting for... Um. Uh, for what? I'm waiting for Giant to reply. Yeah, to pick a map. Okay. I don't know. Maybe he's he has another tournament. I don't know what come will come out of that. I'm pretty sorry, but I didn't really know about the, all the timings of uh, tonight's games especially regarding players and their other tournaments that they have cheese skin had the clown war um and so did giant i guess mm, that's uh, very unfortunate uh, but also okay unfortunate. sorry we're gonna see a map that we didn't see for uh, quite mm -hmm. some time uh, i would say i'm guessing it's um uh Whirlwind. <laughs> okay, not really. You can see the map now, I guess. I'm just entering your lobby. Ah, Metropolis. Now that's a fun map, okay. <laughs> go, go, go. Both players wanna go. Yep. Oh, just put us as a referee, or at least you, so you can. Uh, chat if you have to oh i couldn't put you in i tried to do you in the last second but oh, yeah, i couldn't click yeah 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 okay yeah, yeah, you, like i believe you yeah that's <laughs> true and you, you can't <laughs> even check the vote because um I, it was not on screen you know off screen layout so oh. um, you'll God never damn. know man maybe i was just screwing with you you just don't want to put me as yeah a exactly so i'm a big hater in truth yeah i knew it i just knew it anyhow uh, Starbucks saying have fun, no good luck from any player as of yet. But they both they both won up 50 euros, man. Just yeah, that's true. And the thing is, this is Metropolis. I think both players want to end this as fast as possible. Especially Starbucks, who is up, he has to win. Uh, it's game point, match point for him. And the Red Zerg in the bottom left, bottom side. That's not really a bottom left, bottom right. It's just the bottom. Site, it's a uh, Slovenian Zurich Starbuck. 
the one that we were talking about. Yes, exactly. Yep. And his opponent again for the sixth time in the finals. Yes. It's Giant from Bulgaria. So two Ooh. top grandmasters facing on uh, Kongsi Arena for the price of 50 or 30 euros. Yes, exactly. And um, I just wanted to say um, it's been a great two months. Uh, a lot of games have been played. 16 players have been batting out between each other. And I think we're gonna have a great season two with hots coming. So yep, this is one of the last tournaments. There is going to be a PWS uh, Pirates Without Trip uh, mini LAN tournament as well in Slovenia. But uh, anyhow, um, let's get back to the game. Yes, exactly. We have a 13-13 coming out from Giant this time. Yep. Um, so he wants to do the one thing that. Starbuck did to him basically last game, and Starbuck does go for a 15 as uh, 15 pool 15 hatch here. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different from both sides. Uh, but it, the question is here if Giant will commit to this, if he wants to do a full all in here. Now, um, yeah, we'll see what he goes for, man. Yes. I mean, uh, links are on the way, so is the queen, both players, okay, the speed, of course, and still mining gas, right? Exactly, now, if you want to go super, super duper all-in with Veilings, you just take the second gas and just start pounding at that, and we see continuous link production from Giant, and we see also a Veiling nest from exactly. Giant, so... We are going to see a bailing all in here. Um, now, Starbuck saw the links. He sees the links coming he out. He sees a lot. I mean, he knows a lot. I think this should be yes. a big warning sign for him, and he will go and block that. And, and puts down a spank roll immediate, immediately. Now, Giant can just simply wait for the speed to complete and the bailing nest and just start building his own. Uh, I mean, just building bailings and overpower Starbuck here, but we'll see how it goes. Um, now, just he's scouting here, just want to see if the, uh, if the hatch is complete. Now he sees it, of course. And bailings have started to more. Four bailings on the way for Giant. And this engagement will be won by uh, Giant, but there's just so many. Uh, oh, and speed completes right in the clutch moment here. And. Starbuck has to be a bit careful here. Uh, there's four bailings here that actually one bailing is being has been lost for nothing. Oh dear, this is going to be a really weird game here. Ooh, nice, nice bailing. Oh, nice yeah. detonation of and one, one more Ooh, nice. another nice and detonation. This is actually the best opening for Giant right now. Yeah, it is, but I mean, Starbuck still has. Yeah, he has three queens, which is a lot. Yes. Yeah, good placement it of the queen. It will die, yeah, but uh, it did uh, take a lot of time, so at least that. Yes, and more bailings being morphed, and this is a complete all-in from Giant. Yeah, I don't see Giant um, coming out of this no, no, no. unless if he, he wins. If he doesn't, if he doesn't win this, it's over. It's over. So, and Starbuck knows this, and Starbuck realizes this very well. Now. More oh good destination. Uh, I, I don't know, man. One for not the best. Four, yeah. not best, not worse. Okay, so s Giant is basically in a really bad spot. Right yeah, he, I guess he is waiting for the last 10, 12 yeah. links with uh, three with three uh, queens out and a spine crawler. It's pretty hard to do. Oh, he lost a bailing before it was morphed. And he another lost two bailing before they were morphed. And a great focus fire on that bailing, and I mean, Giant is just fighting a losing battle here. There is zero to no chance here that he can break this line. I mean, there are three queens, a second spine crawler, and additional links coming out for Starbuck. Um, I I don't see Giant winning. Well, he might actually pick up a. Nice. If he gets some nice, decent bailing bombs here, it might Ooh. be good. But look at four queens. Four queens are doing the job with transfusion and GG being called. And GG, guys. 
and this wraps it up I guess Hans yeah. Arena season 1 is done officially finished, over and yeah. the winner of the whole thing is the guy you're seeing on the screen at the moment so uh, Starbuck from Slovenia takes the gold after yes. what it was like 2-3 months of uh, a lot of games two group stages and a final event that took place tonight today here um, um, second, congrats, yeah, congratulations, congratulations to, Starbuck to Starbuck and to all other players as well and also Giant taking the second place um, followed by Breach on third and Cheese King on fourth so those are the crowned champions I mean the winners of uh, yes, some prize big, money big congrats to all um, thank you all for watching us no don't leave us just yet I uh, just want to say that um, next week we'll have a I mean there will be a tournament uh, invite in, invite invitational PWS invitational um, um, which uh, will be an eight player tournament hosted um, by the clan uh, the team pirates without ships so uh, most likely there will be a stream stream so we'll post all about that but uh, to get a little bit further in the future when um, when HOTS is released we'll start the season 2 of uh, the Con SI Arena and hopefully uh, you will all be with us at that time now the, te the, te the details of all that will be released um, in a week or two so you all understand what's going to happen and I just want to say that most likely you will all be able to participate uh, in the arena if you will be able to qualify for it. So just want to tell that so start practicing guys. <laughs> yep. um, I will just second, I will second everything um, over Strat said. Big thanks to a um, bunch of players now it's end of the arena like we said and I would like to use this opportunity. Uh, here is the look at our page www.con.si visit us we are a bunch of guys trying to make a gaming better place in yes. Slovenia then um, the players and the people that I would like to thank first and foremost of course all the 16 players that participated on the um, the tournament the Conce Arena season 1 and uh, then um, all the well um, the outer circle of Conce crews the, um, regarding StarCraft 2 that helps us with a lot of decisions um, including few Croatian players that uh, helped me and Hungarian players like Iasis, Danny um, that, that helped with me, us, Konsi, uh, at the beginning of the tournament and um, so Iasis, Danny and of course Indigo and Neutronio and then of course the um, main organization of Konsi all the leaders and all the active people and of course uh, last but not least I would say me and you I guess here we did all the yeah. I mean not all of course not a lot of people streamed with us like Sonics, yes. Attack or Ich, Indigo, Utranio and Kuvas also from Hungary and I'm pretty happy and really pleased and thanks to all of you especially thanks to all the fans um, and let's make a gaming even a better more place. success yeah even more that's something I already said so I can say it twice but let's make gaming um, something more always um, growing stuff and yes, exactly. again thanks for being with us I yeah. think I will sign up sign off um, yeah about now I am over CR guys with I me it's Trich aka Toma Yep, that's correct. And stay tuned for Concy. I mean, like us on either Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, everywhere you want, YouTube, and check our page. And I hope you enjoyed the tournament. I for sure enjoyed it. Yeah. And again, well, congratulations, top players. To both and players, yes. And to everyone. Again, Starbuck first, Giant second, uh, Bridge third, and Cheese King fourth. And the rest on the rest. Yes. Well, I just want to say it's been my pleasure. Um, and I hope to see all of you guys in season two and all the other tournaments that will be uh, happening um, until that time see you either on ladder see you either on a stream of some guys or see you in Diablo see you in <laughs> <laughs> okay for you no no not really for me, for me see you in HOTS so exactly thank so you very much 
Yep. Uh, have a great evening. Um, good night. Yes. Good morning, and have a successful weekend. No, sorry, yes. week, week, start of the week.